right, Jazz, when we are live. Oh, hello, everybody. Getting hellos from Lenian77, oh. Melody, oh, yeah. and Kieran. People already. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. A little bit earlier than usual. We're trying this out for Sunday, at least. Wonder if we'll get any of our UK friends up. <laughs> I think we stay up a little late for them on some days, but so far so good. Let me see, what am I working on? I am working on um, the same piece I was working on last time, the Blue Willow Fairy that you guys saw me start a while ago. And she is getting very close to being finished. I think it's to the point that I will probably finish her today because I'm sure we want to stay on until at least like I don't know, seven or eight o'clock tonight, Eastern yeah, time. Around eight. Yeah, eight o'clock. Maybe, maybe yeah. a wee bit after. So we have some work we have to do. Believe it or not, after that too. <laughs> Always do working. orders work, and work, stuff. Work. But in the meantime, I'll pretty much just be painting all day and showing you guys some new stuff I'm working on. Now today's kind of cool. Uh, Jasmine uh, finally got her little affiliate. Yes. Thing. However, that works. We're gonna try to figure out some of that stuff today. Yeah, it's I, some of you guys probably know more about how that works than I do because I'm very new to Twitch. But I got my little notification that I'm an official affiliate now here at Twitch, which means that um, for the people who like to do the subscribing things at Twitch, you can subscribe to me now, whereas previously you couldn't because I was just a beginner. Right. So, um, as a demonstration, because I'm new to it and I want to be part of the learning process too, <laughs> I'm actually going to subscribe live. Matt's going to subscribe to Jasmine's me. Yes. Twitch but channel. We're honestly not sure how it works yet. I've never subscribed to anybody yet. I follow people, but I didn't really know what subscribe was until I got the alert thingy. So, Matt's going to do that. I don't know. And I'm going to get see. the big package. Yes, yeah, so you can. It, it, I think it starts at $4.99. Or, if you're an Amazon Prime person, you can subscribe for free because they give you a free subscription as part of Amazon Prime. So we'll talk about that also, to the best of our ability. And Again, I, we are very new at this. I believe so. that you you get special emojis. Yeah, you get little emojis and no, it also stop, it doesn't out. show you so many ads. It's kind of like having, like if you're on Pandora, there's the version you get that costs like a little bit and it doesn't show you but so many commercials. But it's not necessary. And, it's yeah. not necessary. No, 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 no. It's, it's it's still free for everybody. That's just like a bonus thing that Twitch right. does and apparently it's, that's uh, how they make money. commercial free, I believe. Yes. Um, I'm not 100% so sure So if you that. don't mind the commercials, right. then don't uh, worry about that. It throws a, a few yeah. bucks our way, which of course we appreciate. Yeah, I think they give me two dollars. And it gets you some days. emojis, and uh, I don't. There are probably some other perks. I yeah. imagine. Uh, there are some other perks that we haven't uh, thought about. We haven't figured it out we yet. Have, yeah, we haven't one hundred percent figured out. So cool. today, today will be a little time. bit of a learning process, but we'll mostly have fun. Also, I think it makes a little so and so subscribed like pop up on the screen. So <laughs> I don't know. But we can play with that later. So, but we have created some emojis. What I'm going to do, yes. Jasmine, is... Yeah, why don't I'm, you do that now? We currently have uh, 16 viewers. Oh, wow. To my, Hi, everybody. I don't refresh, so I don't know how uh, close that is, but it says 16 oh, okay. viewers. Excellent. On my, on the, in the chat right now. I'm going to wait until it fills up a little bit. Yeah, before yeah. Before I do the subscription thing. Absolutely. And then uh, we can look at those emoticons and... I'll try to figure it out myself. Sounds that way good. I'll be more knowledgeable in the future. Ooh, we're also trying a new thing this time on Twitch with, um, we're doing a Twitch giveaway, like for the people who are actually watching in the chat room. It's not Patreon, it's just for everybody. We'll be giving away a prize later today. So Jasmine, that should be you, fun. Yeah. You got um, a hello from that Nintendo guy. Hello, good to see you again. F. Zool, which is uh, Rachel's boyfriend. Oh, Uncle hey. Rachel. Oh, that's and awesome. Wookie dude. Sounds good. I like that Hi, name, guys. Wookie dude. And Helen. Oh, Helen. Hi, Helen. I'm, oh, it's is it Helen? a bit earlier for you, Are and you I UK hope you're feeling Helen? well. Oh. I know she wasn't feeling yeah, too well last time. She, was she popped in and said hi. Yeah. And we appreciate that. The fact Thank that you. you came by means a lot. Yeah, part of the reason we're doing it a little bit earlier this time, and we might do that periodically, is that we have a lot of friends and fans that are in the UK or in the EU, and we'd like them to not have to stay up so late <laughs> on school nights or whatever. So. Yeah, or but, whatever grown-ups have, like, school. Right, yeah. right. So we're a little bit earlier today, yeah. uh, but we will be going till a little bit after at 8. At least till, like, time, 8. Yeah. Which I think would... The UK is generally, this time of year, is five hours ahead. Yeah, it varies between so four hours like and six one, hours. 1 a.m. your time but, yeah. if you're in the UK. 
One How was the marketplace yesterday, Jasmine? Oh gosh, at the at the um, co-op at yeah. Disney. Now it, I will say we've had longer lines. It is, have, it is a yes. slower time at Disney. It is the the one right before this was during spring break, so that was just insane. Right. So this one was good. We had a line the whole time. The line the whole time. There was a there like was about one. A minute there was about a minute so. that Matt ran over to me and he's like, "Hey, Jasmine." I can chat with you. Do you want to run to the bathroom? I was like, yes, I right. do. And, and so I got to leave once. So that's pretty good. Sometimes I don't get to leave at all. And then, so. the, then the line filled back up at the yeah. very end. We, and we um, so actually it was, it was saw a lot of my solid. Twitch people, too. Yeah. And you got to spend time with people. Very you, busy. Uh, Disney yeah. didn't seem to have to rush people through as quickly. Yeah, as sometimes at the Disney ones, if it gets to be super crowded, Helen they is feeling cut better. people off. But, oh, good. Happy to hear it, Helen. But I, I don't. Was little, I was a little under the weather this morning. Yeah. Myself, I got some electrolytes. I, I'm feeling better. We didn't even stay up yeah. all that late, really. No, yeah. I'm I'm a wimp when it comes. But we to we are we are wimps late. when it comes so to that. So anyone we who stays up late and watches early to bed watches early this channel. Yes. I appreciate it because yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. No, that's a that's a very much a compliment to us. It'd be bother staying up that late. <laughs> so they... this is Jasmine's blue willow. She was talking yes. about it earlier. My blue and, um, willow fairy. You, You'll no doubt finish this piece um, before I'm sure, the end, right? Yeah, I'm sure I will finish this during so this broadcast because I'm Jasmine getting close to being done. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you've seen me start some pieces, but I don't think I've shown anything I've finished all the way as far as broadcasts go that another, I can remember. Another exciting thing we're doing, we're doing a giveaway yes. this time. We are going to, at 6 o'clock our time, that's in four hours. Yeah. We will be giving away a, a mug. Would you like me to bring that? Why don't you bring it out? Okay. We actually got it at Disney at Disney World yesterday. It's one of my um, official mugs through Disney. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. I don't know if it's yeah, in I'll, the I'll grab that. Or, okay. But um, it's my Princess Aurora mug, and we bought an extra one just so we'd have one to give away to our Twitch people. And around 6 o'clock, we're trying out this new app thing at Twitch that it will show you a, a raffle thing through MooBot. So basically you'll just, what do they type? Exclamation, exclamation point, point raffle. raffle. I, I but it won't be until six o'clock. We'll uh, be sure to let you know. And if you type that, it automatically enters you. So here, these, if anybody has not had these latte mugs from Disney, they are so cool and they last forever. I've got, um, here, I'll hold it up there too. This is my Princess Aurora one. It's brand new. It's still got the price tag on it. And it's got Princess Aurora, or act, that's actually when she is being Briar Rose, technically, when she is off in the forest. And she's got her owl. And it is unused. Castle. I promise I haven't yes. used it. We have not used this one. It's and uh, we will new. send that to whoever and wins. And so when we do the raffle around 6 o'clock, as long as you're in there and you just hit join we'll raffle, it's free. You don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to, don't have to pay for shipping. And no shipping, nothing like that. No strings attached, and we will mail it to you because we were there, and I was like, these are adorable. I'd love to give one away. So we're going to start trying to do some sort of giveaway each time you guys come to watch us. We have, yeah, always fine. have all sorts of goodies. Here, oh, yeah. What's your question? Uh, Helen says, what will you work on next? Uh, she's saying that because we you did say you'd finish oh, the Oh, yes, board. I will definitely um, finish this one at some point tonight. And then after that, I've got a couple mini paintings that I actually had done as studies for two other paintings. The little study I did for this one with a fairy with um, blue willow wings. I did a little kind of sketch of her first, and I'm going to turn that into a full-fledged mini painting. And the other one is kind of a practice study painting I am doing for an upcoming painting called Hazardous Beauties, which is, if you know my biohazard fairies, like the um, scavengers painting or the Faces of Fairy 143, the ones that have like the gas mask with the biohazard sign, it's going to be kind of based off of that. So this will be two miniature paintings that I'm working on after I finish her here and those are ones that people can buy from me because they're not for a gallery so when I do get to work on those if anybody wants to buy one just email us um those of you who collect my mini paintings or have seen them at shows know that they are very difficult to get to because I usually do not sell them online so they sometimes will get lines of people coming Jasmine. in very early to get them so nag one here if you can yeah love Jasmine I have a comment and I have a question for myself oh okay uh, Kieran says it's my first time I've actually watched you live, oh. as it's normally late. But I watch the next day when I can oh, catch okay. up on the live streams. Yeah, well, I'm happy you're able to uh, visit us live, Kieran. Excellent. That's awesome. And he's Kieran, our friend from the from Glastonbury. Yeah? I'm pretty sure. Excellent. And then I had a question. Um, yeah. Should I check your email periodically? 
Um, once you know we what? Start those Maybe you should do once I start the mini paintings because I've had a few people who just heard the rumor I was going to be doing mini paintings and they were already asking about them. Okay, because so if, when if, I officially start doing it right. and we'll say, hey, email me, we basically index the requests in the order of if they're what spoken time for. Email I want to make so. sure that I tell the room exactly, so, so you don't want people. It's going to be a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at multitasking, <laughs> so yeah, you'll have to bear with me. That was too I'm, much of a laugh. There. I'm slow. It's okay. I'm not good at multitasking. I do one thing at a time. Well, as far as my It's little... amazing that I can do this, guys. That's really, true. Really. No, it's good that you can do that because I cannot multitask to the point that I can also talk and type and paint and do all my other local stuff here. So I'm glad Mandy's here helping. So every now and then, uh, the people that are with us, mm -hmm. you'll hear me periodically mention that the giveaway is in... X amount of time, six o'clock. Yeah, hour we see time. how many hours. And I'll from say, now. yeah. Like for right now, I'm saying it's four hours from now. Four hours from now. I'll, I'll mention that because there'll be newcomers to the room. So yes, I'm, I'm yes. repeating only because Especially on a more Sunday. and more people are entering the room, and we yeah. want to make sure that they know about the giveaway too. Exactly. Everybody gets a and chance. Exactly, and it doesn't cost anything. Yes. You don't much have to sign like up the, for um, anything. It's um, I it's probably something very much like a random number generator. Yes. The raffle. Exactly. That we have through Moobot. Yes. The little Moobot, bot which that... we learned about in the past few, or Matt learned about in the past few days. So right. it seems like it's a neat thing we can add here to make it more fun for everybody and kind of an exciting thing for me when we get to surprise somebody, because I like doing that. And often I have things like samples or weird special things lying around the house that I don't necessarily have room for, but are special and would be cool to be prizes for we people. We have many so. things that we could give away as prizes. Yes. We're thinking about doing this very often here on Twitch. Yes, I, I'm hoping to do it every time I do a Twitch, really, because I, I get so much stuff even with my own artwork, or I'll get a sample from a company and it's nothing I can sell, but I can give it away. And I think that would kind of make it fun for collectors. Jasmine's always happy if if she can sign them. Yeah. She's always happy to sign oh, them. Oh, something like the coffee mug. This one here, if I've done this before at Disney. Like behind where the um, handle is on there. Sometimes I sign it there. So as long as you don't like scrub at it, if I use a permanent marker, it will stay on there pretty good. And if you win something and you don't necessarily have use for it, you can always eBay it and they'll probably make you some money. <laughs> and the annoying stickers, the price sticker uh, the price that's tag, on the bottom yeah. and the made and wherever yeah. um, that's on there, it will come off in the wash. It will. So you, you can, can just scrape, it off or, scrape it off or keep it on there. Sometimes collectors like to keep um, price tags on keep there. Keep things pristine. To keep it. It's like brand new in box. And, I, you know, it's I prefer condition. the per I hope the person that wins it immediately... Fills it with coffee. Fills it with coffee or their favorite or green beverage. green tea. Yes. And just Bailey. uses it like yeah. they uh, like they love it. Yeah. And if Jasmine's signature stays on there after 15 washes, awesome. Well, somebody sent me a picture and they had one of my Disney mugs like that. And they were using it on their desk to like put their paintbrushes and pencils and um, colored pencils and things like that in it, which is kind of neat too. Helen says tea and Angie P says hi, Matt and tea. Jasmine. Oh, hi, Angie. Good to see you here. I'm glad we're getting some of our UK people. Night Owl 51 is here. Yay! And says, wow, the sound is perfect today. Oh, Sounds excellent. like you're in the same room as I am. Oh, good. Well, We've been to, practicing a lot I'm, on I'm the sound call. I'm trying quality. to uh, also control my voice. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that, I get excited. Yeah. Well, we talk about stuff that we're really into and we get loud sometimes. But yeah, I think we fin we're we finally getting to a point that our microphones are working good. and It's definitely yeah. our Kieran from Glastonbury. Oh, thank you, Kieran. Good to see you. Banana Split says, you're my absolute favorite artist. Thank I have you. prints and phone cases. Oh, I neat. missed out on when you visited Wonderground. It made me so sad. Oh, no. I wanted something signed. Very excited to watch you paint. I've well, been curious of your process for years. Oh, well, this wonderful. is the perfect place this for you to be, Banana. This is. This is um in the later stages. If you go back and look at my videos I posted earlier, you can see the beginning of this one. And this is getting to be the end of it. Probably in an hour or two I'll be done with this one. Also, I, I'll be back at Wonderground a lot. Um, whether you mean California or Florida, I do both. But the next one here in Florida at Disney's Wonderground Gallery is May 19th. So that will be the next one. They usually get me at Disney World for once or twice a month since I live down by here most yes. of the time. They really, really use their Jasmine access card yes. quite a bit. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Because we just have to drive across the street. It's great. Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. Andy's Tarot says, hello again. Wow, it's really beautiful. Oh, good to referring see you. to your blue willow painting, Thank no doubt. You. Thank Unless you. they're referring to your hair. Oh, well, my hair is very sparkly. So. I have hair tinsel in, in case. And I don't Karen think says, says you're very welcome, hair. Jasmine. Oh. Oh, Such a gentleman, Karen. Aw, really is. So it is last time. 2 15 and we are 31 oh, viewers. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. I wasn't sure what to expect on a Sunday in the afternoon. It's funny, we just realized that um, Westworld is having the HBO debut, or is that Showtime? HBO? Uh, um, I, gosh. I can't remember. Is it AMC? Maybe it's I don't AMC. Know. It's I don't one of those know. channels I'm really bad that, at that shows TV. the really good shows. But that's one that I've watched. Westworld is on tonight. Yes, and that that is tonight, and I was kind of glad that compete. I'm not going to overlap. So you won't. We do have it DVR. I don't know yeah, if anyone out there is Westworld fans. I very but... much enjoyed the first season. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I what don't know do how the, the second one. season will yeah. top it. I'm curious to see where they're going. Or to I, I could see. I, HBO, I kind of wish they. Says. HBO. Okay. The ever knowledgeable chat room says yes. HBO. Hey, sometimes it's easier for me to ask like people who are my social people media friends and stuff, to Google yes. it because <laughs> they usually knew more. That Nintendo guy sa says he has not started it. I would definitely recommend. It is Westworld. Yes. Very good. Avoid spoilers like crazy. Yeah. You don't want any spoilers. And we going here into that show. on our Twitch will never give spoilers for anything. I give spoilers yeah. on my Matt movie does reviews. on his movie reviews. But I warn that, that's part of, of his Patreon. If you like that sort of thing, look at that. But we don't do that. But here. I don't get. I don't. I don't want to ruin reviews. things for people. I don't, that. I don't have a. Who was that? Was that Sally who had that shirt? My cousin Sally that has all the spoilers for everything, like written on the front. Yeah, but that shirt's pretty great. Yeah, oh, well, it's a great shirt. But yeah, I think you'd only notice it if you know what you're looking for so wookie dude the other person that answered hbo yeah. also hasn't seen it but oh, the two okay. people that answered hbo have not seen the okay. show okay yet they know the but they channel. know hey that's good i find branding. that ironic yeah Jasmine. good advertising yeah ambies tarot says something pretty awesome happened this week oh what's that? someone bought me the beautiful creatures deck oh i can't really? tell you how excited i was that oh, our work is gorgeous Thank oh. you so much for everything you do. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoy the deck. That's the only time I have done a whole tarot card deck that was actually tarot tarot, like the 78 card standard deck. And I did that with J.R. Rivera. It's actually the last two years in a row. It's won pretty much all of the tarot card of the year awards. And it has been done such a good job. And a lot of it was J.R. doing the work, but I did all the paintings for it. And it turned out really well. Okay, Jasmine. Yeah. Um, the, uh, that Nintendo guy says, I'm looking forward to any shows that fill the void for Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, yeah. We're currently up to 39 viewers. Excellent. I think this time I'm going to try to subscribe. Okay, yeah, for those who missed out, I Jasmine's finally channel. I just got the thing from um, Twitch saying I'm Let's an affiliate now. So I will now tell you what I'm doing step by step. So we're testing it out with Matt because we are new to Twitch and we don't know how that works. So Okay. I apologize in advance if it doesn't work right, but theoretically it's supposed to let him subscribe. Now it says, I hit subscribe, it says free channel sub with Twitch Prime. I do have Twitch Prime. You do have, to, yeah, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you have Twitch Prime also. I didn't know that for a long time. It's the same company. So if you already have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to me with Twitch Prime and it costs nothing. You just okay. have to click the button basically. And they kick a little money my way and it also makes it so they don't show you so many ads, which kind of hate seeing ads all the time all right and i'm going to hit more paid subscription options since it shows me 4.99 well you should get the best one me out of your movie and i hit that and i see the 24.99 of course oh. jasmine is my wife Aww. and i will get that and i see the cute little emoticons Are yeah they, they call them emoticons up here? yes I, emoticons up here. i was gonna say i don't know i will emojis hit subscribe are now and it's taking me to hopefully it did not kick me out of the chat room oh i hope not if it doesn't matter that Wait, much i heard a noise oh I, no that's somebody following that me looks like oh a cool follow. Yay. oh i think our carpenter 1986 followed and they said welcome oh, to thank twitch thank you Jasmine. thank you very now, much i Have am going to be on a different screen so i'm not going okay. to be in the chat and it looks blank uh oh is it because the pop-ups don't work on my computer because it has that stupid thingy let's see if we were clever, we would have done this earlier, but I just got the thing from Twitch saying, hey, you're an affiliate. People can subscribe. Okay, this, so. this one looks better. Okay. I will do it with my card, and I won't okay. say the numbers out loud. Okay, yeah. Oh, number lock is not. 
Oh, okay. So I was going to say, I don't think you could use my Amazon Prime because that's this under This computer my name. is uh, basically, I'm just using this to chat. This is a computer that's usually off during the week. So I yeah. am going to grab my credit card. I will be back in a moment. Oh, okay. I have to put all the info in because it doesn't remember. Ah, uh, gotcha. Because oh. it won't Sorry. give you a free one because I have Amazon Prime and you don't, Maddie. So. Oh, why, would I, why would we both? Oh, I don't know. Didn't Amber and Chris both have it because Amber had one that was like for new moms or for being a teacher or something? I forget. I stay out of their business. Oh, <laughs> considering they both work for us. But no. I still stay out of their business. Oh. Dude. Uh, okay. yeah. They're probably watching too. They're... We're not that rude. In the meantime, Here's what I've done so far on the painting since um, we saw it last. I've been working on a lot of other projects, so I probably had about a day more of painting the Blue Willow Fairy since the last time we were here. I've kind of gone in with the, my little skinny script liner brush, and I have painted some of the details more on her wings. So, And I also added some highlights and a bit of gold around it. Since those of you who saw the last um, broadcast, the one from the 17th, if, if you haven't, go back and watch it later. You'll see the cool frame I made that where I put the ink transfer with the Blue Willow pottery so it looks like part of the frame is like old-timey um, Rococo gold wood and then the white bits have the um, Blue Willow pattern on it. So that I'm trying to um, reference that within the painting because I always like on a frame really matches the painting and I, so I put some gold details. Did I used Hansi Yella, Quinacridone. Um, did you I, do that? Yes. Is that, that, that noise was you I subscribing? I just subscribed with a Does with it make my little dragon picture sub. show up? All right. Oh, it's Valentine Dragon. Was that Valentine Dragonling? Cool. Yes, I see that. Matthew Beckett just oh, subscribed. Excellent. You're my first subscription, Maddie. Thank you. Again, if anybody else wants to subscribe, if you're Amazon Prime, it's free. We have, we have so a just bot. Click on Andy's that thing. Tarot. Yeah. Excellent. I'll show you. Huzzah. Anyways, I kind of finished up her wings and now I'm working on her hair. Before, I just kind of decided where the highlights were going to be and now I'm going to give some darker color to it. I'm keeping her hair dark since it is kind of an Asian pattern. I want her to look kind of an Asian aesthetic as far as her hair goes, but oh, I'm giving her cool. blue eyes so it looks like pottery. So that was cool. So I just put up the emoji. Did you make them? Did it work? The scavengers. Yes. So people who subscribe can get the little um, scavengers, which is funny because I'm actually doing a you have scavenger a thing. You have to subscribe on a PC because I can't seem to find the subscribe option um, unless if, I'm blind. No, it should be on the app should, or on the phone too. It should be um, above the. The, you know, uh, I don't. I haven't screen. seen it on my phone yet. It should be somewhere, and it will. Um, you might have to hit refresh for it to show up, but it will say subscription or subscribe. It's like a what color button? Is it like gray or purple or something? Let's see. I will look at these other. Again, ones. I I like and just heard this about one? this from Twitch right before this, so I wasn't sure and... how it worked. But it's really cool, especially if you have the Amazon Prime, then it doesn't cost you anything, but Twitch like gives me a couple people bucks People are helping time, people in so, the room. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, Ambie's oh, Tarot. Look thank you so much, oh, Ambie's Tarot. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. You're Yay. my second one. Yay. This is what makes it so we can stay on the air longer and spend more of our time making this bigger and better, and that's always good. So I'm giving her her dark hair here, and I've, I've kind of like... Let's see, it's probably hard to tell. Uh, I'm gonna lift it up a bit. I've got this like taped on the bottom. But I've I've got her hair kind of going off into the grass a bit. So what I've done is I've made her hair kind of sneak around in the grass and I've painted a little bits of grass over her hair, the part that's on the ground. Was that another subscribe one? It made the fancy follow, noise. Jasmine. No. No, or is that oh, okay. It said oh, wait, I apologize. Oh, okay. I'm behind. It was a different Melody noise. Melody just subscribed. Oh, thank you, Melody. Thank you so much. This Yay, is awesome. Gosh, this thank is you fantastic. so much for all Yay. the subscriptions. Oh, I'm so this happy cool. that this is working I'm out. I'm doing a little dance here. You can. And then you can make the you can put the pretty emoticons on there too. Yay. Oh, Melody just subscribed with Twitch Prime, and oh, that's what we were perfect. talking about. Yeah, Twitch Prime. That's basically if you're already Amazon Prime, you can get a free subscription. You don't have to use it on me, but you can use it on anybody up at Twitch, and that helps them and. 
helps twitch and wookie dude said you will grow over time excellent i hope You're, so I'm, it's I'm just, i'm just happy Jasmine's that gonna grow a people. big like hunch on her back no i'm not we actually discussed this last time how i'm not up. going to get illustrator's hunch because i do a lot of back exercises and rowing machines but... jasmine yes sir uh anna podaski says yes. she's from live oh my gosh man Hi, Jazz and Matt. This is wonderful. One question. Where do you get those beautiful frames for your beautiful art? We oh, them in a, a bunch of places. We know Anna from a long time ago, Maddie, on, on Live Journal. Um, I remember talking to her, gosh, back when we knew, uh, like when we first met Carrie and stuff. I think I live in Kansas City even back then. She does wonderful, um, very fairy tale, lovely artwork. Looks um, like Titch91 just subscribed with t Twitch oh, Prime as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gosh, for heaven's sake, well, thank you, everybody. everybody this is little... awesome. Yeah. So now I was going to say you can make the, the emoticons. Little... But uh, the frames, it depends on the frame. We get, we have, the first thing we did with our Patreon money that we got for um, our secondary location was set up a big room so it stores all our frames because we buy frames everywhere. A lot of them we get online. I'll get them from like um, rubylane.com, which is an antique store that is kind of like eBay or Amazon, but it's only for antiques. They will also have um, antique replicas, which I really like because they tend to be standard sizes and also less expensive. They're usually not metal, they're wood or composite or something. Yeah, the man. Ruby Lane is good. Um, a lot of antique stores, flea markets, garage sales. Yeah. People are showing off their scavengers. Oh, are they making uh, that thing? Yeah, oh, yay. it's beautiful. I love this. Excellent. Very cool. This oh, really that, personalizes the page. That does. I like Thank that. Thank you so much, that, guys. I, this see, is I so wasn't cool. sure how that works, but that I can see it a little bit from where I am here, and that looks fantastic. Cool. Jasmine and that's has funny. poor eyesight, and I tried to. Yeah, I tried we tried to, to set a, a monitor over here, but I can like see it a little bit. Not, but uh. yeah, she's not very good. Oh, that's seeing. awesome! But no, we we've got frames from. Sometimes if there's a company that makes frames or that sells home decor things or home furnishings in Florida, they'll do like going out of business sales, and I'll try to get some deals if they have any fancy like mirror frames. We get a lot of frames that are meant to be for mirrors. And we'll just take the glass out and then Matt will usually refit it somehow so we can put a panel like a wood panel or masonite yeah, panel man. in there yeah we have a we have a another live journal friend oh which one chris goat chris goat oh yes. for heaven's sake when i say live journal uh, friend i'm referring to it yeah a, the years days of ago old. many oh, years like ago I see Tanya 98 just subscribed with twitch prime oh excellent you. I'm so Thank glad so that I, I didn't even know for a while that Amazon was the same as Twitch. And I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. That's well, why I they started say noticing it when all our Amazon packages came. Like when we ordered Twitch them in the mail? All over them. Yeah, I, I thought it was just an ad. Thing. And then I realized it was the same company. It's like, oh, okay. Amazon's and, and everything, again, aren't they? <laughs> uh, Jasmine and I are still yes. pretty new to Twitch. Yeah. Um, I think so, our I think our fan base is growing quicker than our knowledge. Yeah, so bear with us if yes. we never know what the so if we don't terminology know what the is we're or what about, we're doing. You'll have to figure yeah. No, we, we're doing our best, Chris but Goat so far I'm really like gorgeous. it. Oh, thank you, Chris Goat. For those who don't know, Chris oh Goat, she does wonderful, wonderful, adorable artwork. She yes. does so many cute things. I've got all sorts of like stickers and keychains and all sorts of things from Chris Goat. So she is a very, very nice person. Oh. Jasmine, Pandora's Parlor. Oh, Diane. Oh, Diane. Is she, I just is subscribed she with to, Twitch Prime as for well. For those who missed out last time, Diane is the one who won the original painting we did for a giveaway last time. Oh, this is Trey Cool. This is Trey Trey Cool. I say Trey Cool a lot because it, it makes me sound fancy. Uh, yeah, to people who don't I know what fancy to. is. Yeah. Well, if, if, if you ever get a, if you ever get a. <laughs> message from me that says train it it's just me being yeah i'm not french no, no. and it's uh, my it's um, my truck. house which who's chris goat she oh, says yes. that you sent her a live journal code i did oh my gosh that was back when you had to have a code for live journal to like have friends join up yeah wow no, we, we will keep posting about our twitch channel on facebook oh yes don't definitely worry, we, yeah i will always we post up we there. don't not do that exactly no i would never get in fact i still post at live journal i still like once every couple weeks i sum everything up and post up at live journal our carpenter is starry eyed over your painting oh thank you get a little emoticon oh neat. I, I was gonna say looking guy that is so cool he's so cute 
Well, I am at this point, um, as you can see, her wings are mostly done. I might put a bit more highlights on her, but now I'm kind of working on her dress. I was trying to decide what color to make her dress. I thought about doing it like bright blue, but I thought that might take away from the blue that's actually in the blue willow pattern. So I might go with more of a blue gray since she has black hair and it's kind of a dark green background for the most part. I think I'm going to go with like a grayish blue. So I'm taking some water, mixing it with Payne's Gray, a little bit of Cobalt Blue, a little bit of, what is that, um, Dioxazine Purple, and my favorite, which is, you think I know the name of it? Jasmine. Sap Green. Yeah, Sap Green here. Yeah. Chris asks, what is your canvas? A wood panel? And NHL fan says, did you have a wonderful weekend? Did everyone have a wonderful weekend? So it's an open oh, question that's, for that's everyone. open to everybody. Um, um, what is your canvas? My canvas panel? here that I'm working on is a masonite panel, a hardboard panel that I think this is a Home Depot one, right, Manny? We got a Home Depot. Yes. And I have gessoed it with a few layers of Liquitex gesso by itself as a buffer. And then I do a couple layers of tinted gesso, which is basically you take gesso and you put some acrylic paint in it. So it kind of starts off gray here. I always have a bunch of these things and I've got different colors of gray. Can we see on there? Yeah, I think you can see it on there up there. I don't know. So we have the, and I will make these different colors of gesso depending on what I think the darker flesh tones or the darker um, mid tones of the painting are going to be. So I do a few layers of that and I do it by hand. I know people use rollers or like spray things for gesso, but I like doing it by hand with a wide brush because that way I can make it kind of cross hatch so it has some tooth to it. So it has an almost canvas like texture to it, but it's actually on a piece of masonite hardboard. I always do a layer or two of plain gesso before I even start doing it. So it makes like a buffer in case you're worried about um, any sort of ar archival issues. It's like a solid sheet of plastic in there. Jasmine, What's up? That Nintendo guy says it's finally sunny in Michigan. 61 degrees today. Yay. All right. It's officially I just, spring. I just saw um, when Jasmine was having her Disney show last night, I walked around and I, I watched this high school performance uh thingy thing oh yeah disney, disney springs, springs they always have like and they were from coming. michigan greenville yes. michigan they were greenville, from and they michigan. had handouts and everything oh that's neat parties i was very impressed with their uh go get itness <laughs> yeah or go get emness go get sure I yeah. uh, tanya 98 says love all your artwork the ninja dragonlings are my favorite though oh thank you i live two hours north so i've been to disney springs gallery but miss you every time that's Aww. because jasmine's a ninja I am. That's part of the Ninja Dragon Link thing. But. Diane says it's beautiful in San Juan Capistrano. It's beautiful oh, here today. Oh. It's not. It's a fairly mild day for Florida. Yeah. Uh, we did get a little rain shower earlier, which is good because the fishies need it. Yeah, there we have um, a lot of wetlands areas in the. We have a bunch of forests and things around our house because it's conservation area. So uh, there's a lot of swamps and little rivers and streams and lakes and things. So when it gets uh, to be a drought, the water will go down in the, the creek and there's just like five little fishes left flopping around and it's always like an egret or a heron kind of looming over it scarily. So we always like it when we get some rain, even though, you know, it kind of sucks if you're on vacation in Florida to get rain, but we need it. It keeps our state green and pretty. Jasmine. Yeah. Phoebe LaFerre. Oh, that's a good kind of rolls off the tongue. Yeah, Phoebe Lafayette. Yeah. Says hello. Just downloaded Twitch, so I know when you go live. Oh, excellent! It's very inspirational to watch you paint live. Excellent. Yeah, I haven't um, really experienced that much yet, but there is the app you can download for Twitch, and um, that way it will alert you. Or if you do the follow thing on me here, it will alert you. I assume it does if you do subscribe. I don't know enough about that yet, since that's like brand new to me. But that way it will give you like, hey, Jasmine's live, as opposed to trying to mark your calendar later. Have we decided when our next one is up? Or have we? Uh, we played with the idea of Wednesday. Of Wednesday. I, Did I'm you ever look sure. at my calendar to see if I had uh, a schedule I or anything? Don't, okay. It, it I think it's in my purse, my actual paper calendar. Because I head to the doctor's office. Okay. No, it's probably the one that's in my purse that's on my okay. chair by my big easel. Okay. Anyway, yay, the sparkling conversation. No, we're trying to figure out when our next broadcast will be. We try to decide that before we 
um, let you guys go for the evening at all so everybody can keep track. I have, you, you know why I have the 26 calendar, 2016 calendar? It's so if I'm doing taxes that are from 2016 and I have to reference what I bought something if it was like for a, oh, a business expense. Like I had to fly to, you know, Seattle for an art show or something like that. I know where I was. No, so. we just have that. We have what, love? Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so. Okay, so, so we're th looking at Friday then. Friday, that would be a five o'clock uh, on Friday. Yeah, because um, we during the week we have to work a lot during the day because a lot of our things are shipping stuff at the post office. So when the post office closes at five, so usually after five we're pretty open. Of course, I kind of paint all day anyways, but I always need Matt to help me to Jasmine. do the talking and the moderating. Yeah. Was there a earthquake in Michigan? Was there an earthquake in Michigan? I I don't know if there was an earthquake in Michigan. Why'd you ask, Cliff? Uh, apparently, um, well, I noticed because Night Owl uh -huh. asked that Nintendo guy felt an earthquake. Oh, wow, maybe so. Hmm. Shaley D says, neat. good evening from Somerset. Oh, good evening, Shaley D. Good afternoon from Orlando. Yay. Or Florida. Yeah. Because we're doing regions or states. Yeah. Well, technically Actually, we're in what, celebration. Florida. Are those called states in the UK? I don't even know. What are, the, what are counties, those? Counties, aren't they? Are they or wait, counties, regions? Or... What would Somerset be? The blank of Somerset. Obijo says, hi, first time chatting. Love your art. Oh. Thank you. Good to see you here. Chris Goat says, I'm just going to call her Chris. Maybe yeah. I not call her <laughs> you Chris. have to call I her Chris know. Goat. I love goats as well. Yeah, Your I... Twitch setup is really great. You're oh, both doing you. amazing with this. Love that you guys work together as a team, too. Aw. Jasmine pays me very poorly. Hey. You yes, there was an earthquake. Half of what I got. Oh, wow. Sure. It's funny, we had an earthquake here in Florida many years ago. I only knew it because I was looking at um, a computer monitor and it was bouncing. Follows, oh, thank you, everybody who's Looks following. Like Lisa Yay. and Loke Lo White. But that's a main earthquake I've thank been you. in. It was in the Gulf of Mexico. It, they're called counties. Counties, that's what I thought, yeah. Counties. And Helen lives in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire, okay. It's important when pronouncing the... The uh, English Shire syllable that we say sure. Instead of Shire. Oh. Otherwise, it sounds like hobbits. Yes. <laughs> For example, when I was younger, we didn't say Worcestershire sauce. We said Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> yes. So We call it Worcester sauce. Well, Worcester sauce is closer to yeah. that, which was confusing. If you ever re read the first story of uh, Jeeves and Wooster... Um, and PG listen Woodhouse, to the audio yeah. on the one I got from Audible. Mm -hmm. They say the Wooster and the Wooster almost sounds the same. Yeah. Very Chris true. is good. Hehe, <laughs> that's what people call me to my face. That that's that's a good that's name. That's good. They don't call you goat. They don't just call you goat. goat yes, counties. Name. Yeah, counties. So Bijo says I'm from Deland. Oh, that's I, not. Too I have my nephew walking yeah. through the cemetery. I cherish it. Oh. Oh, First really? time I ever saw your work, my nephew passed in October. I, oh, you, oh my gosh, I think I just message. spoke to them on yes. um, either or you or your uh, family member on Facebook. And they told me that specifically about a that's walk a, through the cemetery. That's a very sweet story. No, Thank that made me that. very sad. I know how close I am to my nephews, but it made me happy that it was something that you could kind of um, identify with a bit. And... Uh, that's very cool. Well, thank you for coming to see me up here at Twitch also. Banana Split says earthquakes in California are so frequent that no one even reacts to this. Yeah. I, I hear that's the we, case. We've, we've Apparently technically I've slept been through in some that were very small when, when we've done in shows in Los Angeles, but it it was to the point that it wasn't even, you know, working, I getting up and going in the terrified doorway. terrified of earthquakes and, and kind of fear. I, I don't, they don't bother me. I've, again, the ones I have been through have been so tiny, it just... I don't know. It just seems silly to, to build anything on earthquake land. Especially but coming from go. Kansas, which is, you know, Tornado Alley, basically. And then living here in Florida, where we get fairly regular hurricanes. But, That's what always surprised yeah. me about the city of Los Angeles. When you think of megalopolises, I mean, because it, the greater Los Angeles 
area is huge. There's yeah, tons of people it's there. massive. But they don't have a large downtown. They don't have very tall they buildings. They have a lot of smaller it's downtowns. It's nothing like New York or London. Yeah, it's true. Cause it doesn't like, have that same thing going LA, on. Or Chicago. Kind of by the arts district. And right. Yeah, Chicago's got so, a big downtown. So LA is a very spread out, low city. Yeah, it's it is. It's hard to get anywhere. The traffic is, is the worst in America. Yeah, they have a lot of wonderful experience. things and great people there. But the um, yeah, traffic, it's hard to get used to. <laughs> I don't even drive. I just ride around with Matt usually. So it's Daily D says her wings look incredible in the painting since we saw her. Oh, last. thank you. Thank yeah, you. I've been working on it secretly. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, so Matt's really yeah. helped on this one. Yeah. I would turn Jasmine's painting into that horrible Jesus monkey. If anyone ever saw that oh, woman, oh no, tried to fix the I remember painting. that. Gosh, was that in it Italy? was a painting restoration. What was that in Italy or somewhere? There, there, there were earthquakes in. I didn't even feel the earthquakes here in Missouri. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. Well, to be fair, what they say, the biggest earthquake, one of the big ones is supposed to happen on the, is it um, the Gerardo? That would be the New Madrid Fault. New, Ma New Madrid, yeah. And that, the Cape Gerardo. Right. Yeah, that's, um, that, that's supposed um, would, to be the one. That will, uh, according to Nostradamus, it, he's very reliable. But... <laughs> now, I believe everything Nostradamus well, does. Well, the fact it's in the middle of the continent makes it a bit different than the other sort of faults. I'm a Nostradamian. No, he's not. Matt always likes to make fun of him. Hey, he had some good points. He just said a lot of stuff. You say enough stuff, you always end up with some good points. Nice work there, Matt. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to... Actually, at this point, um, I'm kind of graying out her dress here. I think I want it to be a bit more blue. I'm thinking I'm going to use the inside of her skirt as being more blue. Like the places that you can see, like if she had a, like a satin lining in her skirt, I'm going to make that part more blue. Now, Jasmine, I have yeah. a question. What's that? I, I like to ask sillier questions. Yes, you now, do. This, <laughs> this is a fairy. Yes. And she has a blue willow pattern. Yeah. Are, I'm going to ask you several questions. Are her, are her mm -hmm. wings made of porcelain or can she change her wings at will? Ooh, that's a good question. I would say that her wings are made out of a lightweight composite that is probably fiberglass inside, almost like paper mache, but, but it organic. looks like porcelain. And she probably has some sort of polyurethane that's like shiny on the outside, so it looks like it's kind of glossy. But also, maybe it's something she can change, like a cuttlefish or a chameleon, and maybe she can make them look like different things. And she's just trying to make a blue willow one because she thinks now, it's trendy Jasmine. all the time. Yeah. Where did she buy her dress? Did she buy it at a place like, I don't know, Forever 21? Um, <laughs> or did she buy it at a, a market in this seemingly, possibly, I wouldn't want to say medieval world because yeah, we already have the Blue Willow not, design. The Blue Willow and she'd design know about that. is like from 100, 200 years ago, a British design based on the Chinoiserie sort of idea yeah, of so the Yeah, so perhaps she's turn of the century. I would say probably turn of the century. And wherever she got her dress, I would like one because I would like to wear it to my art show so it kind of matches my fairies. But I have had bad luck finding blue willow dresses. But, um, I don't know. Maybe she sewed it herself. Like, she's cosplaying and she's just making her own outfit. It seems is to she, be how people get she cool a, ones. A, well, perhaps she's just an insane human. Yeah. Wear, I know a lot of insane humans who wear fairy wings. Yes, I know a lot of non-insane family or um, human people who have um, fairy wings too. But oh, 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 really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Second. I, I, we actually know Joe. quite a few people who do fairy life like year round. Yeah. Says beautiful work. I'll be oh, at Disney you. Springs in May. Oh, excellent! If you're there May nineteenth, I will be too. I'm doing a show at the um, Wonderground Gallery there at Disney Springs on the nineteenth. May is a nice time to be in Florida. It's before kids are out of school, so it's not like super crowded, but it's all after spring break, so it's a very good time to visit Florida. It's also not, you know, 98 degrees every day. It's more like 80s. We usually get uh, 94 degrees daily. Every day in the summer, yeah. But We've already had 90s this year. You really year. do get used yeah. to it, I promise. You do get used to it. I like it. Yeah, I, I prefer I, it. I, I am not a fan of ice storms and stuff like that i'll take storm. a hurricane over an ice storm any day for those of just for those of you who are just getting here we we are going to have a giveaway yes. at six o'clock our time which is three hours 15 minutes from now yes so if you want to if you It'll have to leave, pop back around room. then 
And it's a free raffle. You just have to basically type whatever the command is when Maddie says type it in, and that means you're entered. And we'll send you yep, I'll explain our wonderful. It when we go. go off the cool mug. You can also buy these. It's um, it's my Princess Aurora. I'm probably not showing this right. You can buy those there from. There is a website. I think I have it. Yeah, they have it at Disneyland. At I'll Disney put up World. the website. But, and there's also yeah, the secondary websites that Sorry. buy them from Disney and resell them. And they're all official. They're all made by Disney, and I did the artwork for them. I actually painted her for D23, which is the big Disney convention in um, Anaheim that they do every couple of years. And then Disney licensed the design for me, and they have it at the theme parks. The mugs are very nice. Even if you don't drink coffee like me, you put tea or Helen says juice tea or anything. What's up? I don't know if yeah, that, link, that link did not work. Which one? Your www.disneystore.net. Oh, does it have a comma in it? No, but it has a question mark. Ah. Uh, well, I wonder why. Does it have an HTTPS? It, it does. Get rid of the S and try that. For the S? Uh-huh. Because when well, you have an S... It has brackets in a 45. I'm not even sure what that is. I don't know either. I think they tried to make it like an affiliate for me, but it never worked right. So okay. I just used it I'll as I'll try a... this one. If this one doesn't work, then... Yeah. Or you just go nope, to your... that one didn't work either. Okay, go to your WDW store. Queen of Caffeination just copied and pasted oh, it. Oh, it works. It Yay, out. there you but go. But it doesn't yeah. work as a link. I see. Yeah, just copy, paste, it, and then it'll work. I think probably Twitch tries to make it so Twitch gets like the ad revenue, of whatever, because that's what they're all into. But yeah, or if you go to your WDW store.net and just search Jasmine Now I could just type Beckett in that. Or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see that you had put the um, Beckett in there. Yeah, that makes Yeah, I search Beckett. And, yeah, because if you search Jasmine, it's going to bring up like all the Aladdin stuff with Princess Jasmine. Yeah, don't search Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Jasmine and Disney will bring up Aladdin's. Aladdin, Aladdin's yeah. Jasmine. But also, I did paint Jasmine for Disney, so and that, that could be that's Jasmine. Double, double Jasmine, yeah. But yes, so Yay. in two hours, 15 minutes, or I'm sorry, three hours, 15 minutes, we will give away that mug. Yes. We'll send it anywhere to in the world To one of our Twitch people. And you don't, you don't have to be signed up or anything. We just have to be able to know that you're in the chat room at right. that time. If I know yet, um, you can just email me later. If I'm new, you so we'll, we'll do a whisper thing. Yeah, yeah. Via Twitch. So I'm taking some cobalt blue mixed with water. And I'm going over this kind of gray design I painted here. Again, I don't want it to be so blue that it kind of overemphasizes the, her dress as opposed to the wings, because I want the wings to be the biggest focus of this painting. They turned out really neat. Can you see the teacup in it? Yeah. Oh, I paint. I gave her a little, a little teacup and saucer that has the blue willow pattern on it too. I'm also putting kind of a, again, I'm doing the gold in this so it kind of matches the gold frame that is going with it. So it's a combination of gold and blue willow design. Blue and gold, that was actually my, <laughs> my high school colors at the high school I went to, but I was not very full patriotic. Jasmine. Coincidence, I guess. Yeah. Shaley D says, so this might be a first for your Twitch. Yeah. My bird Reggie is sat watching you paint with me. Oh, really? She hasn't left my side um, the last two days. She's watching the brush flick back and forth. Well, she's probably snuggling that's up next sweet. to you. I know she that lost she her lost her, her birdie friend recently. Yeah, that's, that's so sad. That's very sad. But that makes me happy to hear that they're enjoying this. We had somebody else tell us about their birdie. Remember, yeah. Maddie? We had somebody saying that their birdie liked to watch my Twitch channel, so... There must yes. be, uh, I think they had a cockatiel or something. Yes, they yeah. like hearing Jasmine's they, they voice. They like hearing me talk, so I have a squeaky voice. Maybe that's part of it. Queen of Caffeination, yeah. not ironically, uh -huh. says, I really love the coffee cups. I oh, need to get some. Thank you. I bet. I they bet they are good coffee cups. And it, Kieran says, I've sent you the link to my YouTube channel on Messenger, Matt. Thank oh, you. Oh, excellent. I think he did like a sideshow of things like when we're at Glastonbury and he and his family came to see us there. That's always a fun event. If you're ever in the UK area, Glastonbury is a very fun place to visit. It is. We have a lot of fun in Glastonbury. Yeah. 
our next um, UK show will be the one at um, Whitby for Whitby Goth Weekend, which is a ton of fun. You've probably heard us talk about that before, but that they have like 30 bands that come and it's such a cool old seaside town and it's like where Dracula takes place. So it's all historical. And Bailey D says she feels like Snow White. Aww. The birdie thing. Yeah. Well, maybe Mark will be your prince and you guys can do a little there dance There you go. Together. Yeah. Adorable. Oh, I like Snow White a lot. I like her animal friends, especially. That's funny, actually, too. Like the um, Princess Aurora, Sleeping Beauty for Disney. I, she always has little animal friends, too. I was like know, the who, idea of having does animal does friends. A very underrated Disney character. Who? Well, Pocahontas. No, a, a male character. Male character. Oh, Johnny Appleseed. Yes. Yes. If, has anyone seen the oh Disney my Johnny gosh, Appleseed? The old it's it's Johnny from a while Appleseed back. Short. It, you, it's probably on YouTube or something, but yeah. He has he has a very very sweet relationship. Yeah. With animals, and I love that. He's he's my anim, animal hero for yes. Disney. Yes, and he is. He was an actual real person, John Chapman. He he was the one who planted apple he, seeds everywhere. In the Disney version, he's kind of almost like a Saint Francis of Assisi. Yeah. Sort of going around. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like a travel, almost like a traveling monk, yeah. planting apples, and the animals just adore him. Yeah. So they kind of follow him around. So he has that same prince's druid ability. Mm hmm. Of uh, like animals, animals will talk to you and they won't yes. be afraid of you. Which I envy. Mm -hmm. That'd be a cool power. Yeah. Well, we've just got a big new bird bath for our backyard here, so we've been getting a lot more birdies in our yard. Let's see. A couple of different colors of blue. I'm trying to do the inside of her dress kind of a darker, almost more purplish blue, and the outside is more of a blue green that will be on the blue willow design to match that. And I, I've kept her legs looking like she's got like white tights on. I might start working on her hair a bit more at this point. I've done some dark brown and some darker colors up in her hair, but I think I want to give her some sort of Oh, some sort of streaks. I, I like putting different colored streaks in here. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a blue. Either blue or brown. I worry if I do blue, it might be too much blue. But I want it to be kind of a brightly colored painting too. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll do it very lightly with some water here. And see how the blue will look at her. If I were to give her a little bit of highlights here. This is showing up. Sometimes the camera is very close because I want the detail, but it's a bigger painting, so sometimes it can't quite see all the detail. Is that showing up, Maddie? Can you see what I'm doing? I think I can see what you're Putting doing. Some blue. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was too high up. Okay. No, Yay. I can see it. Awesome. I think that uh, our viewers can see it as well. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll try that. I'll do at least that little swirl there. Then I'll want to balance it out a bit so she doesn't look too top heavy. So over here, I'll, I'm using the brush lighter on the when side. You said I'm kind of dry heavy, brushing. What did you mean? What's that? When you said top heavy, what do you mean? Oh, top heavy, meaning that her head, if I put the colors too bright up there and the rest of her dress is more kind of muted, less um, brilliant in color, that if I made the colors in her hair too bright, it might look like her head is too big. Which sounds weird, even the proportions are the same. If you put something that's really bright and super saturated in one area, you'll think like that part of the painting catches your eye first, and then when your eye is looking around to the other parts of the painting, you want there to be some sort of balance in the color. Yes, I, I don't know how your hair, your, your, your fairies <laughs> can hold up their head. I, yeah, that they, small neck. That, that's very true. Are so you, that, that, well, they are magical beings, so. Yes, part but, of their magic is being able to hold up their head. Yes. Have incredible of course, you say that about me too, Maddie. So, I, it's I have interesting. A, I, I have a big old a head. <laughs> Do you know, um, you know the African tribe that puts the rings on their neck to eat oh, yeah, their, uh -huh. their neck? necks. Yeah. Oh, this was fairly recent. I'm going to say the documentary is from about five years ago, mm. and one of the younger women in the tribe decided, hey. This is old fashioned. Yeah. I'm going to be my own person. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wear these rings anymore. And her neck wasn't quite as long as some of the older females in the tribe. And only the females do this. Yeah. Uh, and she took her rings off. And it showed how it doesn't really make, it doesn't add any 
you know, bone no, mass to their vertebrae. It pushes your shoulders down. What it does is yeah. It, yeah, it brings the shoulders in oh, and the shoulder God. blades actually um, are at a, they, it. Kind of they get at a 45 degree blades, angle. Yeah. So they're, um, they're slowly changing the shape of with their shoulder blades yeah. in, and they're kind of deforming themselves it's like how people used to wear corsets right and, and she yeah. took that off and it was it was difficult for her to hold up her neck and she found it so uncomfortable without the rings yeah that she went ahead and put the rings back on yeah so it, was, it was kind of a strange well, documentary like a metaphor, but i felt yeah. i'm kind of proud of her you know she wanted to break that mold yeah because she was being a little bit more modern mm -hmm. and she thought it was silly but there you go. And her friends kept giggling at her, I remember, because they thought it was so funny to see. It oh, you saw like it some... as well? Yeah, I saw oh, it with you, I, honey. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what yeah. I watch alone. Gosh, actually, I think I watched it before I went to Africa, even though we didn't go to that part of Africa. But I was watching every documentary about Africa I could because I was doing a, um, an Jasmine. event there. Yeah. So B. Joe says, I love your art. I can't wait to be there May 19th. Oh. Excellent. And purchase something to go along with my nephew's one that keeps me close to him. Aww, That's very sweet. Thank you. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, remind me when I see you that I know you and I know and where you're from and everything. I always tell people that when they come see me in real life. Sometimes I forget or I get people mixed up with the other people I know from other shows or people I know online, but I only know their screen name. Or It's always nice to see people in real life. We had a handful of people last night, actually, who were um, who came to my Twitch things before that, so it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think a lot of people just kind of they don't necessarily chat. They they uh, I don't like the term really, but they lurk. Oh, um, and, and that's they just okay kind of enjoy too. the show yeah, and they yeah. watch it. But to be fair, yeah, uh, you know, when I watch a TV show, I'm usually not able to chat. Yeah, with, with very the true. actors. Yeah, not that we're actors. No, but I'm not able not to yet. chat with the with the people there. So sometimes people just like to like to you know sit back and watch. And that is always they don't fine. necessarily need to yeah. chat, but we encourage people to chat yeah. if they have a question. They can hop in. Also, it's kind of neat if it's like somebody I've known online for years, like, and then I see them in person, and it, it feels like you know long lost pen pal sort of thing. Right. I love it. I love it when people from I like when we saw them. David and Lonnie when we we're in Los Angeles. And yes, that was that was very cool. Like some old live journal yeah. friends that we. It is for really years. a small world. The art community is a very small. It is. Small, Everybody knows world. somebody or somebody's related to somebody or. But I know that that's the same with writing. It is. I know yeah, a lot writing. of. Uh, I'm sure acting is like that. that. Musicians, even ones of note, even they just. They don't have as big a circle, social circle, yeah. as you think, and they tend to stick to their own. They tend to be friends with people or to, like, chatting to people who like the same things you do or spend their life the right. same same way that you do. Right. And, and if you're somebody who spends a lot of time sitting at home and painting and sometimes go to galleries, that's who you're going to see. You'll have, you'll have more to discuss. No, I have made her hair quite long. I don't know if you can tell yet because I just kind of did it dark here, but I've given her hair to kind of balance it out. Again, I use the term top heavy because if you're looking at the painting, I want there to be a lot of stuff to look at the top, main part in the middle, and then some more interesting things down here, which is why I added the teacup later. So it kind of balances out that so it doesn't look like she's sitting on a big green hill and it disappears into nothing. So I'm doing that with her hair also like to see her hair being long so I'm going to put a little bit of that blue highlight down on her hair here so Jasmine yeah then you you have a before you start a piece mm -hmm. you have an idea of composition yeah but then as you go along and the piece is getting nearly finished as this one yeah do you think that the same idea of composition and making it uh, balanced mm. is, is still in the forefront. Is, does it stop at conception, or did you know you were going to do this ahead of time? Oh, okay. When well, did the idea okay, come to that's you? Okay, that's a very good question, actually, because um, when I have an idea, I'll have a very loose thing. In many bases, my initial um, sketches are a big scribbly thing. There's a big old circle for a head and some scribbles for trees. And now, at that point, I like seeing, like, from far away, if I close an eye and look at it, does it look like it's floating in space? Does it look like there's a foreground, middle ground, background? 
or does it look like it's something that could actually exist? And at that point, it just basically a stick figure. And when I do the outlines and I do the more detailed um, sketching, that's when I make some minor changes. And I that's usually I can kind of picture it in my head at that point how it's going to look. But once I start adding color, that's when there are a lot of creative decisions that you don't think about when you're doing the sketch. For example, things like higher contrast in parts of the painting that you want to see and draw the eye to. Like if they do an eye map of what parts of the painting you'll get first, I like those to be ones that kind of make a little journey with the arrows that you'd be looking at along the um, image. So something like that, I didn't expect her hair to be that long. If you look at the earlier, I think we have them up on the videos here at Twitch. If you see the earlier ones, I don't think I made her hair near that long. But I thought if I were to cut the wings off there, then she's just got legs. That's kind of boring and it just, that's, you know, a third of the painting. So I decided to make her hair go down to try to tie it into the leaves of grass. Then making the grass kind of like intertwine with it. Those are just things I randomly decided to do at the last minute. And then like the little teacup, I was like, oh, I need to continue that over here. I want it to balance yeah, out my... the um, little dove there. Yeah. What's that? Um, Comments and questions. Oh, okay. Oh, I heard uh, a magic noise. Did somebody yes. else subscribe? Yes, CC Mint just subscribed. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you, CC Mint. Huzzah. With Twitch Prime. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, Twitch Prime is awesome. I'm digging this. Lynn Storado, yeah. our biggest fan. Excellent. Uh, says, you're so pretty. I oh, love this piece, you. and I love the piece with the, the skeleton and the girl. They could be oh. referring to a number of pieces. Yes. Now, Angie P has a question. Uh -huh. How do you know when to stop adding to the painting? Uh, when I know, it, it usually becomes obvious to me after a while. And I'll probably get to this point during the session here. There's um After I have treated everything with the same level of detail, is what I would say, Something like the sky, I know that's going to be kind of blurry and it's not going to be very detailed. But her hair, if part of her hair is very dull and doesn't have a lot of tonal gradation, I'm going to work on that until that has the same level of tonal gradation as the grass does or as the sunset does. Once I get to the point where it seems like there isn't anything that looks brushy or unfinished or something that looks like it's not quite ready. And I, I think that's a, a weird thing to be able to decide probably just lots of practice because i've artist friends who will work on a painting and they'll like turn it against the wall and leave it there for you know a, a year and they'll go back and add some more so it that is up to the individual but there's a feeling i get when everything has the same level of details probably the similar level of how many types of layering i've done and then there's a point I look at it and it's like, oh, you look like you're my little friend now and you could wave at me and blink if you wanted and that's when I sign my name. So I'll probably get to that on this painting not, not too long, probably another hour or two I'll be done with this one. Then I'll start on some minis. Again, I've got a mini one that is also kind of Blue Willow themed. It's actually a sketch I did that was originally going to be the idea for this one of seeing how a fairy would look like with a blue willow pattern wings. I think I had her facing the other way. And the other one is going to be the one that's based off of my little biohazard character, which I don't know if anybody, I, I, somebody was using the little emo, emoji thing. I just like happenstance, it happens to be my little emoji for the subscribe thingy, but still have like the gas mask with the yeah, biohazard sign. Yeah. Haley D has a question. Yes, this back. This background looks a lot like the view from the cliffs in Cheddar Gorge, England. Oh, it does. Even like, did you base it on anywhere in particular? It is not based off of anything specific. I had a book, and here's one of the pictures in it. Um, see that? Yeah, there we go. I bet if you put it in front of the camera. Yeah, I, I'm putting it in, the, in front of the camera here. Here we go. I, it's a French painting. I think it's at the Louvre that I took it at. It's um, based off of a... Um, Oh, I forgot his name already. Lorraine, Claude Lorraine. He did very soft kind of pictures of France and also I think England that have kind of sunset with like a not too detailed sort of Jasmine, leaves, but more kind you're currently of currently getting looking. rated. I'm getting what? I'm getting rated? Yes. Oh, hi Rosalind everybody. Rosalind Shade is rating with a party of eight. Thank oh, you, excellent. Rosalind Thank Shade. you. We'll have to return the favor. Jasmine. Well, welcome everybody. Yeah. Have you ever painted a baby dragon curled up with a teddy bear? With a teddy bear. 
Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure. I have painted teddy bears and I have painted dragons, but I don't think I've ever painted both together. That might be really cute, though. Teddy bear dragonling. That would be a good one for like a, a kid's line of like little onesies and clothing and things. That would be just adorable. But yeah, I've had a handful of teddy bears and a handful of dragons, but I don't think ever together. That's a good suggestion. Is that one of our kitties? Leave me. Oh, it's Sunshine. She's snoring. Sunshine Daddy. is snoring. Okay. <laughs> this I'm sorry, noise. Uh, Dr. Bulldog. I don't understand um, the language. What is it? Right, we. Bonlar says, Learn me. Bonlar? Like. Uh, Bun lar. Bun lar. Oh, I'm seeing. It's, I, it's, I it's a language we don't speak. So uh, I just finished my creative stream, so I thought I would drop people here. Thank oh, you, Rosalind. Thank you. Thank the you Shaley very much. Shaylee B says, wow, yours seems a lot more more with depth and background. Yeah. And Lynn Storado, biggest fan, says, how to raid. That would be backslash raid. Uh-huh. Then space the, the uh, name of the channel you want to raid. Like if it was mine, you do like... Backslash raid Beckett Griffith space, or, Jazz and Beckett yeah, Griffith. or whatever the name is of the Correct. channel you want to raid. I haven't done it myself, but Matt's done it. We usually raid um, Heather or Nun, our friends who are Twitch people up here, but now we're meeting more people up here too, so we have to expand our repertoire. Jasmine, yeah. Helen says, can you explain how you subscribe through Amazon Prime, please? Will it work with Amazon UK? It will. It does work with Amazon UK. If you click the subscribe button when you're looking, do you see the subscribe button? depending on what is on my main page here. And then it will have a thing that says subscribe with no cost, I think is what it says. For the UK. I, it, it says, sub, I, I'm sure it I, says, it says sub subscribe with Prime. What's that? Oh no, on the, um, if you look at the episode guide thing I printed, it has the UK version and the US version, what it says. On the little document thing, I copy pasted oh, a bunch of stuff uh, on it. Yeah. I didn't know you were asking me. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, on the episode guide. Let's see. It says click subscribe and then click either subscribe for free or subscribe with no charge. It has a Let different term for the year. UK. If you're an Amazon yeah. Prime member, that means you get a free subscription and you can yes. totally choose Jasmine's channel. Yeah. Just click the subscribe button here at Jasmine's Twitch page. Choose okay. subscribe free or subscribe at no additional cost. That's the UK. UK says no additional and voila. cost. Yeah. If you're not an Amazon Amazon Prime member, you can subscribe for four ninety nine. Yeah. So subscribe at no additional cost is the UK. That's what it says. How yeah. did you figure that out? Um, because if you're logged in on a different one, it shows a different thing. Also, okay. there's a tutorial I found too online, like eight minutes before we started painting. So. <laughs> Lynn Storado says, my Prime thing doesn't work because it's my dad's account. And he's uh, it. Yeah, it wouldn't ours work wouldn't work. Yeah. It's I funny because yeah, Matt couldn't to, do it with mine it. because our Prime is under my name. So they're like, you can't subscribe to your own channel, Jasmine. So, so Matt just had to fork out his own money, but that was very sweet of him. But that way you get the emojis. I'm not sure how the emojis work too, like if I can make more later Jasmine or pays what. Jasmine 35 cents an hour. Yes. But... Don't worry, I work 27 hours a day. Yeah, it adds, up. adds up. Yeah. No, you are... Helen says, I can't see where it says for free. I apologize, Helen. Oh. I wish I could help out it more. Could, it could be that you're not logged in under the same um, email address that you use for Amazon. Because I think it ties into your Amazon um, account. Right, so perhaps if, you're Amazon if you Prime. log into yeah. Amazon and log into Twitch at the same yeah, time. Yeah, also... Maybe Amber, that'll... Or... Amber. <laughs> even yeah. rib. Okay, Lince Durango, yeah. biggest fan, says the print I love is even rib. Even well, rib. Uh, even rib yeah. is a is actually before Jasmine painted it. Uh -huh. It is a story it, that I it's wrote. It's a story Matt wrote. And it's our, a short story that book, I wrote. The book that's coming out, the Forever Strange book that's coming out um, later this year. There's a link to it on my Amazon thingy. There, it doesn't have the picture up yet, but and that's where the short story is, and that's where even rib the illustration was intended for. So it's finally coming out this year. That's one of my favorites. Very cool. Somebody told me they were going to try to cosplay that with her boyfriend. I forget if it's Dragon Con or Mega Con, and she was going to like. link your Twitch account yeah. to Prime. You need to go into Amazon and link it. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I got 723 says, when will you be in Disney Springs next? I have a few of your pieces, oh. but I particularly love the Maleficent. Excellent. I'm next I'd love to get is it signed. May 19th. 
May 19th, and I'll be at the co-op one. So you can you can bring anything over there. That's the one inside the Market Street or Marketplace Co-op and at the Wonderground Gallery there. And I'll be there, and then I'll be back over at the Pop Gallery on um, June, uh, June 30th. Also, in between, we have Megacon. And if you live in Orlando and have not been to Megacon, you need to go to Megacon. It is one of the best large-scale fantasy conventions in the world, and it just happens to be here in Orlando. They get over 100,000 people there. They've got lots of celebrities there and lots of artists, and it's very neat. Uh, what was that pretty noise? Fzool gave us 25 bits, I believe. Oh, excellent! Just wanted to see what your cheer notification is. Yay! Apparently, it's not that great. It's oh, just, it's just I probably just have to. Bad. I probably have to set it up still. Um, we apologize because I, I just literally before we started so broadcasting, yeah. I got the thing saying I was an affiliate. So we will set up the bits thing. So very it looks cool. cool. It's kind of like a way you can tip people with like digital little sparkle money things that, that, you know, not real money, but like little yeah, thumbs I mean, up. Um, yeah, it's like I'm reviews. To, I've got questions for you, but yeah. uh, Limstrato is asking about Funko Pops. I'm going to grab your little... Oh, yes! my Like my vinyls. Um, she? Um, she was over there by the TV, kind of. But yeah, we just came out with the very first Strangeling vinyl doll, which is the same height and the same basic shape as the Funko Pops. And you can't find her, Manny? Okay. But yeah, she's over there. I, I could look for her. For some reason, you couldn't find her over there. But yeah, that is um, the first of a company that we've I'm a part of that is called Strangeling Vinyl. And Alice in Wonderland is our first one, and we'll be releasing a new one pretty soon. But they're the same size and format, kind of, as the Funko Pops and... They're smaller than the ones I've done for Disney, like the Bride one, which is the Vinylmation for Disney, but they're made out of the same stuff, and they're actually a little bit more detailed, the ones I have, because they we actually have hand-painted outfits on them as opposed to, like, the green-printed ones. Okay, honey. Did we bring her over here last time? I have hundreds of them. Oh, okay. So yeah, funny. I know we have hundreds of them in the shipping center, but I don't know I have in, like, my living room, but... But you know what? I kind of have to go to the bathroom real quick. If you don't mind giving me a second, I can sure, do that. I have and then so... for you as well. Sure, yeah. Okay. We can try to um, figure out the question. Sure, I'll, I'll read them aloud. Can you ask about Funko Pops? Like... No, they, someone said you should make them. That's why I thought it would be a good prompt. Um, Cypress81 says I've loved you since the 90s when I was living in North, northern Michigan. I was excited to meet you when you did a show in Downtown Celebration a few years ago. And I brought your st and I bought your Still Even 2 Zimmerman, which hangs in my custom frame at, in my living room. Very cool. And Kieran's making more and more videos. And the Batmobile will be there at Megacon. That's cool. And Pika723 says, awesome, thank you. I do live in Orlando. So I look forward to possibly meeting you. Can I see the pop? <laughs> We're trying to find it. We have we have tons of merchandise everywhere. I don't. Is she upstairs? I saw her recently. display box or I will at least uh, link it out it Going to put a link on there. Yeah. Wild, wild L fairy just described with Twitch, Twitch oh, Prime. Excellent. Thank you so much. You know I can't find my little Alice. I think I had her here on my windows 
Bill and maybe one of the cats got it. They like to grab anything that is like that and bat them around. Luckily, they're vinyl, so they aren't breakable. So it's not like, not like a fancy statue or anything, but they turn out super cute. And it, it's based off of Alice in the Van Gogh um, Starry Night. So her dress is, each one has had a hand-painted little Starry Night painting on it. It's really cute. I'm going to take two seconds to run upstairs. Okay, honey. It might be, it might be upstairs, yeah. Uh-oh. Like, I got a little bit of blue on her hand. I don't know if you can see that, but on her wrist it's a bit blue. But this will be a good example of how I can cover things up. The thing about acrylics is they are opaque. So it's like you constantly have a do-over. Watch out for my hair dryer. Plug. You can undo and make a nice of that so even if you make a mistake with acrylics oh, it's like it never even happened and go right over it and now it looks perfect and nobody knows she had a drop of blue paint on her so I'm going to I've had I have some blue it looks kind of gray now I think it looks too gray not blue enough so I'm gonna get some oh what should I get maybe some phthalo blue this phthalo blue it comes in two shades one is a green shade and one is more of a purple shade. I'm going with the blue, the greenish blue shade. And I'm going to go over the area that looks kind of gray because that will make it look more like a brighter kind of primary blue. Yes, I went to look for it and I did not see it. I think that Maybe. she's on a date with my <laughs> Mega Man figuring. Maybe so. Oh, she's a ransomer. But anyways, we have plenty of them. Did you link to my website, Maddie Cat? I did. I okay. put a link up there. That has even better pictures than a blurry Jasmine trying to hold one up in also, front of a camera. Also, if you're local, you can go oh, and they purchase at Disney. one at the Pop yes. Gallery. Yeah, if you go to the Pop Gallery. Disney, or Disney Spring. Also, whatever. too, they have my um, other vinyl I've done. Hey, is she over there? <laughs> Not to keep sending you on yes, errands, uh, but... the Haunted Mansion. I did a Haunted Mansion vinyl doll you for, that. for Disney. Your that dryer is, is magic. Too. This is yes. Empress 81. It is. I, I, I love hair dryers. That's the one concession I make yes, to my electricity bill. Please. Yeah, we'll shop the bride. Alice is like a smaller version of her, but here. Bring over here, honey cat. I'll sure. Try. Okay. This is, actually I took her veil off, but this one here, do, 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 can you see her good? I'll show her down here maybe. She is the bride from the Haunted Mansion, and she is part of Disney's um, Vinylmation um, series. There we go. Well, I showed her face first, but oh. she's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a fisheye lens there, so it makes her face look kind of funny. And she, she has an axe, she's got a candle, and her arm moves. Yeah, her Ooh. arm moves, yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so Alice is kind of along similar lines, but she's smaller, costs about half as much, and um, she is the Van Gogh Alice, so she's actually holding like a little palette with paint, so she's kind of like a little painter girl. She's got a nice big head. Which I like, and she has a very big head. How much are they at Disney? Um, um, the, the, now, would you are you talking the about bride, the Bride? The Haunted Mansion or, ones or the Alice ones? Or the Alice. Because the Haunted Mansion ones, I think, are like, they're expensive. They're like 40? 60. Oh. Oh, the Haunted Mansion is like $69.99 or $59.99. I don't no, know. No, they're a lot. They're they're very special ones from Disney. But yes. the Alice ones are like more in like the $35 to $40 range. And the, oh. that's pretty cool. Carrie, yay. Show off oh, your emoji, okay. Carrie. Oh, Carrie. Oh, hi, Carrie. That's our friend, my friend Tiger or Pixie. Emoji gone, rather. She is the one. I keep saying emojis. <laughs> But um, she's the one who I'm working on the Orange Blossoms painting with, and she'll be at MegaCon also. So I, oh, look, there she is in the little slideshow. I see her. Oh, the the Alice? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if anybody's looking at this. Oh, now they're gone. Now my oh, little butterfly gone. fairies oh, look, are there. Those are cute, too. It shows a concept but... there being created. Oh, okay, yeah. Because, yeah, the Alice one, it's kind of neat. It's the first time I've done something like a vinyl from start to finish, so I, like... Did the painting on wood, and then we did the clay version, and then from the clay we made a mold, and from that we molded the little hair pieces separate, and each one has to be hand painted, and so I had to have a factory help me with that one. I had to actually like run down the factory. Yeah. Leany and seventy seven is waiting on the haunted mansion vinyl mansion to be shipped over right now. Oh, excellent! It's for their birthday next week. Happy birthday! Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday! That's a great one. I thought it was funny again last night. I talked to somebody who had the um, Haunted Mansion Bride one as, as a wedding topper once again for their um, wedding cake. And I, I just think that's hilarious. 
It's not the most positive view of marriage, but apparently it's a thing. So, a lot of weddings that must at have Disney been a World. Big ass cake. Yes. Well, it, they got married at Disney. Have you seen those cakes they do, like at Grand Floridian and stuff? They're crazy. Disney weddings are over the top. They have like three-dimensional printed screen things that you set up holograms on to go on top of the cake to make it look like it moves around and stuff. It, they it's, I saw. A they patented Ralph it. Cake, it's awesome. What's that? Wreck It Ralph cake. Oh, Wreck It Ralph cake. Yes, yes. Or it's like how they do the big projections on the castle. I think the, there was a projection on the Wreck It Ralph cake. Yeah, exactly. There's a Cinderella one too, where like the 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 horse the horsey carriage goes around. Versus Jasmine's awful little wedding with was, me. Oh, in front of a judge. It was a marriage, if not a wedding. Yeah. Something. But it oh. was fifty dollars. Oh, I heard another fancy noise. Grinchy. That's all, and it does it, and it shows the Valentine Dragon Ling, right? Is that the one it shows when somebody yes. joins? That's so neat. Valentine Thank you Dragon. so much. And that's Laura, isn't it? Grinchy? Or is that mm -hmm. another guy? Hey, Laura! So happy to see so many people subscribing already. I wasn't really sure how all that was going to go down, but the more we have that, the better we can actually do this more than once a week. Helps cover our expenses and everything. Oh, yeah, that blue is coming out nice. I yeah, don't know if you can tell the difference. But it's more of a bright blue now. Yeah, what's up? Erin says it's so good to watch you live and watch you do wonderful paintings from the beginning. Oh, thank you! That's the thing, too, if you're watching here at Twitch, you can see me in the early stages as well as the very final stages, as opposed to, like, Facebook or Instagram, where you just kind of see me in the middle. This is kind of neat to see here. Yeah, I'm going over that blue, blue, blue. This is going to be more subtle. It's not like she's got, like, bright blonde highlights or anything, but she's got kind of a nice blue... That goes from a grayish blue, which is actually Payne's gray acrylic paint, and then I'm overdoing it with the overlaying it rather with the phthalo blue. So, and again, as you see, I use my finger to paint a lot. A lot of people say, "What brush do you use to make it look so smooth?" And I'm like, "Ah, it's my fingers, especially on skin tones and lighting like finger from paints. sunset." Yeah. Finger painting with Jasmine Becker. Exactly. Now I'm going to decide where the highlight, I, I know obviously her light source is behind her, which is why the outside of her head and like behind the tree is kind of a reddish green instead of just like a regular bright green. So I'm going to do a little bit of a cool tone on the front of her head, like the part that's closest to us here. Because you can see this part of her cheek is brighter because she's turned away because she's got two light sources. It's like she's sitting in front of a candle, but there's a big sunset behind her. So the sunset's going to be the red kind of really bright source behind her. And then in the front, we're going to have a cooler tone, which will also kind of knock up the blue bits here. So I'm going to take some phthalo gray and a little bit of titanium buff, a little bit of titanium white, and I've got some Grand Dyke brown. For those just joining, we're going to have a giveaway in about two and a half hours. Yeah. A mug. A mug. Here to show it once again because I feel like I'm on QVC. Okay. There's my, my wonderful mug here from Disney, officially from Disney World, and it has my painting of Princess Aurora in her um, briar rose disguise. It also has a whole bunch of little birdies and owls and squirrels and all sorts of cute things happening. And you can see the castle in the background. I think that's the only painting of mine I've done for Disney that you can actually see the castle in the background. Does anybody in the chat room have any other good ideas for giveaways what oh, yeah. would you like to see as we giveaways? we like hearing feedback so and i know just don't say original paintings right now we hey, know everybody I, wants those we, we did an giveaways. original painting giveaway last time so we, did we do, we do, do that giveaway, that's, was, that's going to be restricted to my patreon people that's patreon. But yeah but on which is Twitch, a dollar to sign up for but if you the free ones we're going to do good ideas? things like that we'd yeah like, we'd love your input yeah like pins or like shirts or you want to like, oh, maybe gift cards to like strangeling.com. Tote bags. Tote bags, okay. I will Ooh. read these as we. Come also, up with these one ideas. thing one thing we could do, Maddie, we get the, um, oh, the bags, the reusable shopping bags that we do for MegaCon. Yeah, we, we still have a handful of those that were our personal ones from last time. Yes. That might be our kind personal of a one. Yeah. Yes, they are our personal ones. But I mean, I, I keep one and I can give the others. Somebody can have my dirty used tote bag. Oh. Gift yeah. cards. 
Yes, gift cards, because we have electronic gift cards at strangeland.com. That would be a great one. That's a very good suggestion. Yeah, we need to we need to promote that more. I don't think yeah. people know about it. A lot it, of people don't know there. we have gift cards up there. And they're and they're not like a physical card. You can print out the card if you want, like give it to somebody, but or they just get like an email with a code. And so far we have tote stuff. bag and gift cards. Yeah, those you are you make good. phone cases. Sorta. Of. I do. The problem with phone cases is I, I license them with other companies. Everybody's phone is a different size, so I, if I were to like buy them to give them away, I wouldn't know what sort of phone every. It's like, hey, you want an point. iPhone Seven? And they're like, oh, I have a Galaxy Samsung thing. You know, it wouldn't fit. A print? So, that's always yeah. easy. Print would always be easier. Yeah, like they could day. pick whatever print they want. That would be a good one. Or like Lady a big canvas. Seventy seven says, "Hmm, I would love some of those little lizards that are everywhere in Florida." Oh my god! I'm missing them. Not sure they'd be viable. I love them. We have them. exactly. I counted them yesterday. Yes. We have one point seven billion of yes. them in our backyard. We alone. have over a, over a hundred any given time. Oh, if certainly. I sit here, yeah. I can count over one hundred lizards. Oh yeah, we, we from sit my there. Seat. Postcards. That's I a good love one. them. Postcards would be good. Um, Amy was um suggesting she's one of my Patreon people that we do like uh birthday cards, like somebody's birthday. That would be kind of neat. Like I could sign them. Magnets. Magnets. That would be good. Ooh, I have Disney magnets that I can buy from Disney World too. Coloring books. That would be kind of neat. Coloring books or Sarah like Sarah says Oracle me and Lenny and seventy seven love Strangelings UK. Aw, thank you. Like Paul. That yeah, that's Paul at Strangeling UK. Fantastic guy. If anybody has yeah, ever actually, been to our UK event, UK people can yes. purchase. Uh, I I don't know if they're on his website or not. Oh, but Paul at Strangelings. UK, he does have a bunch of the vinyls now. He does, yes. If you're the, in uh, England Alice and you vinyls, want to save on shipping, if you're in the UK. yes. The Alice vinyl dolls are actually at Strangeling UK. And those are ones that we like brought in our suitcase over to England. So they're physically over there. So that will save you on shipping. Daily D loves your Aurora. Oh, that's thank the, you. That's her favorite character, and Yay. particularly the fourth scene with the song. Yeah. I think he captured the woodland feel really well. Oh, thank you. I got to look uh, at. Karen says mom has lots of ideas uh, for pictures for Jasmine. I bet she does. Oh yes, I always like hearing suggestions. I always have more suggestions in my head than I know what to do with, anyways. But I like hearing suggestions, and you never know. So. Alster twelve says, "Would you ever consider teaching a basics painting class?" I think this is about as close as we're going to get to that. This is probably the closest. Um, like I said, I do um workshops. Like I do the one fantastic workshop. I've done that a couple workshop. of times. That's a, um not the tutorial, but I do acrylic tutorials. Yeah, that's true. Um. Okay, if they want if they want the best one ever, they should come to the Africa Art Safari. Yes. Post a link to that. That's a year from now. Well, it's like March of 2019, and I am doing like a two week long safari through Africa, and also Jasmine helps you and does portfolio reviews and paintings and tips, and we'll do on plein air painting, and we'll do. Um, I'm going to do some lectures on how to look at photographs and use them as references if you want realistic paintings and. You can bring your coloring book or your crayons or your paints or anything, whatever media you work with. It should be something that we will be able to do on the. Or you can art sip safari. gin and tonics with me. Or you can back. hang out. Exactly. You don't because have to be an to artist paint. to go. Because Matt's going with me. I've done this before. Um, some musician friends in Africa, but this time it's going to be art. Halini and seventy-seven. They so they already got that. They're probably referring to the. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Colin says, I've got two 3D nice. pictures in, ja in my Jasmine collection. Not sure where else to get them. Do you know, please? I think Paul, um, Strangeling UK, is the place. Yeah, I think Strangeling UK the is the only... The yeah, they're not we available in the United States. States. They're only from a company called Nemesis Now. N-E-M-E-S-I-S -E Now. So if you search them in Jasmine Beckett Griffith, you might find them online. And contact Paul at strangelinguk.com, and he could probably point yeah, you in the Paul, right direction. Paul, because they, they are really cool. They're like these, almost like a hologram sort of thing that are 3D pictures. But I've only ever seen them in England. That's where that company is mostly located in. Like, yeah, that blue is coming along nicely. Parts of it are kind of more purple blue. Some are part of I'm gonna a put more a pause greenish for, blue. Since we have more UK people, I'm going to put yeah. it on UK. I think since we're actually broadcasting earlier this time, I think we're getting more we, UK people. Well, we aren't wanted we? to get our UK friends no, that in makes here, me and happy. it looks like it, that works. That's work. what I'm doing, yay. Because they'll be all sleepy otherwise. This is yeah. uh, Paul's uh, website for you UK Make people. sure it's strangelinguk.com. It's I've not got, co UK, but it's .com. I've got it perfect, okay. Jasmine. Excellent. Don't you worry. Thank you, honey. Okay, so I'm putting a bit of white there. 
I'm gonna make this yeah, more of a Helen, if we go to light. Africa, I want you to wear your sunblock. <laughs> yes. Oh no. <laughs> and every all my British friends, when yes. you come to Florida, if you are fair skinned and you are British, sunblock. yes. Otherwise, you will burn. I yes. promise you'll burn. And Kieran says, Mom will email you, Jasmine, with the picture I did. I'm always like hearing those. Thank you. Stardust Luna says, hi. Hi. Hi, Stardust. Hello. I like your name. That's a good name. Luna's always a pretty name. I wonder if she likes the book or the movie Stardust. Paul is awesome. Yeah, Paul's a good guy. Hey, lady said, He's the dude that's always next to us. Yeah. He's the guy. He's the one who, the like, guy. he's my distributor, so he actually brings a lot of the stuff when I do shows in England. Otherwise, I'd have to, like, mail it all there, which right. is almost impossible. We would have <laughs> Usually much, cost more to mail it than it is for me to sell it. selection. Uh, yeah. If he weren't, if he wasn't there. Yeah. And Paul is talking he about was the guy rolling his a... eyes at us probably when we were talking about Toast of London. Yes, exactly. <laughs> But um, he's talking about opening up a permanent, like, brick-and-mortar, like, Strangeland Gallery in the That's UK. That's his goal. That's he's his goal, like, next year or two, maybe. opening up a permanent store so. and possibly Whitby. Possibly in Whitby, so that would be pretty great. That and that cool. would mean I'd have a place I could go to to do a lot more, like, signing events and things when I'm in England. So. Any excuse yeah. to go to England. Exactly. One of these times I'll have to actually broadcast while we're in England at our UK studio, and then we would definitely be in the right time zone for you guys. Right. Right now I'm taking a thicker brush, and I wait, am wait, doing what, some little now, bits is, of hair on the outside. What is it? Does the brush have a number? This brush is the thicker one. It's called a size 4 Royal Golden Teclon 250. Oh, I'm sorry I asked. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, I, I basically have two brushes that I use. I've got the the ones that are the SG595s, and then I've got the ones that are the RG250s, and they're both made by the same company. Sometimes they're clear and have the fancy handle on them. Sometimes they're wooden. I don't like the wooden ones as well, but the brushes themselves are identical, just a different handle. But those are pretty much all I use. If you look at my little Amazon shop thingy, I'm going to be scroll down on my um, Twitch page here. It will have a sample set that I would recommend if you're interested in trying this type of brush. So it like, gives you one of each size that I use. I also sometimes use bigger ones. Like, oh, here's one. Fell in the water. Like, um, this one here. Oh, like, yeah, you did. She, thicker did, ones she like got that. the Tinkerbell, huh? Karen's mom got the Tinkerbell. Oh, I, excellent. I didn't think that we were able to get that for her, but she found it. Oh, us. good, good, excellent. good. Some Happy of those things it. are hard to find. When yeah. Jasmine's asleep, I take her brushes and I, <laughs> I let the cats play with them. Yeah, I believe it. They do actually get my brushes sometimes. So. And we mock her. Hey. I still think they got my little dolly. I don't know where she went. Leanian77 says, I need you two to come to the northwest of England. Oh. It would take nearly five hours to get it to on a rubbish train. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, don't take the rubbish trains. Take the good take train. The normal no. public train. Now, our studio in England is in London, so we, we go up to Whitby, and it, it does take a while. It's a better part of the day to get up there from London. And then alternately, we will go to Somerset, because I do a lot of things in Glastonbury, which is down way, okay. not quite by Wales, but way down there. All I have to say is that the... The UK people that <laughs> collect pins. Oh my gosh! You guys, the the US people already know about pins, but the UK people. Yeah, we're talking about little, little enamel oh, pins that people my collect. Gosh. Yes. The, you guys could bring all your friends, <laughs> and as long as you um, are, we doing um, we're. It was a, if you make a purchase, right? Yeah, anything you buy, even if it's like a two-pound postcard, it doesn't right. matter. Yeah, you get a free to, pen. We yeah. went to a fairy festival in, in Cornwall. Cornwall. Uh huh. And the fairy festival, people. Uh, that's when we were very new with pens. Yeah. And we handed these out, and there are so many people with these pens that have that have them, and they don't realize that some of these pens have went on eBay for like 
four or five hundred bucks. Four or five hundred bucks. Yeah, they're always at least pins. two or three hundred. And you guys didn't show up? And they were free. You guys yeah. could have made it to. That's what I tell people. It's like, like or like when I do things. for your trip. Like the Dragon Con pins. I've seen. Oh my gosh. I've seen a dozen of those Dragon Con pins go for like 350, 400 bucks on eBay. That's crazy. And they were free if you just went to Dragon Con. And I gave different ones out each day, theoretically. Somebody get four. They could like pay for their airfare, have fun at Dragon Con, and go yeah. back. So. That's kind of funny. Well, that's how Disney is with their pins. I think that's probably how I got kind of the idea because I'd see people trading. We didn't know it would be as big a thing. Them. No, I had no idea. I'm happy it is because I love pins. Like, it, we're talking about, they call them badges sometimes in England. Too. They're like little metal pins that are little characters. Right, badges. Do I have any around? I, show some. You have your uh, bag. Oh, and my, yeah, it's sure, true. I'll, I'll fetch your bag. Yeah. I'll be right back, folks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work on the birdie here, but I need some more white paint. The problem with using a palette that has a lot of water on it is all the paints start to run together after a while. So, especially with white paint, I want it to be perfectly white. Because I want the dove here to kind of be representative of the little blue birdies that are on the blue willow um, design of pattern wear. What's that, honey? Yeah, I'll show Leonard too. Why not? So, um... That's okay. I can talk about his pins, too, because I like pins. I'm taking some very bright white on the whitest bits here, because some of it, I did it originally, but some more blue's gotten in it, since I'm kind of messy when I paint. Here, That's let's see. Just... Yeah, here. This is what I'm talking about. We do lanyards. Lanyards. Let's see, can that you see there? That'd be a good giveaway. Hey, that would be a great giveaway. I have, I have some. And they've got, yeah, we have a handful of those. I'm, I promise my fingers are dry, so they're not getting paint on it. So oh, that, that's a lanyard in here. Yeah, that's my mermaid one I got in Malibu. Okay. And I keep my pins. If you can see all these, I've got lots of pins, like these metal pins. And I keep them on my purse. I also keep one of each one that I, like, auction off when I sell, sell the original painting for it. But, oh, there's the biohazard one. That's the one that's like the um, yeah, emoji like that you it. got here. Yeah. Make, make the emoji show up. <laughs> yeah that's where it is just popped up right oh cool now. okay anyway so it's they're they're metal they're really cute Ooh, that's the one that everybody wants is the ninja dragonling one from um dragon Con. that's crazy anyway so whenever i do live events i always have these yeah go ahead and take that back i don't want to get paint on it that I, <laughs> that's worth a lot now i'm always afraid to take that purse out <laughs> but um yeah, and we have like a pin collector club where we send out new one each month and we give away the rare ones because I don't ever sell the rare ones. I only give them away as prizes because I didn't want it to turn into a weird, even though it theoretically makes money, I didn't want it to be like a weird price gougy thing. So we have like a pin collector club where people can trade them. Like people who live in Florida will trade them with people in London for the pins that they got. And... It's kind of neat. It makes the little girl in me very happy. He would like get pins from Disney World and stuff. So Jasmine. Yeah. Are you saying you're prego? Pardon? You said you had a little girl in you. No, the little oh, girl. I got scared for a second. Little past Jasmine would have been very oh proud and excited to see that I had pins. So that makes me very happy. Okay. Yeah, you should be nervous. You had a vasectomy. You'd have to have some Jasmine. questions there. I'm Jasmine. sorry. I'm sorry. Jasmine. Yes. No, okay. You didn't? I, I did, yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's some grown-up talk there. You mustn't broadcast no. such surgery. That's true. No, no broadcasting surgery. Just painting birdies. I'm going over with some very, very pure titanium white. Over on the very edges of this. Again, I put a um, bit of yellow, orange kind of on the outside of the bird's wings instead of like drawing a black line around it. Because that kind of looks like the sun, which is kind of like somewhere behind her head, is reflecting back. It's like a reflected sort right. of That's, golden glow. I remember you. That was probably the coolest part when you were painting last time. Oh, yeah. If you go back and look at some of the previous videos yeah, up here really on Twitch, like you'll that. see how this all began. I was learning, too. Aw. I didn't Aww, absorb anything. You, no. I, not at all. You can but, learn but, stuff by watching. It doesn't mean you have to do it yourself. You can yes. just chill out and watch it. That's fine. Well, I'm going to take all of Jasmine's skills yeah. on the road. You should, man. We're set up perfectly if you ever wanted to paint Maddie. No, I'd I'm, rather not. Those who don't know, Maddie writes, and that's what he does. 
painting is, is requires passion. If anyone goes into the painting business thinking it's just going to be money, money, or anything <laughs> like that, if you're not passionate about uh, it, no. give it up. You no, have to love you what do you do. You just, you I always think that's the most boring you, advice I you give would people. Probably make, like, make nothing. sure you actually like painting because that's what oh, you're going to do. Oh, says hi. Oh, who does? Beck. Oh, hey, Beck. Good to see you. Oh, Beck. Yay. That's cool. Birdie's getting very I close like to being finished. There's something about Beck. I can't. I, I like Beck. I just thought that kid's cool. He is. Karen so, says, Mom said the lan lanyards would be a good idea for a giveaway. Yes, definitely. Well, that's the second time we've heard that now, so maybe we should do that next time. Sure. We should give away a lanyard. Oh, maybe what you should do. A lot cheaper to ship. We could right. we could put yeah, less breakable than a mug. Yes. But yeah. I plan um, on not, not breaking the mug. Yes. Well, we are very good at packing. I'm usually good at packing. Yes. That's a we get a lot of practice with that. But that's a great idea. Maybe next time I'll make a lanyard and maybe I could stick like a pin or two on it too. Like if people wanted to like get a starting oh off pin collection. Maybe I could even put a rare one Maybe on there. Maybe we should now what? see. There's we gotta have goals though. Maybe yeah. we should do that after we reach a thousand people or something. Okay, like that. that's true. I kind of like that. That's um, kind of like how Patreon or, or whatever. Yeah. Hey, I like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. What I like it. Okay, we're coming up with this as we go along, but yeah, maybe. What? How many? I don't even know how many I don't follow know. I people. Think it, it how many follow people do I have? If I refresh, it might be different. I don't okay. want to refresh because okay. I'm losing my chat. Then. Alrighty. So, but yeah, know. maybe when we get to a certain amount, I will do a giveaway for a lanyard with some pins on it. Start off people on a little collection thingy. Let's see. Here we go. Taking a bit of that white. We just need input. We always need input here. suggestions. Yeah. We always like doing that. Now, the Patreon more vocal you is guys it. are about it, the more we know what you want. Patreon, we do even crazier things. Like, I give away custom paintings. Like, the winner gets an original painting, and they get to tell me what, you know, what they want the painting of. But Patreon is more of, like, a subscription-based thing. So, like, those people are actually, you know, sending money and whatnot. So, but now so that what, we have Twitch what subscriptions, new happened this week? that's good. We had, uh... um, we had the Disney show yesterday. We had the Disney show I got last a haircut. night. Matt got a haircut. You guys don't really get to see Matt, but he I promise it's short now. Um I've been working on the um oh the jamberry stuff. Um, jamberry. I you can probably tell by my fingers, but I don't get my nails done. But those who do, if you know the company Jamberry, they have just licensed a bunch of my artwork to do on people's fingernails. So like the little decals that have artwork and designs on them, they're going to have a strangeling category now. So I'll be sure to let you guys know about that. Because there's a company in Europe that does that now, but it's mostly like for Russia and Greece and places like that. So this is the first time I've had a company in America actually license Russia them. and Greece? Yeah. Well, they are uh, manufactured in Russia and they have a salon there, but the company who owns it is in Greece and they have a salon there also. So it's... So again, it's kind of expensive to mail even little things like that overseas. So I'm happy that Jamberries picks them up. So they'll be mostly in America. You're an ass. Yeah. Uh, um, Matt, um, it's a question for me. Ha oh, okay. Ask how to, um, how's your little stormtrooper? Very good. Aww. If you were on Facebook, you probably saw a picture of him recently. He yeah. went to the movie Rampage with me. He did. And he brought some friends. So I hear I, so, d I did not go to the movie, so it's yeah, Matt so and his Stormy went to the movies with me, and Mini Stormy. Stormy. Yeah. And he is doing lovely. Yes. He's well traveled. Helen says, I've seen the Jamberry type decals. They're so cute. Yeah, they've turned out really neat. And now that Jamberry is officially behind him now, I think they should be something that are easy for people to order. Is that how and, it works? Can yeah. Can people get this anywhere? It kind of works. Yeah, because they can order online like different consultants. It, it works kind of like Avon or something, like where you have people who like go to house to house and do the nails. And I was thinking and, about yeah. selling Avon, Jeff. Really? No. I didn't think so. No, I really wasn't. I don't wasn't. think you seem to really know much I wish I had some makeup. decals for my birthday night out next oh, week, says Helen. I don't, yeah, it probably won't be quite ready yet. They do, actually, Helen, the ones that are um in uh, it's Star Nails. If you can find that, Maddie, and send a link to it, maybe. They 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 uh, ship to the UK also. What, what is it? Star, it starts Star Nails, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Okay. That's the European company. Not Jamberry, but they're very similar. And they have different images too. They have like 30 different designs and they will ship to the UK for not too much. JK money. Water Decals by Jasmine Beckett. Yes, that's them. 
Yes, post a link. And I've seen them on people's fingernails, and they look so good. We saw some UK people with them, and they, they yeah. turned out awesome. I am putting a link up now. Yeah. This so whole, This is Europe? Yeah, this is Europe, these ones are. And once we get the US ones up, we'll put those up there, too. The dot .eu. Yeah, that's them. Jamberry is just coming popular over here. Yeah. Coming popular. Gotcha. Of course, Helen. Welcome. Yeah. Always happy to put up links. The least I can do. I'm just sitting oh, there. If, if you get them done, send me a picture. I'd like to see how they actually look on people's hands. I think that's kind of cool. Wondering where my little Alice went to. I hope I wasn't playing with her in the backyard and left her out there or something. Oh, you didn't <laughs> take her to the movies. You didn't take her to the movies. Okay. No. Yeah. A little bit more pink on her cheek here. Gotta rosy up those cheeks. Yes. Otherwise, Flush she'll look here. like a pale zombie. Oh, it's okay. A lot of my paintings look like pale zombies. But this is not a pale zombie. This one is not. This is more of like a healthy, slightly tanned fairy hiding in the woods. Oh, this is excellent. Typris81 yeah. says, I just found you on Patreon. Oh, awesome. thank you. Find up, and that is how I found out about you on Twitch. Oh, really? Perfect. Oh, I, well, I love how the internet is like a big tapestry of people finding people from one thing to another. Yay! to think of what color feet do doves have uh I don't are they kind of orange i know what it sounds like when doves cry uh, uh, uh. they kind of drew in some little legs here but i don't know what color feet they have sounds are they pink doves. can you look at google images and maddie and tell me what colored white doves, doves feet? like doves like their little feet all right like are they kind of orangish or are they like gray this is what she i always 45 <laughs> seconds or 45, 35 cents. cents an hour. 45 no. cents, rather. I thought it was 35. It does pay me in time. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing... I are see they... a dove. Well, that's a morning dove. No, this is like, like white a white dove. dove like it a looks beautiful like a white dove from a magic orange, truck. Orangey pink. Orangey pink. Okay. Orangey pink. All right. I'm very you scientific about this. <laughs> well, I mean, you it's also a fairy ever. with you porcelain make wings. Rainbow. So I can make him green if I want. But... You can make him green. You can make him rainbow. You can make him purple. Put some little peachy color and I'll kind of smudge it around. Kaylee says, as your website is named Strangeling, what do you think is the strangest thing you've ever painted? Strangest thing I've ever Well, it's ever not her painted. hands, which she paints every day. Hey, um, that's a hard question. I've had some odd things. When I was first starting painting, I did a lot of very strange family portraits and weird company logos and stuff I wouldn't normally choose to paint now. <laughs> Because I like painting the things I'd like to paint, but um, some of the more kind of conceptual or pieces I've done, more sur surrealistic things like my Archimboldo mermaid, where it's like a mermaid, but her tail's made out of octopuses, and things that have a lot of hidden pictures tend to be very odd. Some of the Alice in Wonderland versions of historic paintings are interesting because they obviously have the connotations of a old master's painting like a da Vinci painting or a Hieronymus Bosch painting or something like that but then they suddenly have Alice in Wonderland and the Cheshire Cat in them too so that those are probably some of the oddest ones or ones where I have animals that aren't necessarily the right size proportionally like my green goddess painting where she's like her dress is made out of trees but there's also like lizards and there's also cucumbers that would be symbolic. And, yeah it is that's, that's got a symbolist sort of thing too but but slightly surreal helen loves the song oh yes the prince. that's a good song um, i love prince as well so when i was when uh died. i was Christ. this is kind of an interesting story I, slightly interesting when i i was in new orleans researching a book that i'm writing and it takes place in New Orleans. And Prince died the, uh, oh, yeah. the second day I was there. I remember. And I wasn't there with you. You went no, by yourself. Jasmine, yeah. I was there by myself just touring the city and taking notes. Yeah. And I was getting... There's this beautiful wine room. And I was just having a glass of wine. I was actually kind of thinking about Prince. I heard some children playing outside and near Jackson Square, right there in the middle of New Orleans. And I looked up in the sky, and there in the sky, an airplane 
you know, how they, they draw things in the air, skywriting. Yeah. It was Prince's symbol that he used to, when he when he was the artist. They did it on purpose, right? It was after he died. Yeah, it wasn't it was just after like he died. And they put <laughs> okay. Prince's symbol up in there. Oh, the that's cool. And I was Aww. just in New Orleans, one of the most magical places on the planet. Very good music Sipping city, wine. too. Yeah. Very, very good wine. Yeah. And looking up at the sky and Aww, saw the Prince thing, and it kind of yeah. brought a tear to my eye. Yeah. It, it, was, uh, it really affected me. The problem was... That experience almost overshadowed the theme that I was trying to get with my story because I was trying to fill New Orleans, but it became Prince Town for a little bit. Yeah. As I walked past. Even though he's like from Minnesota or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it didn't matter. It's Prince. Well, weren't you there? Was it? Were you there during um, Jazz Weekend or Jazz Fest? Rather. Yeah. Yes. So, and that was that was actually a, a mistake too. I didn't mean there to be there during Jazz Fest. I, I didn't keep track of Jazz. Not Fest. quite I like accidentally visited. going during Mardi Gras, but so still. all the bars were playing instead of their you know jazz and stuff. They were playing Princess music, which yeah. was cool. And we were just kind of thinking about it, and it yeah. was weird. I it was a very very bizarre experience. And that was a rough year. There's a lot of celebrities. Yeah, I, I put that a died I put a photo of it on my Facebook years ago. George Michael okay. died. The same year, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, George Michael, yeah, not long also one that. of my favorites. Yeah, Tom Petty, for heaven's sake. Yeah. yeah. Gary Fisher. I mean, geez, it seems like a lot of people that... Yeah. Alan Rickman? That threw me for a loop. Now, I like Alan Rickman. I, I haven't Alan heard Rickman. much of his music, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, I've heard some of his spoken word performance pieces. He, did he might a be a good singer. He did a recording of that Robin Hitchcock song about death, and that's how I actually learned that. Um, Alan Rickman died because Robin posted, he's like, oh, here's a poem about death that Alan Rickman wrote, read, read of my poetry. And I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And then it said R.I.P. at the end. I'm like, oh, my God, he died? I didn't, I somehow missed it. Like, uh, I got a little cough sad. in my throat. Okay. I'm going to step over here and Yeah, don't cough. do it on the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sad stories about dead celebrities. Yeah, that's making... Yeah. Cough. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little bit yes, more. Yes, Perler, we, we know that gray. Prince is uh, from Minnesota. Yeah. Did you say Michigan? I, I, oh, did I say Michigan? I don't know. I, 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 I meant Minnesota. Jasmine he, doesn't know things like that. So I, 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 well, I, I know she, my states. Jasmine yeah. did not see Purple Rain. I, I have not. Jasmine has not yeah. seen Purple Rain. I haven't seen a lot of things. Jasmine though, might so see it's Purple not Rain. Me. I, I might. I I've like seen Prince. Purple Rain. Yeah. Not. Not as many times as some of you. I've only seen it probably like ten times. I don't know if that's a lot mm. or a little. But... I've seen Pink Floyd The Wall over 400 times. I've seen it a decent amount. I've seen it like maybe 30. I've seen it live a few times too. Yeah. We I've seen we, uh, Roger Waters in concerts. Amazing. Yeah. Great. Yeah, the blue is coming along really nice and Yes, I'm not far from the studio, actually. It says Perler Girl. Oh, really? That's cool. So Helen's going to New Orleans. Oh, fun! Well, if you, uh, I, uh, can recommend some things for you if you like. Uh, definitely go to the Garden District. There are all sorts of tours you can take. Garden District's beautiful. Um, again, Helen, be sure to wear your sunblock. It is, it is the American <laughs> South. Yeah. It's it's pretty hot there. Yeah. Um, there are, now, when Jasmine and I went years ago, we went on a very, very fun tour to Plantations, which isn't in yeah. New Orleans. It leaves no. from New Orleans. Yeah. And we saw Nottaway Plantation. We yeah. saw Oak, Oak Alley. Alley. And, um, if you've ever seen any movie that has a plantation in it, like that takes place in the Deep South, it's usually Oak Alley. It's the big mansion that you see all the trees leading up to it, like an in inner of the vampire and right. all sorts of movies. It's one of the most there. photographed it's places. Lovely. People are saying, rest in peace, Prince and Tom uh, Petty. Yeah. I love Prince Tom was Petty. an icon. Our yeah. state had a tribute concert last year I went to. That, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hell of a musician. He could play anything. The hell, and I remember Chris Cornell died not that long ago, too. Yeah. That's another one I like. Yeah, right. We he were lucky enough to see uh, yeah, Soundgarden not long in concert before, he passed before away. Chris Cornell. Yeah. Passed away. This is this is kind of getting... This is kind of getting me down. Getting now it's playing a Requiem here earlier here, here too. On the, yeah, I'm sorry. Anyways, Barry's got birdies. So. Let's, let's, let's talk about life. 
Yeah. The dove represents. The dove. That's actually, cool. often peace, represents the Holy usually. Spirit the or peace, peace. Holy Spirit, something yes, spiritual but Jasmine's and lovely. Peace, I don't think it represents the Holy Spirit. No, it's, it's it actually represents... supposed to be for those who know the story of the the legend that's contrived behind the blue willow um, plate pattern. Is, yeah, I still need to look the that up. I'm yeah. a bad person. I haven't okay. looked up that story yet. We don't have to. Again, it was actually, I think, a design before it was a legend. I think the legend was based off of the design to try to sell more plates, but I'm not Ms. really Lissa sure. Miss says, go see Foo Fighters <laughs> live. It will make everything better. Oh, that would be One nice. These things is not like <laughs> yes. Uh, I like Foo Fighters. I like Foo Fighters. Uh, I like Nirvana. Huge Nirvana fan. I love Nirvana. Yes, Nirvana is very good. Haley D says, there, there's a, a line in the movie where... I'm... Let me Which movie? There's a line in the movie that says, I've seen Thriller ten times. Movie Boy, Boy War Taika? I'm I'm not I don't know that movie. Oh. The movie Boy? Oh, I don't know if I've seen that. I yeah, this isn't a movie I, I know. This is how I find out about movies though, is from people telling me. So. I'm going to see the Foo Fighters in Manchester soon. Oh, lovely! Oh, very cool. That sounds like a fun time. Oh, uh, they're going to be in Tampa on Wednesday. What? This Wednesday? It. Why don't I know these things? That's well, I'm not going to make when it. We're it's gonna be all, broadcasting. all the best tickets are out. And uh, that's when we're doing our well, next Twitch. Well, have fun, Valser. Oh, shoot. Oh, See, Mr. all the cool Roll people are going to miss us on Twitch because everybody's going to be at Foo Fighters. <laughs> the Foo was one of the best concerts I've ever seen. Excellent. Aww. I just saw them in December. Dave Grohl is, is my other husband. He just doesn't know it. He's great. That's disturbing, Miss Liss. That's okay. Yeah. I like Dave I'm Grohl. Jasmine's other husband. Yeah. He knows it. I can hear the wolves at the door, Mandy. I don't like that sound. You I probably can't hear it because our rate, our microphones are very fine-tuned, but there are, yeah, it's windy out here in Florida. I think and you should howling a show and, and go to the show, yeah. yeah. Or we should broadcast from there. Ooh, that's true. That sounds illegal. You'd have to scream the whole time. Yeah. Let's see. And I think her dress is looking a bit too gray, so I'm going to go over the darker blue. Yeah, this one's coming along nicely. And after I finish this, I might start on one of the mini paintings, because she's not quite finished, but I want to make sure she's completely dry before I do the very final highlights. So that way I can varnish her soon after that. And I usually like to do that in the morning, because the light in here is better. Now these mini paintings go go quickly, so Jasmine's giving yes. opportunity to people in chat. Yes, on the yes. If anybody us, wants them, email me. And once, once Jasmine, Jasmine starts painting it, I'll put up yeah. Jasmine's email. If yeah. you're interested in one of the, the pieces, um, yeah. we can not also show some here. of the frames. Yeah, not this it's one not, here not because this, this is not, the yeah, one for the, one the that gallery. She's but on, but a mini no, I'll do some mini will ones. Be much smaller. Again, I have a sketch one that is um, based um, was actually the um, idea for this larger painting. And then oh, I how have many more minutes you got on this, hazard. sweetie? It's 3.56 now. 3.56 now? Okay. I'll probably... I'd like to visit Oak Alley and Myrtle's plantations, perhaps encounter oh, some of the resident The girls. Myrtle's. My grandma and my Aunt Pat went to the Myrtle's, and they stayed there. And, and they probably saw ghosts. That's, that's uh, Chloe, the ghost who got her ear cut off, yeah? And then she poisoned the children because she was trained to give them the antidote so she'd be like the hero of the day sort of thing, and... They got over poisoned and they died, so they lynched her. That movie. Which one? Uh, Papa Just. Oh, um, Skeleton Key. Oh, has anyone seen the movie Skeleton Key? Oh, it's what, really under. It doesn't have that? the best reviews on IMDb, I, I but it's, I really like key. that movie, that's Skeleton Key. Movie. It's a good movie. That's down in Louisiana. That's um. Yeah, that's that's New Orleans. -y. Oh, it's um, Kate Hudson's in it. Okay, so yeah. Jasmine, what varnish do you use? Um, and then oh, more questions. Let me, yeah. let me and then comments. Some art questions okay. here. Here's so, um, how do you remember what colors you used to make the each combination color? I have trouble making the same uh, color when I go back to touch up. I don't know how she does it. That, that that's is crazy. A, that is a hard. And what varnish one. you use? Okay, that the matching colors. I get asked that a lot, and the only thing I can really say about that is. Lots and lots of practice. I am very good at looking at a color and being able to match it because I've just spent a long time, many years, 20 years of mixing colors and knowing, oh, that's a little bit more gray. 
So if I, like, um, sometimes I've had paintings that, like, say somebody was moving 10 years ago and they scratched their painting in the moving van. They'll send it to me and I'll touch it up and I'll remember those colors from back when I painted it. So I think that's just, like, part of your brain. You can either look at it and you remember it, or there are, like, mixing charts and add a bit more gray, add a bit more orange, and you just keep going at it, going at it, going at it. So there, there isn't really a short answer for that one. Uh, varnish, though, is easy. Um, I use Liquitex Professional Varnish. It is good. It's I use the gloss type. It's not stupid, crazy, glassy, glossy, but it is a good level of glossy, and I like it. And yeah, I, Jasmine's crazy yeah. with mixing her paints. I don't yeah. know how the hell she does I, that. I color. can, yeah, I She's can, I can look at a shell, color and I can mix it. Stuff. Yeah, like Jasmine, I'm very good at looking color. But again, she'll come back two weeks later. I'm like, how the hell do you know how to get back to it? And she just looks yeah, at it and she can figure out what it was. It's not really a trick to it. It just lots of. Practice. That's where a benefit of being a digital artist, you could just kind of like. Suck in the color and you could tell what you could remember the hex code on it or whatever yeah, yeah whatever that's true. that no yeah. you could just you could look at it you yeah. don't have to remember anything yeah you could just ask what it is yeah it will true. tell you but no just lots of practice really that's all it is as far as knowing colors so boy is the movie that shaley d was boy to. oh okay so the name of the and movie it's is a really boy. beautiful and softly funny Aww, movie that sounds good softly funny okay Better than yes. hardly funny. Eh? Okay. Miss Liss, I was referring to an eyedropper. That's the way one would test a little pixel color. Oh, like in the Photoshop. Pixel color. Yeah. Karen said, Mom asked um, to ask Matt how is your little... The Stormtrooper's doing great. Oh, yep. I like having I took him to asking a movie. for Stormy. Yeah. Uh, just the other day. To Rampage. Rampage. So you're going to have a review for that up on your Patreon soon, yes. won't you? Because he hasn't told me about it because I didn't get to see it. So he's like, you've got to read my review. So I will listen, listen to his to review. It, listen to it, rather. Yeah. yeah and I put a picture good. of Stormy up <laughs> a few days ago on my Facebook. Yeah. Mini Stormy. Aw. So now I'm taking some of the same blue I put in her dress. So Miss Liss likes... Uh, using it on her roots of her hair. Miss Liss likes skeleton keys. Oh, skeleton keys. Good stuff. I like it. I enjoyed your Ready Player One review. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, good. Now you need to read the book. Oh, skeleton key the book? The book okay. or, or Ready I'll Player One. I'll read oh. that. You have a special technique when you varnish your art, ye old fairy trees um, asks. No, what I do is um, I have a bag. Do you have my bag of rags behind you, Maddie? It's in my um, cabinet. I don't like getting in a cabinet. No, it's right there. Don't be afraid yeah. of the cabinet. I have a scary art cabinet full of stuff, but... Oh, three ghosts Bag just of escaped. rags. Probably. My bag of rags. It's the only thing that looks like uh, a bag of rags. Oh. Okay. Do you want the whole thing? Yeah, just bring it over. It might say where it's Perhaps from on the outside. Anything. Okay. Let's cross our fingers. You see a skeleton? No, oh, maybe. Yeah. I have a lot of human remains in my lower level Actually, in my house. Wanna... Hey, Here. I'll bring over your uh, tibia. <laughs> Here, no. Here, um... I, I don't need to show off my human okay. remains right now. <laughs> I don't know these people all that well. Okay, so I get these big bags, and I think it's is it bagofrags.com. Bag Isn't it bag of rags? It's something different. American rags? Bag of rags is t-shirts. Okay, t-shirts. okay, not, maybe it's americanrags.com. Anyways, they, they have these little things that have no corners on them, so it's like a soft woven piece of fabric. They're meant for for like um, auto detailing, like if you have a car and you're like waxing it or something, because it ha doesn't have lint. So I take one of those and I soak it in water, and then I'll have a layer of varnish and not a whole lot of water. You don't want to make drip drops, and I'll do a whole coat of that. And I'll take a hair dryer and dry, 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 dry. Then I'll do another layer of the damp varnish and I'll dry, 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 and I'll do depending on how much impasto is in the painting, like how thick the brushwork is. I will do anywhere from 10 to 30 layers of Someone varnish. said, is that like cheesecloth? Yeah. And said, oh, not cheesecloth. No, it's not cheesecloth. It, it's um, some sort of it's synthetic plasticky fabric that um, the gloss it's won't stick to, the varnish it. won't stick to it. it. You can rinse it out like in between swipes. Um, and it has no lint. It doesn't leave little nasty fuzzy things which can like ruin your painting later. So that's why I get them. Just, if you look for lint-free rags or lint-free auto cleaning auto detailing rags. i also use uh, them to wipe off canvas prints before i bring them to yes to yes if we have we have cats we have a dusty old house i mean it's good to use on artwork because it won't leave any sort of residue jasmine yeah yeah 
People are asking if Bogarts flew out of the cabinet and what did they turn into? Um, yes, they did, but I was kind of looking over here, so I don't know. They turned into, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I busted out my, um, my, uh, Patronus. Oh, who's your Patronus? Then? My, my Patronus, Patronus is, uh, I, you haven't seen my Patronus? I might have done. I don't have a Patronus. You don't have Patronus? I'm, I'm a muggle. Oh, poor Maddie. We feel bad for him. Us non-muggles. Mine's probably a frog. I, actually, it was just it was Jasmine. Was it Jasmine? Oh, that's just very so codependent. I did the <laughs> ridiculous thing, and then she just turned into Jasmine. Oh. I'd say an owl. I love owls. The owls are good. I'd be probably a frog or a kitty cat. Probably I'm a frog. Owls. Some sort of awful frog. That'd be me. Oh, oh, I see. My Patronus. Owl or a stormtrooper. Oh. Oh, maybe it's the stormtrooper is your be a goat. I don't know. You do like goats. I like goats. I don't know if Christy's up here, but actually, we look it's at probably all a your toucan. goats at your goat farm. I like toucans. Toucans. Oh, that would be that would be a very good little friend if you had a familiar. That's, that's too. such an internet yeah. quiz. What's your Patronus? Oh, yeah. I heard a magic knight. Somebody following me. Thank you. Let's see. This it takes a second. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. I might finish this sooner so than obsessed. later. This is the part of the painting that isn't all Thank that you. exciting, really. It's kind of like the whole basic part of it's been done. And I'm just adding the additional layers and the figuring Jasmine out where the toad. lighting goes. Yours is a toad. I'm a toad. I'm guessing toad, toad Patronus. Yeah, probably so. Mr. Toad yeah. is my great uncle. I gave so. my mom, because I, we take my mom sometimes to... Uh, around traveling yeah she's retired when we go to England, so her, her traveling her name is scabbers scabbers yes <laughs> so i call my mom scabbers we land in heathrow my mother like, changes scabbers. her name to scabbers yeah so yes my my mom's traveling name is uh -huh. scabbers. scabbers if you hear my if you are at an event and <laughs> i'm far away and my mom happens if you see i'm talking to a lady uh -huh. and i call her scabbers that, that's, that's my mom. mom he's not just being mean to random ladies so I don't know why I call her Scabbers, but she's a big Harry Potter you fan. You know, yeah, she's a tremendous Harry Potter fan. And yeah. she has a great sense of humor. She does, yeah. Though me it's calling her Scabbers insult. makes her happy yeah, rather it than hurt her it feelings. pissing her off and you know, she takes away my allowance. Yeah. Gets you with the oatmeal spoon. She beats my ass with an oatmeal spoon. No, yeah. that, well, she used to do that. Yeah, exactly. But she's parents still out don't since. do that anymore. I want to get to yeah. be like 40. Then yep. When I was little, parents used to beat the hell out of their kids. Yes. Um, all the neighbor kids running around holding their arse because uh -huh. the parents and you could, beat like, the crap out of them. They would beat up like neighbor children too. Oh, yeah. It's like generic oh, children. Yeah. You could it's, whap them whenever you wanted. Everybody's beating yeah. children in the Midwest. I assume uh, it was like that the rest of the country. Probably the less like that now, yes. I would assume, a lot of, based a lot on of the families I know. A lot of ass beatings for but, children in yeah. the 80s. We're nicer to our kids now. Yes. Lenian77 says, Kelly Sarah calls my mom dragon. Oh, what a nice way. that's a nice so she one. Says, Dragon. Oh. Because that's a nice way to say dragon nice versus way. dragon. That doesn't mean dragon like she's an awful old dragon lady. Right. Yeah. I gotcha. And I just more blue. when I call my mom scabbers it's just scabbers. Yeah. Yeah, I remember once I got my father spanked me so hard I flew off his lap. Oh. Yeah. That's what he gets me in. He's kind of an ass. Yeah, I've never met him. Maybe he's watching. Ugh. <laughs> Enough of that. Okay. But yes, if, if anybody ever needs a beating, just take a, become a child and take a time machine back to the 80s. Yeah, there you go. You will get a nice ass beating or whatever. Yeah, nothing randomly. No, it, it was, it, well, it was part of the 70s. Oh, okay. I was born well, you were, you were a decent amount older than me. But they started, now I went to... The first school I went to, they they spanked us. Yeah, they could still hit you when you're in school. Yeah. yeah. So I one kid took away my toy. I forget what. No, actually, it was his toy, and I wanted his toy. Oh. And he wouldn't. So you were the share, bad guy. His, he wouldn't share his toy with me. It might have been a slinky. I don't remember. So I punched him in the face. Yeah, Jesus. And, and I, it wasn't your toy. No, it wasn't my toy. Well, so I'm he wouldn't let me play. I, I punched him in the face, and then the principal. Spanked me. Yeah. 
and I hated it. Oh, and then, uh, then my um, teacher, Mrs. Jarvis, she spanked me. My gosh! In front of the class, Where were you with, hurting children? With a ping pong paddle. Okay. Um, oh, Miss Liss got a paddle for talking in class. Oh. Um, so so she spanked she spanked me for with a ping pong paddle, and I forget it had something to do with a paragraph. Oh. Something about a paragraph in first grade. Wow. I don't remember what it is. Um, you hadn't stolen anything. She, from but the here's children. a weird thing. Mm-hmm. Is oh, when I was in my senior year. I know this, story. this is true. In, in a Walmart parking lot, somebody yeah. murdered her. Yes. And when I would die. So, so honestly, and I'm not making this up. Somebody murdered my yes. first grade teacher. Yeah. But I was a senior, so that was uh, long like, after. Uh, well, yeah. eleven years later, and I had wished her death. So I guess it takes twelve years, and then she got murdered. So. I don't know what sort of powers you have. Yes, I cursed her. Uh, and I do I feel bad about it? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> Billy Sarah says, I love my mother in law. I, I don't mean dragging in a bad, bad way most yeah. of the time. That's, oh, that's fine. Oh, no, I, I love Kathy. Matt's mother. I love her very much. We but we just call her Scab because it's funny. At my elementary school, teachers hit your hand with a yardstick. Oh, Principal had the paddle with holes like and it was big. The now they put the paddle with holes. They do that. They're called speed holes. So you can hit so, faster. So the wind goes through them so that smacks it's awful. the like child's it's a bottom ball. Yeah. that much. What? They now, it uh, creeps me out because they keep touching these kids' butts. You know? Yeah, it's a lot of butt touching, yeah, too. you got to think about yeah. it like that. Yeah, Not only they are they do spanking us, <laughs> but they're touching our butts. And I don't like that. Story's so, taking a strange Oh, we turn. didn't have the ping pong paddle. They were full-blown giant wooden paddles. Oh, like no. Oars, I guess. Like cricket... Like cricket paddles. Cricket <laughs> they just basically beat us to death with bats. So, yeah. Okay. It, it was that was a messed up time. Yeah. But those days are gone, but they'll they'll probably come back. Things yeah. come around. There are again. cycles. Yeah. yeah. There's. I think parents are more involved with kids schooling nowadays. Yes. So. Now parents are. Seems like they can uh, sit and talk like... about school districts for like five hours if they have wow. a dinner party. So Miss Liz says they were like cr- cricket, pa- cricket paddle, cricket paddles or yeah. oars. Oh, well. So I imagine this guy, like, imagine he's kind of like an executioner, right? Imagine your elementary school's right next to the lake, <laughs> and you were a bad kid that day. We're gonna call the oar guy, and he takes that paddle, and he slowly comes no. across the lake, and every swish of the paddle. You think of that as a spanking. Yeah. And he finally shows up on shore with this giant oversized paddle and just starts going to town. Just turning a fanfic or something. It's it's <laughs> awful. Yeah, no no teacher would beat my kid or they'd deal with me. Exactly. They, I don't think they can now. And no, he just I don't says think my principal did yeah. the same thing. Yeah. No, nowadays, yeah. It seems like a lot of parents would be they'd get them fired or something if they did that. Have you done a right story on your little stormtrooper, Matt? Yeah. Uh, in the audio review, I will do you a talk story about because... him, but you haven't like written like a fictionalized story about him. No, yeah. You know. No, I, I don't. Well, it's not like you would make a Star Wars story, but you could write about him as a toy. Obviously, I, I could, yeah. but I, I write it. I it's nonfiction. It is of. nonfiction. Yeah. So I have not written a story about no, the but mini you do Stormy. Talk about him, I have not. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Because I think I'm going to let this sit. This is getting very close to being finished. Like I said, I like the whole thing to to finish. And then after I come back from the bathroom, I will bring some mini paintings of me to start on, too. All right. Well, do you need me to help you? So, yeah. If you can can set me here. What's that? Someone says Stormy goes to the Grand Canyon without Matt. Oh. Like All you right. Could, you could you could mail him to somebody and make him travel. I'm not gonna flat stand. You could give you could flat stand. You could give him to like um, I don't know Fox or Willow or Theo or somebody. I, I could show it. him on the. I'll, I'll show him on the yeah. camera. But she's well, just about it. done. The things I still have to do. I want to touch up some of the feathers once that white is dry. White takes forever to dry for some reason. I want to do a little bit more gold detailing on her skirt, and then she'll be pretty much finished. It turned out so pretty. I might do a little bit more highlighting in the eyes. And I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I will be right back. I've got these two ones here. I will will grab those from my cabinet. Yeah, go ahead and show show Stormy. So we will be back in just one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put these panels up so you guys can see the sketches. They are not very far along sketches yet. 
One is a mini painting that was a sketch for, originally I was thinking about doing my um, Blue Willow Fairy facing the other way, so I'd kind of, I'll, I'll draw these out and sometimes I'll just use them for a sketch. Sometimes I'll actually go and do a little painting of it. And the other one is a Hazardous Beauties sketch, which is kind of one of my biohazard paintings, kind of like scavengers, but it's going to be a much larger painting featuring two sisters. That's going to be part of my Corey Halford gallery show. But in the meantime, I want to try out some different color combinations. So these are kind of like little preparatory I don't like that sketches story, I do for that. Let's see. Oh, got blue all over me. Anyway, I'm going to run the bathroom. I will be right back. I might want to well, I, I just want to show Karen Stormy. All right, that was Stormy. He wanted to do the little puppet show. Do you ever chisel the paint off that board? She does not. I've offered to sand that board for her. He he says it doesn't bother, so we don't we don't bother that. We don't have to chisel it. It is very rough. Oh, I need that the hazard one. I work at a hazardous waste place. Well, check this out. That is our new emoji. So you work at a hazardous waste place. What's that like? We just got affiliate, so these are our new little uh, emoticons. Now it's the ghost chair. That chair is creepy when Jasmine's not sitting. My oh, mom just waved at, at Stormy. Aw. I do IT work. Just installing software and stuff. Okay. So do you ever watch the IT crowd, Miss Liss? Four sixteen, we're up to sixty view sixty five viewers. Asman is doing cashew break. We like cashews here. No, but I love Silicon Valley. That show is awesome. I IT crowd might even be better. I don't know. Silicon Valley is good too. Yeah. I I don't know, sweetie. They didn't know IT crowd. They're IT. People. That's why I asked them. I'm not going to ask them next if they know black books. They might. A waste contractor for a government lab. Now that's a better story than Stormy going to some weird Grand Canyon. Blackfoot is 30 miles from... What is Blackfoot? I live in Idaho Falls. The little town. Oh God. Be careful with her. Oh, she looks sad. Oh, no. Jasmine, be careful. Oh, okay. Let's see. Baby. This is my Tiger Eel. The one that you don't see very often. 
Don't know if they can. Can you see her up there, Maddie? I, we're seeing her slowly. Oh, okay. that looks so sad. Yeah. A little. Oh, she's actually being a sweetie. I gave her okay. some treats, so I caught her. But this is Tigreo. She's our our most feral of the cats. We used to not be able to pick her up at all. So she is a rare one. She won't come up here and jump. She sleeps so on us every night. So if you look at the different, um, the pretty if the subs, if you can see the different cool. categories, we name one the Tigreo. Yeah, I have a, do we just our call different it subscriptions. I call it Tigreo, Sunshine, and Gamera were the names yeah. of the subscriptions I put up. So Okay, so... And she she is a beautiful cat. Mm-hmm. How do you do your stories, Matt? I, I tend to, um, I, I just, I write them. I don't know how to answer that. I'm not sure. Wait, do you think about them for a while before you start on them, or...? That's a... Sure. Is it percolating yeah, I, I in think, the back of your head? I think about my stories constantly. I'm thinking about them now. So it's, it's hard to say. Like when I paint, I think of, I write down a note. Someday right. I'll do, do you like I do write a, down notes sometimes. A journal or anything saying, hey, I'm going to um, do this. Or... But I, I often, I write in a program called Scrivener. And oh, then Scrivener I, looks like a neat program. Scrivener is yeah. a great program. If anyone writes out there, I rec I highly recommend How's it. How's it spelled? Like Bartleby the Scrivener? Scrivener. Scrivener. Uh-huh. Yeah, Scrivener is an excellent, excellent program. Oh, I definitely okay. recommend it to any writers out there. Got two palettes here. One of them is kind of drying out, so I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. You like my Mia on your cushions? I don't know what that means, like Helen. What? You like my Mia on your cushions? Helen asks. Oh yes, her kitty cat on my on on the pillows. She posted a picture on Facebook. She has the um my pillows I have my cushions. Oh 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 oh. Yes, oh, and that's okay, her kitty. I'm sorry. And, and she was cozy on them. There is something about my artwork that kitty cats like to climb and get curly on, like um, uh, that Owlin blanket I have that Sunshine loves. But she posted, she tagged me, and if you look on mine, it's she's got like three of my pillows, my cushions up there, and her kitty's on there. So cute. Okay, so right now, um, these are just the barest of sketches. These are things I do. Sometimes I'll cut them down so they're a size I can put in a frame. Sometimes I'll just sketch them out on a bigger piece and transfer it onto another panel, or I'll just start painting right on top of it. But small paintings, mini paintings like this, are things that I usually want to do a bigger version of eventually, but this is kind of my way of trying out color schemes. And if I was more tech savvy, I'd probably do it in Photoshop and try different colors and different poses, but I like doing it the old fashioned way. So if you look at these, one is going to be a Blue Willow themed one. Because I have, I have two other Blue Willow paintings I want to do for my Corey Helfer gallery show. You guys heard her last time you saw my frame that had the pretty, like, um, looked like ivory porcelain inserts that had the Blue Willow pattern on them. And I wanted to do two more like that, and they kind of match my porcelina. I still have my little porcelina here that's the, a printout of the original. So she's got the Blue Willow pattern on there. I'm thinking about doing a pin giveaway, too, maybe, um, that has a Blue Willow theme that's at the Corey Halford Gallery also. So when you do a show like that, they want a bunch of things to kind of match together. So you have a similar theme in between multiple paintings or sculptures or however you've done it. So I'm going to start with that. I kind of, the reason I start with kind of a gray colored gesso, if you look at this, it's a piece of wood, but I painted it gray. I did a layer of plain gesso, and again, I used the Basics Acrylic Gesso, I'll show that. This is available pretty much anywhere. It's the Basics Liquitex Value Series Acrylic Gesso, and I'll do a layer of that as like a buffer layer in between when I do a tinted gesso, which is when I take a bit of gray, usually paints gray, raw umber, sometimes if it's underwater, I'll put like a turquoise or a viridian. Sometimes if it's in the sunshine, I'll put a bit of pink and red and violet in it. Whatever I think that the shadows are going to have as a kind of basic color scheme. So on these, these are just meant to be sketches really, but I'm going to go ahead and turn them into full-fledged paintings because I know a lot of people like to collect my mini paintings and they're a lot cheaper and easier. They don't take as much room in your house if you're like collecting originals. So. I'm going to start working on these here. 
So I'm taking that same color. This doesn't have gesso in it on my um, palette. It has the colors I mixed with the gesso when I did the layers on there. So that way, if I'm trying to make a very simplified uh, gradation of tones of layer upon layer upon layer upon layer, and I want to look three-dimensional, I'll use that same gray color to do kind of an underpainting. And that's the closest thing I could think of to when people do grayscale coloring. We talked about that last time too when you do a coloring page right. and it's already kind of shaded in. That was cool. That's kind of what I do for myself when I do that was kind of a neat demo. And that's like, um, you know, that's what painters like Leonardo da Vinci or Van Eyck or anybody like that would do. They would do kind of a black and white photo version to find out the shading, where your light source is, where your shadows are. And then you worry about the colors after that because you can kind of take a lot of water or if you're an oil now, painter or whatever I took you do a look on top through of the color. One yeah. Of the, one of the books, Jasmine, Which has one? a paint like the old masters. Oh, that's a good one. Is yeah. that one of the ones I told um, people about? I don't think you mentioned oh, that at all. Oh, I should put that no. up there because that's another good one. I know um, I talked before about James Gurney's books, um, Imaginative Realism and... Um, the light one. Something in light. What is it? Shadow and light? No. Color and light? I don't remember. Second link doesn't book. work. Something in that light. works for me. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> um, Anyways, that, that's a good way of showing how if you focus on... It's like doing a really elaborate shaded graphite sketch before you start worrying about the colors. And the way my brain works, not everybody is the same. Some people I see are amazing. They just start slapping down color and they don't even do a sketch first. And they just make it come alive while they're working on it. And if anybody knows... um. Vanessa Lehman, her and her husband Ron are always people at the Fantastic Weekend Workshop and she will just like start doing an oil painting and doesn't even know what it's going to be and she's like, oh, that looks like a face. Oh wait, I'm going to turn this upside down and, and in the end it looks amazing and it's like hanging in an art museum somewhere, but I like to kind of mathematically plot things out first. How to paint like the old masters. Yeah, how to paint like the old masters. Yes, I think that's the name. Is that the one where it's a lady who's got like a guitar or something on the front of it? Yes. Yes. That is. It's, or maybe it's a mandolin. I don't know. Anyways, that is a wonderful book. I should add that to my Amazon shop of things people gonna, should buy. Yeah. I'll post the Amazon. Yeah, post a link to it. Yeah. Amazon link because here. that has a wonderful step by step based on different painters. For example, it will have Italian painters from 400 years ago and what step by step things they did to get that point. If they're drawing it in silver point or drawing it like with charcoal or they want to do a verdaccio or grisel, sort of like three-dimensional grayscale thing and do an overpainting on top of it. There are a lot of different ways you can approach this sort of thing, even on a small sketch like this. But um, And there's no wrong way. There are just some ways that work better for you, for your timeline, how much effort you like to put into it, how much you like color, how much you don't like color. My dad is a paint was a painter for a long time, but he was totally colorblind. But he would put a lot of thought into shading and memorizing color numbers and stuff like that. So it doesn't always matter what people tell you to do first. It's whether or not it's something you like to do. What makes Punk sense Rose to says you? Hi. Who does? Punk Rose. Oh, good to see you, Punk Rose. Do I? Do we know you in real life, Punk Rose? Actually, um, I think he follows up us up here. I think. I remember seeing your name somewhere. Unless it was another punk rose. <laughs> hey. Sometimes we don't know who people are because they hide behind their screen names. Or sometimes I get confused because they say their name is Sarah. And I'm like, oh, I know a lot of Sarahs. Which Sarah are you? So never feel bad if you're right. like, hey, I'm the Sarah that I went to high school oh, with you. Oh, it's Scarlett Barrington. Oh, Scarlett. Oh, oh Scarlett. for heaven's sake. See, there's yes, Scarlett. No, Scarlett's awesome. I'll, okay, tell you, Scarlett I'll tell you. Scarlett is awesome. In the room why Scarlett's yes. awesome. Yes. Scarlett used to work at Very the AMC awesome. theaters. Here in Disney. In, yeah. At Disney Springs. It was uh, downtown Disney then. Mm -hmm. And she used to bring me, like, Reese's Pieces. Yeah, it's Reese's Butter Peanut Butter Cups. Butter Cups. Um, I remember she came, what was it, um, not prom, homecoming? Didn't she come to see us, like, that same day? I think so. Yes, but it, and before she, she and had... She, so she oh. brings me candy every time yeah, she sees me. She is yeah. a sweetheart. She's awesome. So we've been and last we saw her was up for in a long time. Um, Atlanta. And now I think she's yeah. up in uh, Atlanta, yeah. Georgia. Yeah, that's why I was guessing yesterday when I was like, who's our friend who went to Atlanta? But it was Tiffany, but yeah. 
My uncle was colorblind and he learned to paint from Bob Ross. His paintings are awesome. Yes. Bob Ross or your uncle? Both. Bailey says, this reminds me, your work based on Dutch masters are truly some of my absolute favorites. Oh, thank you. Homecoming 2012. That's what it was. Oh, I just remember the same night and she came to see me and that made me very happy. Oh, both. Yeah. I think, I think that, uh, I think Bob Ross can teach people how to paint, but I do see a difference between Bob Ross sort of paints and when I go to the museum, just because I've looked at so many paintings yeah. in my life. I'm yeah, finally Bob Ross can... getting down to where I can see where <laughs> somebody is taking it to another level. Bob Ross is a kind of an anybody can paint sort of guy. He's and I like that um, but I don't, idea. But I, I like that everyone can I don't consider him to be a master yeah. painter. He yeah. is a a proficient painter. I don't know how to put it a different he way. He is, and his talent is getting people excited about painting. And well, oh, hell, it was called the joy of painting. Right. It was people it's knowing that you're Bob doing Ross. it for fun, and that you're. And he has a personality, and, yeah, and he's made he's, it, he seemed to he be loved a lovely animals, person. and he always had like raccoons and things at the end. Have you ever saw that? Yeah, I remember he's some so of cute. those. But... He's buried here in Florida, but he's not Caravaggio. No, he's not. And Caravaggio was kind of a crazy, asshole-ish sort of insane <laughs> person. True. But a lot, so I will say you that know, in you studying go a lot way. of the artists That's of fine. the past, that a lot yeah. of the artists are troubled people, yeah. and then are um like Caravaggio, a bit of an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. So sometimes that happens. Oh gosh, um, Picasso, Bob Ross, uh, Jackson Pollock was apparently a Jackson huge Pollock uh, jerk. <laughs> I don't know if he was as jerky as that movie with Ed, well, uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, yeah. Scene. God. That, that was a good movie, though. My uncle did a painting in reds and yellows and pinks, but oh. he couldn't tell they were those colors. Yeah. His daughter called the painting Sunset in Hell. Yeah. That's kind of a cool It's like my nephew Fox. He's very artistic, but we had we were asking about favorite foods, and he said his favorite food was peanut butter, and it was, what color is it? Green. Bright green. He thinks peanut butter's and green. And I was like, oh, you are, you are colorblind. Both of his grandpas are colorblind, so that's just how it goes. Yeah, poor little colorblind fox. But at any rate, why would they make you can be an artist and lights I... green? Jasmine, Matt, we have lots of Jasmine's artwork and other things with Jasmine. Thank you. Karen. Oh, thank you. But no, there's a lot about coloring and painting that is actually monochromatic. When you're doing things like this, actually, I work on this one at the same time because she's kind of got the same skin tone. So I like I'm... her shoulder. That looks a lot yeah. like your, how your shoulder looks. Well, I think when I'm not trying to make it look like somebody in particular, they do tend to take on my proportions. I usually make them a bit more curvy than I am, but other than that... I like your shoulders. Oh, thank you, sir. So, this level of painting, it really doesn't matter what your color choices are. I'm just starting to build up um, skin tones, flesh tones... Shadows and light. I think we should do a giveaway for your paint-covered art desk. Oh my, I need this desk. <laughs> I could do Mary it says they palette, make special maybe. glasses for colorblind people now. You could look into getting Fox. I, I have, Fox we have already seen, wears Yeah, we have, we thick, have seen the, the, the ones that are everything. for people who are colorblind. They aren't really for people. If you snope that, they're not really for people who are genuinely colorblind. They kind of emulate colors by making some colors brighter, but it doesn't let you see colors that you couldn't see anyway. It's like putting on 3D glasses with colors, but it won't let you see anything that you couldn't anyways. But it's kind of neat. Alster wants to buy the desk. They're good for the desk. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll sell you the palette. <laughs> I got a lot of those. We should give away the horrible, horrible uh, things in, in uh -oh. the pain area. No. Oh. If people say my horrible finds apron. inspiration in them, that. More power to them. It's sad. My my little strings on my apron. The one fell off a few weeks ago, and the other one fell off today. So I had to like put a safety pin on it. Jasmine has this habit of letting things deteriorate to the point of <laughs> the utter deterioration before she replaces I them. I am resourceful. That's not resourceful. That's just yeah. I don't know. All grown up poor. Yeah, it is growing up poor. Yeah. Terry said she didn't realize that. 
What's that? Well, I didn't even know oh, about the glasses. And yeah, the no, a lot of people um, Jasmine's being tagged me in it and tagged um, Amber and Chris, and I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. So I I'd love to have your desk, too, so unless you could make neat. a bank on that thing Aww. at an auction, I think. Well, eventually I'll probably just I'll probably need a new one eventually, room. yeah. Hey, you know what? Before I throw it away, I will let people know in case they want it. Actually, it's a very yeah. nice desk. It is a very nice you desk. It will one, probably you can't be around tell when for a you're long looking time. at it, but everything besides the acrylic covered cover. Yeah, I was gonna it's, say it's I don't know nice. how much you can see on the thing here, but well, yeah, I, it started off a photos. wonderful brown wood Actually, color, there's and a, like the first time I worked on it, it was just like yeah. it was like birds pooed all over it. It was awful. That would be an awesome Patreon giveaway. The Aww. shipping on that alone would. Yeah, I might us. have to say pickup only. <laughs> as I remember, it cost like almost as much to mail it here as it was to buy it. I then we had get, to put I it together. I did get a discount because I know the people. What's that? I did get a discount because you did. I, I know you did with those. the big easel. Did you do that in this one too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think so. Is it from Jack Richardson? Yeah, I don't, oh, okay. they don't. They don't like. Yeah, I know them though. Yeah. Oh. I've got. Am I name in. dropping them? <laughs> no, they'd be name dropping you. Ooh! Wow, it's getting windy out. More We're currently at fifty. Oh, excellent! At 4 Thank you, everybody. In an hour and a half, yes. we're doing a giveaway. Yes, we are. Ever wanted to drink out of a jasmine mug? Jasmine mug. I have not put tea or Everything coffee or wine or anything in this. So. In a jasmine there mug. There it is, and it's an official Disney one. I promise, Straight I have Disney used World. It. it still has a price tag with a Mickey Mouse on it, so. Bouncers in Tampa, I'd be happy owl. to pick it up. Oh, they're in Tampa. Oh, hey. No, I really will. I'll let people know if they want to come get it or we can drop it off if we're going somewhere. I'll put it in yeah. front of someone else's house. Yeah. So they, they well, we've done that with my painting before. apron is covered in colorful birds. Well, I know Aww. Shaylee because you put it on Patreon. Yeah. Beautiful little um, birds of paradise. Yes. Kieran says, we have... That much of Jasmine's stuff that Mom's lost count of all the stuff we got in oh, Jasmine's no. stuff. That's awesome. That'll happen. I have a lot of Jasmine stuff too. Yes, you do. I tend to, I tend to try to give it away on, on Twitch. So yeah. I'm drinking tea now. Helen, you're British. Oh, we know you're drinking tea. I assume that's your default. Mine's herbalized tea. Tea. Here's my giant if you have nothing thing. else to talk to the Brits about, talk about tea. Yes. Now, I can talk about tea all day. I, I love tea. I don't drink caffeinated tea after about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but I like tea in general. There's Jasmine's crazy, There's crazy, 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 crazy. 38 thing. inch straws or whatever, but. Jasmine looks like a hummingbird when she drinks. Hummingbirds in her yard? Sometimes. They like the bottle oh, brush tree. But yeah, they like her bottle brush tree. Okay. So right now I'm still working on the flesh tones. This is the part that starts to look kind of boring because it's I very that, repetitive. That but... mug was probably meant for a six foot six guy in a kilt drinking beer out of it, but instead little Jasmine <laughs> behind her paint desk with and tea. My flower tea, yeah. I'm i I'm being very British. English breakfast? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Matt. How do I enter the giveaway? Well, Shaylee, mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock our time, which is about an hour and a half from now, mm -hmm. I'm going to do our raffle. Yeah. I will show you the chat command. It's very easy. It's, it's the first time we exclamation mark it. raffle after I start the raffle. Yeah. After we do that, then you will immediately be entered, and I'll let it go for 10, 15 minutes, and I'll keep So everybody people. can get a chance to and enter. And then it will pick someone at random, and Anybody who's in the chat room. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful Jasmine Aurora mug. Yes. Punk Rose. That's oh. Scarlet. Oh, yeah. I had a whole wall covered, but had to take it down when I moved. I had uh, a big moving box labeled Big Eye Girls. Aww. That's less intimidating than Big Muscled Girl. Aww. Big Eyed Boys. Big Eyed Guys. See, I've been using my little script liner brush. Now I'm gonna get my fuzzy brush out. People who know me, how I paint, I have a lot of fuzzy brushes that always look like they've been around for like 20 years. And they're very fuzzy. 
Let's so, look at these horrible fuzzy brushes now. Yes. I'm mixing all some point and laugh titanium at Jasmine. Buff. She pulls out her horrible yeah. fuzzy brushes. So these aren't very good for doing precise areas. Like I couldn't paint a nose or a mouth or an eyelid. But I can do something like a forehead or a bit of cheek. And I'll go through there. A little bit of a nose there. And I'm, I'm, we're planning on having lots of giveaways. We have, yes, we are. Jasmine has a lot of different products. A lot of the companies and I that's work why we were for asking people earlier what stuff. sort of things. Yeah, it's like what things should we give away? So far, we got tote bags and yeah. what was the other thing? Um, give uh, gift cards. Like gift cards. So we didn't Sorry, get a lot of suggestions. Yeah. Um, we're hoping for more suggestions. I a do print. Something... Someone, Helen said a print. Oh. Okay, prints would yeah. be good. Like they pick a print. They don't pick a print. Oh, we any already print. have it. Oh, we could That's do it the like point. the um. It's a giveaway. No, like it's the you know create. like the print of the week or the one I do test prints of when I do a new painting. Sure. And I scan it. Yeah, I, I want it to be something that we already have in the house. And that kind of makes yeah. it special. No, that like does. That's it. something I actually had here in my studio and I had to have for some reason. That'd be a good idea. Lynn Dorado, biggest fan, says while I'm watching um, yeah. you on painting. Oh, that's fun. I like it when other people who are well, like I, sewing or painting or sculpting or whatever also hang out with us. So that's neat. While I'm watching Jasmine paint, I'm chatting with you guys. Yay. I just want her autographs. Oh, well, that's an easy one. Yeah. Just, uh, I, you're local, right? You're Florida. Come to Jasmine's thing. Even hey, if you I'll don't have anything. a, even if you don't have anything, we'll sign something. I'll sign your own. We'll sign it at least. Yeah. I've signed babies before. I might be at Starbucks yeah. getting coffee. Yeah. I love the print idea. I've been coloring seashell princess. Oh, that's a good one. Like well, you know, seashell. even that, even like giving away coloring the book. Uh, yeah, coloring the book. Yeah, that's things good. Like that. Yeah, you know, nice, nice products. Like Oracle decks. Things, not not used, freaky art desks. No, but, but, but nice yeah. products <laughs> that you would normally yeah. buy from our something website. that you would normally or something like special. to get for yourself. Uh, we, I mean, we've thought about giving away some well, statues like, that are weird. Yeah, I have kind. some like one of a kind statues. Do that... we have anything here that would be an example? Oh, I don't know. Like I've got draft. quite a few. Like, um, oh, remember that uh, we're talking about um, when we're talking about Christmas. Um, we're talking about the Rudolph one. Is that over here? Rudolph. Rudolph? Um, I don't. I think she's there by the I TV. I think that's it. The uh, our my other workshop. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah. I thought she was over there. All right. All right. That's fine. But no, there are times that sometimes when I do a statue design, they'll make one, like, to photograph and things. But it never actually goes into production because it was just like the sample one that they're trying to show to a company or something like that. So sometimes I have statues that I've done that there's only one of, and it's like... Oh, is he boxed up? Okay. So I don't know, but something that I... It, it, I can't really sell it, but it's something that's kind of neat. Yeah, I want to keep my Tinkerbell ones, because those are the only ones I have of her, yeah. No, I, th I thought I just saw Rudolph. On the lower left-hand side somewhere. Oh. Probably with my Alice vinyl. <laughs> she has like a pink hat, like a snow suit, kind of. Yeah. Is it Rudolph? Oh no, that that was actually a gift from somebody. Yeah, maybe somebody here. Actually, I don't know. Yep. So I'm using hundreds my... of statues yeah. in my living room. Let's say what we might have some fun um, ones. You probably didn't them see off. it, Helen, because yeah. the concept did not. Um, go to fruition no often they'll come up with ideas they'll do like a sample one Definitely so they can show it, it and, and then if they like it then it will go into production but if it if they don't and then i'm the only one who has when it forever so strange shiny. comes out we will definitely give away one on twitch i'll even oh my I'll gosh even yes. sign, yeah whenever um, i and we'll do that oh we'll do that with the alice in wonderland oracle deck we'll do that here we always sure. do that on patreon oracle too decks will give so away. if you are patreon and twitch then you have like double chances I mean, on everything i so, could yeah. i could give a i could talk about tons of different things we're giving away i was just looking from input from you guys yeah so one vesting no because we have coloring books we have books book books we have yeah. uh, statues of all types we have uh, pins lanyards coloring books oracle decks Prints, canvas prints, 
else? Things from Disney that like yeah. I could pick up a postcard and Jasmine could sign it. Yeah, since we live here, we we don't get them for free, but we can just buy them when we're at Disney sure. World. Yeah, so that's we like you guys. Fine you guys are shirts awesome. and coffee mugs. Doesn't bother me. Yeah. Use the restroom, sweetie. Okay, honey. And I'll continue work on this. Again, this is when people say, "How do you paint flesh tone so smoothly?" It's like, well. I do layer upon layer upon layer. Looks very repetitive eventually, but so I'm gonna put my hair dryer. This is gonna be noisy, watch out. Anyway. I'm gonna put a bit of Naples yellow in this next layer. Sometimes as the skin gets closer to the viewer or the camera or however you want to look at it. It will be a slightly warmer tone. So I'm going to go on top of that. So it's turning from more of a blue to more of a yellow. These are both kind of Caucasian looking fairies because it's two specific paintings I'm wanting to do. One's going to be a blue willow, so I want to look kind of English slash Dutch. And then one is going to be the hazardous beauties idea. And again, the plan is to like have two girls with kind of these biohazard masks and have some sort of scary, I don't know, like Volcano or Helsing or like Hieronymus Bosch sort of like Dante background and that's a plan on that one. We'll see how that turns out. It's funny, my theme for the, the Corey Helford Gallery show is magical thinking, which is a very vague term. So it's, it's things in which people have a preconceived notion of how um, a situation will be and how it is in real life and whether or not that affects what happens in real life. Yes, and there's Mandy. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Karen says, Mom said it'd be a good idea for a print giveaway, and Mom said it would also be a good idea for a coloring book giveaway. Yeah. Those are good ideas. Those, okay. those are very, very good ideas. Colin says, hanging Christmas decorations for the tree as a giveaway. Oh. Ooh, you know, I do have quite a few Christmas Not the verb, but the noun. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helen doesn't want us to come to her house and oh, hang okay. Christmas well, decorations. Well, well. But, um, yeah, definitely. That's something I usually have. I have quite a few little samples of the little, like the little dragonling ones that are like little statues that hang on the Christmas tree. That'd be kind of neat. Jasmine, Beltane 1966 wants oh, to know, yes. does anyone have a license for your artwork as cross-stitch patterns? You take it. Yes, yes, they sure and do. I might have a link. And boy, do they. They have probably a thousand of them almost. It's a company called Heaven and Earth Designs. So if you search the words Heaven and Earth Designs, I think it's dot com, but if you just search that or H-A-E-D and search my name, you will find them. And they work for cross stitch patterns and they also work if you do like diamond painting with the little rhinestone thingy that you put with tweezers and make the 5d sort of designs they also work with those so they, they're super cool now. yeah matt matt if you can put a link up there that's the only company that there can make those and i've been working with uh, them for decades is that 160 how different products wow yeah they have a lot nobody likes your lizard idea lenian <laughs> Oh, nobody wants okay. to send lizards in the mail. No, they, you're probably not supposed to. Yeah. I have a fantastic My tree, but no jasmine fairies on it. Yeah. What's up? Helen says, I have a fantastic tree, but no jasmine Aww. fairies on it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll do some of the Christmas Piper ones. says, when, when did you decide to change the technique you used to make the faces slash pictures? Your earlier work used to be solid and bold colors, and now you work with more realistic tones. Oh, I don't know if I changed the technique. I think I just got better at painting. <laughs> Um, it's, um, when you're a child, or when I was a child, not everybody, but, um, I tended to like more cartoonish kind of bright lines and outlines and bright white and bright pink, and then as I got more into painting and trying to make things look realistic, I wanted to make things more subtle. So they'd have the same proportions as a cartoonish character, like a big head and big eyes, little mouth, cute little face. But I wanted them to look like they could exist on the same realm that we do. So it has a three-dimensional look to it. Also, too, I think is around the time that I wanted to actually get into selling my artwork as paintings as opposed to doing things like um, sticker designs, which is fine. But I used to do, like, uh, sticker designs and t-shirts and 
but, you know, bumper stickers and little design stuff you'd see at a Hot Topic, bookmarks and things, but then when I wanted to try to make them look as if they are real things that could exist in a three-dimensional environment, I started going a lot smoother and thinking about how I can take traditional portrait elements and use them along with a um, stylistically over-exaggerated facial feature. Which, for me, is really fun, because I don't see a lot of that, really. I think that's a, that was a good answer. Yeah. Also things like, if I had a black outline around everything, it was really handy if a company, let's say Target, wanted to have bumper stickers. They could just say, oh, there's a black line around the outside, there you go. But I didn't really think about as much as like, hey, that's a painting somebody might want to hang on their wall at an art gallery or like bequeath to their grandson someday. So it's a, yeah, that's my fine art nerdiness kind of bleeding into it, I'd say. That's a good question. The flute. Huh? Oh, I talk about my music. music. Oh, okay. I like my music. Yes, Jasmine has a nice chamber music here. Yeah. So we mostly find electronic dance music or something. <laughs> yeah. If you just look on Twitch, it's all EDM mostly all the time, which is fine if you're dancing. I just can't paint to that. It's like really the radio dance. stations that say, <laughs> nobody plays more Metallica than us. <laughs> this one's, nobody plays more Bach than us. <laughs> you're looking for... Paco Bell, the right place. Yeah. Mm. Well, I like heard. Paco Bell. Uh, yeah. When I was little, I made the joke that. Was it about Taco, Taco Bell? Bell. Oh, mm -hmm. we all did. Called it. Taco Bell's Cannon and D burrito. Mm-hmm. We're all very okay. clever. Now. Yeah. I grew up reading a lot of Mad Magazine. <laughs> I used to make yeah, up my own a fake lot mad it. magazines. Yeah. Wow. Mm. You saw one, remember? Yes, I did. Yes, you showed it was, me. It was called Wacky. Yeah. And instead of it's, it's Alfred E. Newman, I had uh, Arnold yeah. the Devil. Arnold the Devil was my mascot for that. Yeah. The Old Fairy says, Thank you, Jasmine, for your kind com comments. I have to leave for a while, but I'm loving you guys. Oh, this is uh, Anna Podaski. Oh, thank you, this Anna. This is great it's enjoying so painting along while life. listening to your broadcast. Bye for now. Bye bye. Oh, it's yeah, funny. I say real life, later. but <laughs> virtual life. Our virtual life and real life have merged. Yeah, I lost track a long time ago. I assume that you're in the same room as me, Jeff, but I don't know. I can't really tell. I can't see that far. So I'm getting to the point where it's probably the lightest skin tone I'm putting on her. Even if... I don't know if I want either of these two since they're kind of supposed to be kind of British Dutch sort of thing going on. If I was doing like a darker skinned fairy, I, or a green or purple or anything, I would still do the same sort of um, underpainting where I have like a gradation of very dark to very light on the mirror. And then I would start doing transparent colors yeah, um, um, that are mixed with water on top. Yeah. This is heading out. She's finished up oh, some okay. homework like a good nerd. Awesome. And Typer says, yes, I love the explanation. It was cartoony and recognizable, and now it's yeah. still recognizable and realistically beautiful. Oh, thank I you. I can believe that you are dancing with the fairies you paint or sw swimming with the mermaids. That's a very sweet oh, I like thing to it. say. Especially the mermaids. You're a nicer I'm person than me, Typerus. Oh, I like thank you. you. Thank you I very much. I like nicer much. people than me. That makes me happy people, people are paying attention to. That's lovely. Well, thank you. Nikki Burnett. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Nikki's in the house. Oh, Nikki's here. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. So for those who are just joining us, not just Nikki, um, I pretty much finished the Blue Willow Fairy I had earlier, and now I'm working on a couple mini paintings. One, funnily enough, was actually a um, study I did for the Blue Willow Fairy, but this is kind of facing the other way, and I went in a different direction. But I still want to cut it up and make an actual painting out of it. The other one is going to be kind of a biohazard sort of fairy with a... Um, gas mask with a warning symbol on it and she's going to be part of a larger painting I'm going to do later called Hazardous Beauties that will be part of my Corey Helfer Gallery Magical Thinking show. Also those who are just joining us we are doing a giveaway 
and give away in an very one hour soon. seven minutes one hour and seven Always minutes start and it's raffle. free for everybody here at twitch it's the first and time we've we done the away, twitch Jasmine? one we are giving away this mug okay i don't get paint on it so i'm putting my brush in my mouth i'm not just eating Jasmine. my paintbrush Jasmine okay. wants to eat her brush again. okay this is an aurora mug it's better up here i don't know yeah Oh, Nikki know. just subscribed. Oh, excellent. Yeah, thank you. I have an official mug of mine from Disney that we got the other day when I was doing my show at Disney World. And we bought a mug just for you guys. And we're going to give that away to somebody. And it's supposed to randomly to somebody who is in chat between 6 and 6.30. I'm so. thirsty as a mug. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Not Nick, Nikki was has it a you little, or... Was, Nikki has uh, a little scavenger thing. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. No, also, for those who just joined us, I finally made the Twitch affiliate. So yeah, we have emojis. So we've got a lot of subscribing people. Do you have other one. ones too? Matt, Matt just joined earlier. Thank you, Matty. We've got a little rose fairy one, and also a fairy with a D twenty. If you're into like gaming or something, yeah, I, I saw thought what that was the a join one. process was like. I actually did cool. it live. Yeah, we 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 didn't know how affiliates or subscribes or anything worked until this. Um, broadcast a actually, hours so till about a couple hours ago. But so far, so good, and we've had a lot of people subscribing. And again, if you are an Amazon Prime uh, member already, you get a free subscription. So oh, Nikki yes. says she loves them. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I was well, trying to pick you. which ones would be good, and I, th I think they turned out really cute. I wanted ones that kind of had big faces, so you could see their expressions a bit. That wouldn't be hard for you, Jasmine. Well, I do like the big, big faces. faces. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, these are a couple so, mini paints Nikki, I'm you know working more on. More about Twitch than we do. Can you then use these in other rooms? I I don't know how they. Yeah, work we don't that. know how how it works. Uh, we should know this, but we don't. He's probably playing Minecraft. <laughs> Yep, as long as you're actively subscribed. That's very cool. That is okay. Really neat. So I can if I'm in somebody else's chat, I can, you can say hi with a scavenger fairy. The rose so fairy neat. was the first picture I colored in the coloring book. Oh really? Ellen said. Aww. That's awesome. I still have yet to color. Ah. I haven't the time. That's how I am. I have my coloring books and I do scribble and have fun and sometimes, but Usually when I have time to sit down, I tend to actually paint a new picture, usually, or sketch for a new one, but I like doing coloring pages. Yeah, some some people do amazing things with the coloring book. Do we? Yeah, they do. And that's a thing we should do sometime, Yeti. Like on our slideshow, we could have people send us pictures yes. of your coloring pages you've done, and we could show them on our Twitch. We are talking about doing that and maybe doing, like, um, tattoos also. That would be really right. neat. Right, people's tattoos. Yeah. And that is a little I love show. seeing tattoos Oh, of I see your Aurora over, so. up That's there. very cool. The, um, when you were painting her, now now it's... Oh, I, I uh, can't see that far. Gotcha. Oh, so she has yeah. too much time. Oh. I, wow. Aw. Karen says, I'm Yay. at... Jasmine, it's 955 in the UK, so I have to go soon. Aw. Well, thank college you. College tomorrow. Oh, oh, excellent. Nice. I'm well, just you happy. Get your sleep. Yeah. We want to make sure that well, I'm you're... glad we started yes. early today. We started at like two o'clock PM our time. So I think we right. got a lot of our European and British friends here. So it's dark there now. Excellent. Yeah, it should well, be. Thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you for Kim. stopping really by and we'll, we'll try to do this too a little bit earlier sometimes, maybe Every on now Sundays. And I'm sure. So yeah. Thank you so much. Now I've kind of got the basic skin tones on there, so I don't usually assembly line so much, but since I'm here being on camera, I thought I'd show a couple at once. I'm deciding where the outline of her eye will be. I have some nice lashes. Using my script liner, size zero brush. Size zero, that, that seems impossible. Yeah. How can something be size zero? I don't know. I have some pants that are size zero, allegedly. This is me off. Yeah. Depends what country you're in as far as clothing sizes go. What's another thing that mm -hmm. seems impossible that pisses me off, Jasmine? Um, I can think of a lot of things. When things don't it... turn off. Oh, yes. Okay. Matt has a big problem with this. When it could things... be your background, but I don't oh, know. Oh, well, that, um, that is my background. Yeah. That's, that's a weird thing to it. Mm -hmm. I hate it when... I press off on any sort of electronic, <laughs> and it doesn't turn off. You really hate that. Oh. 
and it has a delay or it slowly turns off, I think when I hit the off button, it should turn off and do it. Thing. Like if you have a Blu-ray disc thing or something and you turn it off and uh, yes, it, it should, not should not shut still down be slowly. That makes it should turn so off. Mad. If I, I have a why. giant printer that I constantly do battle with, yes, but and you I hit do the off button a lot, it should yeah. turn off immediately. I don't like how they have to shut down slowly. It no. really, really upsets me. I'm a very impatient. I can understand with the printer or computer. Like maybe it's supposed to be saving what you're working on so you don't lose it, or I don't know. But something like a TV, I don't know what difference it would make. Jasmine. Yeah, I am. Hi, Jasmine and Matt. I'm listening to you as Hello. I drive to work, probably catching a little bit of the painting when I'm at a oh. stoplight in slow traffic. And this is Lanny Summers. Oh, Lanny. Oh, love, love, love the Twitch California. channel. I'm digging it. I can't uh, wait to see you guys in July. You be careful. Excellent. Yes. No, yeah. You be just, careful uh, when you're uh, driving. At stoplights. That's yes. good. <laughs> very, very Thank careful. Thank you. Thank but you so awesome. much. Awesome. Thank you. And her sister is um one of my Patreon people, too. She's the one who won the... um. Uh, elementary one, I think? One of my, um, custom Yay. paintings I did for a giveaway. Nikki says there is no off. We have Roku and there is no off, at least uh, what I found. Wow. I agree. Drives me bonkers. Yeah. Yes. Drives me insane. Like, I hate it. I don't want this on. It needs... I, I will sometimes get so upset that I just unplug them. Yeah. And that's the off button for me. Oh. Not Steam. I mean, I almost want to passionately kill someone. Yeah. Like if they're next to me. Well, I'm usually the one next to him, so. Yes. Actually, this couldn't she's... end up like as I don't know. Like why did why did you kill your wife, Mr. Beckett? Yeah. I was like, well, the the DVD player didn't turn off, Your Honor. Like yeah, okay, we feel your pain. I would only get three months. You know, yeah. and and just clean up the side of the road, a little community service. Yeah, work in the prison. Your library. Honor would understand. Roku is like, mm, kind of like, uh, like Hulu or Netflix um, or Hulu. Yeah, Hulu is yeah. better. Roku is, that what is Amber a way to watch have? TV. In America, I guess they don't have it in the UK. Don't I don't know. know. Is that what Amber and Chris have? Is that Roku? They have Roku. Okay. I don't like the name. I don't know. I don't watch enough TV to like keep track of stuff. But... I'm being a negative. You are, Maddie. Being grumpy. Killing wives and eating Rokus. I know. All on tape, too. So. Yep. We don't need to see reference. you on an episode of Snap. Okay, I love Snap. I love but Snap. You but won't see me on an episode of Snap, boy. Queen of Snap Cap Nation, because female. I'm a guy. Yes. And you know Snap is for girls. I don't know if it is or just it's always only, is. It's only females. Is it really? Yes, Every time I've females. seen it, it's been females, but I didn't know if they sometimes have I love, guys I love I things like I love Snap. me some Snap. That's what we watch, we watch when, you guys when, on we the are, fire when we are on the road painful. and traveling, and we are in motels for a big chunk of our lives. And I'm not actively painting during that time. We find, oh, ID discovery or um, Lifetime or forensic files or cold case files or something like that. Yes, th we're on we're on her dashboard. Autopsy. So she says she's yeah. being careful, Jasmine. Okay, that's that's. Bye, good. Karen. That's we'll catch up tomorrow. Day. We'll see Bye -bye, you on Karen. Facebook. We'll see you have later. A, you have a great night and have we fun at college. Back. Make my clay says hi, Matt and Jasmine. Are these paintings for the Corey Helford Gallery? These are not. These little ones are ones I'm just doing these are for not. fun, actually. Um, they're you can both... actually purchase these you if can. you send us an if email. There's one you want, you can email me. Um, these ones are ones I'm just doing for fun. This is a, <laughs> a study for a painting I'm going to be doing for Corey Helford Gallery. I'm doing a much larger version with like two girls and like a apocalyptic sort of thing. And this one is another blue willow design that is kind of based off my other. Blue Willow one, but it's for an upcoming painting for the same show. So these are like my little study practice paintings that I do, and I always sell those myself. So if anybody wants any or is interested in hearing about them, email us at jasmine toad, C O A D, like a frog, but drier. Yes, and, I will put up yeah, Jasmine's put email, the email if, if you guys are interested. These things com. generally go really quick. Yes, they are four ninety five each, four ninety five dollars, which is if you're interested, just a lot cheaper send than Jasmine we can an email. usually go for. I'm actually going to check so, Jasmine's yeah. email now. Yeah, put my email up there. Also, if you ever have any other questions you don't want to put publicly, you can email oh, why me. Why didn't I get this computer? I this computer has nothing on it. No memory or anything. Well, it's a computer that we use for this sort of thing, so. So these are just little bonus sketches I do. And this is kind of where I decide, like, when I do the bigger version of the painting, what colors I'll use or how I want the shading to go or minor aspects of it that I'd like to try out first on a small piece of board. 
And then depending on how it turns out, I usually put it like in a frame and then it will be an actual painting. And I like doing mini paintings. Usually it's um, a lot of you guys probably are my Patreon people too. And I usually give you guys the first dibs on me. So if anybody's interested, you can just email me and we can send it your way. I'll actually varnish it and put it in a frame and all that good stuff. So I'm wanting to. I'm putting. You get so many emails. What's that? Oh. Why do you get so many? I get a lot of emails. That's me. I've had the same email address for like 20 years. That helps. I'm just kind of putting a dark outline around her little gas mask here, but I'm not making it super dark. It's more of like a blue and brown mixed together. Because then, if I want to make it perfectly dark like the actual piece of machinery in front of her it will show like it's closer to the viewer than the um kind of dark um dingy background here and usually if somebody's wearing a gas mask it's going to be in some sort of smoggy sort of different planet or post-apocalyptic atmosphere oh so uh, i'm kind of watering it down here bye kieran Oh, bye, Karen. I'll see you later. Nikki says, "Did I miss? Did I finish? Uh, did I miss you finish up Blue Willow?" Or you, you did. Yeah, I, I was almost finished. There was a few things more I had to do, but I had to wait for that layer to dry. So in the meantime, I'm gonna work on this. We got an epi we, uh, episode. We got an email from yeah, Valster Twelve. Oh, okay. was in chat and says, "Hi, Jasmine. I'm Valster Twelve on Twitch, Excellent. and you asked for an email for a mini painting. Thank oh, you. Yes, okay. but I'm not sure." Which they're, one they like? Oh, I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, with those sorts of emails, we um we will look but at the, the subject line is free mini paintings. This oh, is not a free no, this mini isn't painting. a free one. We're no. doing the free the free giveaway we're doing is for the mug. The mini paintings are for sale. They're four ninety five each. But um, maybe we weren't clear. Yeah, I, I was probably talking about a lot of Valster, stuff at once, which I room. probably am. Yeah, also, we did do a giveaway of a mini painting last time. We did time right. treasure one. The, but no, these the are for giveaway sale. Giveaway is for. The giveaway the mug, is for the mug, and these little the paints are just ones that I, I am technically selling. There are sketches for larger paintings I'll be doing, but people like to collect my mini paintings, so if there's anyone that you'd like, let me know. And we can put you, of course, I'll show you a picture of how it looks finished before you like have to yeah, buy then, it. Yeah. Um, I, th I think the buyer hazard is gone. Oh. Oh, somebody wanting that one? Yep. Oh, okay. Excellent. And, well, uh, um, I might, should I say their name or? Oh, you, you don't have to. Just say, okay. was it they somebody watching be, this I, on They Twitch? may be in chat. Okay. I can say it to you. Oh, that, that's fine. Okay. No, that, I, I don't like to tell my customers mm -hmm. names over. It, actually, right. my lawyer is like, yeah, it's so it looks like the but... It looks like the biohazard has already okay. spoken but for. But we so will still take names in case sold. like I finish it. And let's say I do it like in bright hot pink and they don't want it that color. They can pass and then I'll have backup people. So if you are interested in this one, just tell me that too. Say, hey, if nobody buys the biohazard one, let me know. They and might that will also be, your backup be interested person. in the other one. Okay. But they need to let us know for yeah. sure. So oh, no, cannot... yeah. And I'll show them before I'm finished. But we do always take backups. I mean, we've had some paintings. I've gotten like 25 backup names. And it just I always show it to the first person in the line. If they want it, then it's theirs. If they don't, then it goes to the next person, the next person, and so on and so forth. Because sometimes um, by the time I'm finished with the painting, maybe um they don't like the colors i picked or they didn't know that she was gonna have green eyes and they wanted purple eyes or who knows so i always let people see the finished one before they commit so it looks like the left the one on the left has not been claimed necessarily oh, okay so. that's a blue willow one actually after i finish the a little bit more of the background on this one i'll work on that one a bit more That makes me happy because they're seeing you paint it. Yeah, it's well, I always think, like, personally, because I collect artwork also, I like seeing things in progress, and I think it's kind of cool if I can get something, and then I can even go back and watch the video of it, and it's like, oh, I have that. So, for those of you who haven't heard me talk before, I like collecting art as well as making art. So I kind of see both sides of the spectrum. 
No, we got kind of You're, sad um, violin I music. I think I'm a little bit hungry now, but the side of the biohazard uh -huh. reminded me of gingerbread, like the edge. Gingerbread. Of the masonite. Oh, like on. Yeah, oh, I'm, like yes, it's a. And I was like imagining a graham cracker crust or painting, like a a, a live on Kuchen? a gingerbread yeah. house, and then I would eat your painting. It looks like love cooking when you like, like the little dried um, fruits in it. Yeah. I think I might eat your painting no, now. No, you shouldn't do that. It's non-toxic. Just because something's non-toxic doesn't mean you can eat it, though. I've been telling you that for years. I'm, I'm repeating it daily. back to you. So. What, what mediums do you collect? Oh, uh, well, quite a few things. I don't really do a lot of digital. I tend to like, it's even though I like a lot of digital, I like, um, I collect, um, acrylics, oils, watercolors, sketches, um, Sculptures, um, I think what all I have here. She collects me. Yeah. I'm, I'm size oh, me. Got me, Addy. No. <laughs> no, um, no, I'm usually hand painted. Um, Who's your favorite artwork. artist that you collect? My favorite artist that I collect. Ooh, that's hard. That's, that's that hard because so many of the people I collect are actually friends of mine. Um, uh, I, I like Larry Elmer a lot because I think he is kind of a. He's not old enough to say granddaddy, but he is somebody who is a, one of the original people to start people off on the idea of fantasy art as a genre. And I've got a handful of his. Um, I like Annie Steg, or Annie Steg Gerard, you might know her by. I have a few pieces of hers that are just lovely. I love her artwork. Yeah, I think we showed them off. Did we show that one? Show. Okay. Um... I like um, I like a lot of dead artists, which is sad because there's only so much more that's out there, and I always end up getting prints or canvases or something. I don't know. I have, I have a lot of artwork ones. from my nieces and nephews. That probably doesn't count. It's like my concession to that, not being a parent. What's that? That's when I always see when we're traveling uh, up north to mm. up to the uh, Georgia through Florida. Oh, well, it's always there's these signs for live girls. Oh dear. And we're Lord. like, well, I guess yeah. that's you know that's better than dead. Dead girls. girls. Who yeah. does Brahms book covers? I bet Brahm does. I think Brahm does. Yeah. yeah. Just guessing, Steve. Brahm, Brahm, yeah. He he is a very very good painter. I think I have a small Brahm, don't I? That I got on eBay a long time ago. I don't know. Long One time, time I went and Brahm has a. Uh, this painting. I'm trying to remember. Oh, we have a collector who collects me and Brom Right. right? And he was okay. local, right? Here and in, I went. In Florida, yeah. Okay, so this guy was collecting all sorts of art. Yeah. And he must have lived, uh, I don't know, about 45 minutes away. And he wanted a, a larger piece, so I said, yeah, sure. We usually I, I will volunteer to drive it. I would deliver it, it to him. Close, yeah. So I brought it to him, and he's like, he, he's a very friendly man. Yeah. He invited me in. And he went, he says, you want to see my art collection? Sure. Yeah. And I think it might have been the plucker. Yes. I think that's what it and was. And he had two of them. He had that one and the spider one too. Yeah. The black widow. I, I don't mean, remember, yeah. but he had some Brom. Yeah. He had a Brahm couple pieces. Brom ones. Yeah. And the thing is, this is how he, this is how he had him in his <laughs> house. He might be He's listening. He's like, you want to see so my Brom? This I'm is like, awesome sure. by the way. But, I yeah. like Brom. He's like, I collect Brom too. Would you like to see my Brom? Sure. And he opened up a weird closet. And then, then he opened up the closet and inside he unwrapped it. It was Miss like... Muffet. Sorry. It was this Miss Muffet, the oh. spider one. Yeah. You okay. told me this. Yeah. So, and it was in there in the closet. And then he's like, well, I have a bunch of his books too. And I was like, where are they? And he took me into his shower. <laughs> and his shower wasn't for showers. It's where he kept all his art books. Mm. And his house was, he was like an art hoarder. Mm. And it was amazing. His collection was amazing, and he had all this beautiful stuff. But it wasn't displayed in such a way. Yeah. That it's it's a, but he, being he loved it so much, and he just but, collected yeah, it. Yeah, that's, it that's kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. But he had a family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what they must think. But he was very oh, yeah. proud of his collection. That's cool. That was um, a good fact collection that he to be proud had to take of. Take me really. to showers and closets yeah. to show me his, his proud artwork. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. Strange. Yes, I remember that because he got the one that was the. Oh, um, he. Um, uh, seashell, seashell collector. Brom spoke highly of us both. 
Oh, yeah, Brom is very, very, very he's nice. A, he's like a gentleman. Him. He's come out to see me at a couple of my shows, and his wife is fantastic, and she's an amazing artist, too. I'm yes. very impressed by Lori Lee. I'm she's a lovely does person. neat stuff. Super nice people. The acoustics in the shower help the work. <laughs> there you go. Yes. But I, I got the audiobook for um the new Brom book. I have not listened to it yet. But oh, it that's good. cool. Yeah, I bought it on Audible. It's funny because, you know, our friend Robert um, Walker, maybe? Yes, I do. He's the one who was telling me, he's like, there's an audiobook of the new Brom one. You should check it out. And I was Very like, cool. I, I already had bought it. So I'll be coming up soon. Yeah, Brom is somebody I've been seeing his artwork for years. years, and years. I used to see him in like all the, I think, heavy metal um, magazines. Yeah, he, st he started young, too. Yeah. As a Maka says, hey, Jasmine and Matt. Hello. Hola. So I'm still just kind of doing the outlines on these little sketch paintings here. I'm going to set some eyebrows. I'm going to check the emails. i got to do that periodically oh, yeah. since you, you did this to me here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Love. Nope. We don't really have a We're system good. yet, so. Nosies. Hello, I'm finally glad I caught you. Oh, good to Yay. see you. And that's, Yay. I guess, I'm going to say Ixy. E I. It's like E, then Ixy without the P. Oh, okay. Ixie? Or it could Metal be Ixie. Herlant. It's German. Metal Herlant? Metal Herlant. I don't know. This is what Steve says. Oh, Metal Herlant. I don't know that. I'm not sure. Is it a movie? <laughs> is it a like a kick-ass uh, band? Like a dat player? Metal Herlant. It sounds like something Wayne's World would say. Yes, it does. Like a robot? <laughs> throws up Metal Herlant? I don't know. Oh, dear. No. None of that. It's like pixie with with ease. So like e pixie, electronic pixie. Electronic pixie, sure. Yeah. Why not? You're being an electronic pixie today. I kind of am. Yeah. I just googled Brom. That scary art. Oh, that's good stuff. It, I, we love it. Well, some of it is scary, and and that with my pencils it, out drawing and, a commission while watching your stream. That's a uh, oh, that's Mark. fun. Yay. Yay. Hang along. Create I along. like it when there's a bunch of us artists. It's like we're in an art commune, but we don't have to see each other. It's great. Yeah. Well, that's why it's okay to just kind of sit here. Exactly. And if you don't, no, if you're not in like. chat, I like you can the hear us idea talk of just like open up look the, at the screen. screen instead of like having yeah. some stupid TV show on. Just have somebody painting. That's Those are like, some cheekbones. I, some I, I, positive <laughs> energy in there. That's that, that's her hair swooping under. I'm I'm sure. Wait, me or my painting? I do got me some cheekbones. The way you're no. drawing the line. With, oh, okay, yeah. Yes. Steve is a card. Yeah. Have to watch out. Yes, yeah, we know Steve. We've met him in um, Seattle. Actually, he was there the whole same right. time Brom came by. I'm very shocked. Shay Lady says my friend Josh showed up, and now we're drinking tea and watching paint. Oh, for Shay Lady has friends. Wow. Is that with us? See, people are fancy, and we don't know I didn't it. expect you to have yeah. any other friends. I, I don't have any friends. I never expect anybody to have friends. All my friends are probably watching me right now. <laughs> That's awesome that you have friends. Yes. I... Way to brag. No. <laughs> no, not that I'm looking for friends. I, I, I actually prefer my friends to be people I see on the internet. I, that's how I met Matt I'm... originally. Brom was at eight and sand. He was the guy yes. that was seven feet tall. Yes, <laughs> and Lori was with him. And Lori was yes. with him. Yes, uh, because they we were also, doing things at you... Crab Jab. The yeah, Crab Jab that was just down the street. And it closed. Uh, like, I was sad. Crab Jab, crab crab jab and closed. eight and sand closed. Yeah, That's so that I... block became. Not that was as like the best block for art galleries ever in Seattle, and that... then they both closed. Yeah, yeah, I think that same night though, I went yeah. over and I watched this weird. Um, but the drag queen drag show that was queens. there, yeah, I missed all of it because drag... I was in there. Not a strip tease, but they were a drag queen show, and it yeah, was yeah, like, like outside, show. yeah. But I didn't get to see it because I was in there. I usually stream my video yeah. games while chatting to friends across the globe. Oh, that's, that's fun. fun. That's cool. Yeah. It was Lori blue haired? Lori, um, she had she had a stripe in her hair, I think. I don't remember. Helen says she's exhausted but determined in chat at around 11 to 6 p.m. Well, that's, uh, Aww. we'll do our, uh, we'll do our raffle battle. around then. Yeah. 
Do you know if she'll be at Dragon Con with him? Probably. Probably. Period. That's just a guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know for sure, but Such we've seen him there gallery. before. Yeah. Oh, Eight in the Sand? Yeah. Oh, Eight in the Sand was, was tiny. Cute, but we loved it. It was like a little... Alex is so good to Like us. a footlocker of a gallery. Yeah. It was wonderful. But it's got to be one of the strangest little great shows It was. Did. And the fact it was run by somebody I've known forever and who is a very good artist and who's really into their artwork. You don't <coughs> often see that with oh, galleries. sorry. That was me. Don't cough into the microphone. Wasn't okay. I coughed away from okay. you. But no. Ask a common question. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Do you ever have a piece that didn't turn out the way you wanted? Uh. Start over, just design it differently, or scrap the idea. When that happens, since I use acrylic paints because they are opaque, I I just paint over it until I like it. So if something's not looking right, I'm like, oh man, I I painted six fingers instead of five or something like that. I can just paint right over it until it looks the way I want it. So usually by the time I'm done, it's going to look the way I want it to look. And that's why I prefer acrylics over to something like, I don't know, pen and ink or watercolors or something that's less forgiving. Acrylics are very forgiving. Terry would like to meet both of them. Oh, gosh. Well, she she might eventually then. I think, um, Brom was I've a, never seen, I've never seen them con? apart. He's a, he's a judge this time. Yeah, I think he's a judge at the art show at Dragon Con. Yeah, he, so, so yeah. she'll be there. I'm oh sure. yeah, if Carrie, she'll, she'll probably, probably sell. She'll probably sell her. And he's art. friends with Larry too. I know um, Brom and Larry like drove over all over Germany when they're at the. Um, yeah, it's, again, the art world is. Yeah, small. they they shared a car and stuff. The art so world we is might, small. If we do the Larry dinner thing, maybe Brom will come too. I don't know. Particularly oh, yeah. the fantasy art. And, oh gosh, Lori Lebrom did a picture of our friend Lisa that yes, turned we, out uh, like a portrait. It was like an old Hammer horror movie yeah, sort of cool. version of her. It was adorable. Lisa, we've been friends with her forever. Yeah. I think Carrie knows Lisa, too, from the live journal days. Oh my gosh. Yep. When she, all, the, she all these people that we 13. know that know the same yeah. people that we know, it's it's like this it's web amazing. of craziness. I'm still working on these flesh tones. I know such talented people. You'd think it'd rub off. Yeah. <laughs> it rubs off sometimes from person to person. I have an art page on Facebook. Would be awesome if I could get a follow from you. As a Oh, cool. What sort of artwork do you do? I will... Maybe they'll tell us. I know what we have it artwork said... artwork do you do, Kazumaka? It doesn't send a... It doesn't have, it like, links enabled on our thingy here, but if you tell us what you do, I can check you out. Do you like Universal or ha Hammer monsters? Both? Uh, both. I like Hammer. Hammer's My mom's good. all about Universal. My mom's addicted to like, Bela Lugosi. Old school Universal. I grew up on that. Yeah. I actually wrote it. A small thing about that in the book of the Empire Art Now yes. in the beginning. Yes, he did. About how I used to go yeah. up my, my mom's lap and we used to watch uh, <laughs> watch Bela, old Bela sure Lugosi did. movies too. Uh, Bela's wonderful. Hammer monsters. I really don't think of Hammer as having monsters. I think of Hammer uh, as having, you know, they have the a, a strong and, male protagonist or right, anti and, and protagonist. And suddenly, and suddenly a boob. Bunch generation. of ladies with scantily put yeah. together negligees. Actually, we're talking about this last Twitch. Yeah, we? probably yeah. so. Yeah, it comes up. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, I like no. the Hammer films. I think they're a My little bit more coming off. silly. They are what they are. You just have to as, know what you're getting into. I like the feel of them, though. They still have that old feel. Uh, they feel the like dust the, in the air. They the have people the old who castles. made them seemed like they were enthusiastic about making them. That's all I ask for in a movie. Artworks. They do portraits, pencil, oh, cool. and charcoal. Nice. Oh, neat. That's very yes, different than I do. they are clad. Yeah. I'll check that out. They might want to get up here on... Which, um, I think that well, might work they, they good. They say they, uh, they do their video games. Oh, okay, gotcha. I wonder about drawing, if that's better for doing on Twitch sometimes than painting, because painting, you have to keep bringing out the hair dryer. It's going to be noisy, I'm sorry. And um, drying things in between. <laughs> sorry. B.B. <laughs> LaFair, I, I mean, I could answer this for Jasmine. Oh, Because you? she doesn't. So, What's that? 
Sorry if anyone has already asked you this, oh, that's fine. but how do you keep your hands so clean since you smudge the acrylics with uh, your she doesn't keep can, can, I don't know. Can you see my hand? Uh, Steve collects Universal Monster stuff. Oh, that's Are cool. You... Yeah, if anybody can see my hands, and oh, there's the side of my hand. My hands are, I could kind of blend in with my desk here because they are awful. I have horrible, horrible, messy hands. I'll take two showers and that paint is still there, so. Matt just has to remind me of her, like, at a reasonably nice restaurant that you have to wear shoes out or something and he's like oh you got stuff on your hands and i'll take care of it but i just give up on that again i use non-toxic paint so i don't have to worry too much knock that down a little bit more of a blue gray make her nose don't give her too much of a little piggy nose but i want to have kind of a little chubby ram nose It's funny because this is a sketch layout that I did originally for the other Blue Willow Fairy, the big one that I was working on. But I decided to do this one of her facing this way. And then I decided before I actually did the painting, no, nah, I'm going to do her facing the other way. Which is why I sometimes have a sketch or a study version that is facing the other way or has different colored hair or whatever. That's my way, my low tech non Photoshop way of saying, hey, does she look better facing that way or that way? Or holding her hand up here or not holding her hand up there? In the meantime, I just chop them up, or, or Matt chops them up like on a table saw or whatever. And then I cut them into little tiny paintings and we put them in frames. And that's where my mini paintings come from. Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. Jokey Mom says, ha. So glad I'm uh -huh. not the only one who uses hair dryer when painting. It's the only thing I use it for. It's awesome. I love using hair. I use it on my hair also. Not a lot. I got a lot of hair. And even if I hair dry it with a hair dryer, it, it's still wet like 10 hours later. But I use it way more on painting than I do anything else. Also when varnishing. Because varnishes will sometimes say if it's an acrylic, like a water-based varnish, it will say, let it wait for 24 hours in between coats. I don't have time for that, so I will do a varnish coat, I will hair dry it for three minutes, and then I'll do another one. And that, in my experience, don't hold me to it, that always works. Hair dry the hell out of it. And there Jasmine, you go. when's yeah, your yeah. book coming out? Oh, which one? The um, Forever Strange book? I, I think that's what Ooh, I'm Ooh, yeah. Um, that's a complicated one, because it is, um, it's an Australian publishing company, so they're getting it, like, in June? So just, like, a couple months from now? at blueangelonline.com but then Amazon says it's not coming out until October and I think um, Book Depository says October and a few other places say October if I were to guess it'll probably be on Amazon around September maybe nobody tells me this ahead of time I know these things because I go to Amazon.com and I Google my name and that's where I find out people who publish or distribute or sell books They never tell the author or the artist. They don't say hey Jasmine We're getting your book and it just like I can get as much info as everybody else can So hopefully later this year and I'm hoping to do some sort of autographing party at Disney World at the um, pop gallery because it's um, Paintings by me. I think it's 198 pages of paintings and then my sisters and my husband, Matt, actually wrote a little short, a tiny little short story in there. Like a page or two. And uh, we're going to see... A, I forget what the word count was on that. But yeah, it was... it's not a long story, but no. that way it has some stories and texts and poems and things in there. And we're going to try to see if we can get a bunch of us maybe at the Disney World at Disney Springs to do an autographing session. So when it does come out in America, everybody can be there and sign it. So. Steve says no echoes this time. Yay! I can make an echo if I want to. Don't, don't try, honey. I can certainly make that an echo That was not a I challenge. I think it was a compliment from Steve, so. <laughs> I hope. But yeah, so it will be later this year. Probably, again, if you get it on um, online, you might get it around spring, summer-ish. And everywhere else is supposed to be fall. We've worked on it for years. I mean, when did you write that? I did the painting around the time you wrote it. How long ago was that? Like three years ago? I don't know. It was a uh, while I, ago. I remember people, the story, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, people get used to, like, self-publishing or, like, printing things out on Ex Libris or Lulu or, you know, something like that. But when you do something, like, 
you're an actual publishing house it is so long. It takes All forever. All I have to say is I'll, it's, I'll be sure to reread uh, the story to yeah. remind me what to, I wrote yes, before, exactly. before the fans ask so me. So people quote oh, it, you know what they're good. talking I, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But yeah, the, the real actual physical publishing world is so much slower than like internet, you know, FedEx, Kinko's, Zazzle, whatever stuff is, so... So it is always slower. And again, I never know any more than the public does. So if you like go to Google and type Jasmine Beckett Griffith Forever Strange, you will probably know more and more recently when it will come out than I will. All I did was do the paintings. I'm putting some little brighter bits on top of their eyebrows here, which I think is In sometimes why people say they look grumpy. Giveaway. Oh, wow, already. Okay. Jasmine, to the people who just got in the room, can yes. you show them the mug? I will. And so. I apologize to the people who have already been yeah. in the room and seen the mug. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, in this hour, here's our mug. So, we have this beautiful mug. We have a giveaway mug. at 6 o'clock hour at time, which is about an hour. hour time. So, about an hour. We are in Eastern time. I have one of my Disney mugs actually purchased from Disney World um, with my artwork, official Disney licensed artwork that I painted for them. Of Princess Aurora and all her animal friends and it's like a latte mug it's like one of those big kind of pointy smaller at the top it gets bigger at the uh, or smaller at the bottom bigger at the top and we will be giving that away randomly to anybody watching us at Twitch when Matt says the raffle starts about six o'clock you can just type in what is it Maddie you type in exclamation exclamation point raffle, raffle. starting at six I and will then, reiterate all and that. we will we will tell you we'll remind you and then you will automatically be included in whoever wins it. It's a random number thingy, and you will win the free mug, and I can sign it for you, and we'll mail it to you anywhere in the world, completely free, no strings attached. Jasmine. We're just trying to do a giveaway each time now. Yeah. Have you ever thought about illustrating a children's book? You know, I, I get asked about doing that a lot. The closest thing I think I've done are, like, my Forever Strange books and the Strangeling books and the... Oh, the oracle decks and the tarot cards and things like that, but it would have to be a oh a children's book I really was excited about because I'm usually a, booked up about two to three years ahead of time for illustrations or custom work. If you go up to my website, strangeling.com backslash FAQ and type in commissions, there's a commissions tab. You'll see more about if you're looking to commission illustrations, but Usually I'm a couple years booked out in advance, so most of the time I tend to just paint stuff I like to paint, but I do like working on projects like that when it's something I'm excited about, like the Disney stuff and things along those lines. So now I'm using some titanium buff without any other color mixed in. Using my finger. Again, my hands are pretty messy. They're not all that clean because I use them to smudge it. But it's okay because Jasmine eats acrylic paint, so she I, just chews it okay. off her fingers. That, I know. That's the best way to get it off. It makes like little inverse fingerprints, sort of. I don't know. Jasmine. Yeah. Scarlett says, I googled the Forever Strange book. On their yeah. website, it says it will be available June 2018. Oh, okay. Excellent. Yeah, Um, that's one I know for sure it will be available in Australia. Because that's the publishers there are in Australia. And it says June on the Blue Angel online website. And they will get it there, and they will ship worldwide. But they then have to send it to distributors like um, Deep Books and Llewellyn, etc. So things like Amazon, if you order from them, it will probably be Autumn. Because they I send like Australians. They talk funny. Yeah, they talk great. But, and they publish almost all my books. So if you order from blueangelonline.com, I don't think they have a pre-order up on their website yet. But they probably will in the next few weeks or so. Again, they never tell me. I just go look when it pops up. But that will be the first place you can get it from. It's from the publisher themselves. We'll eventually have it also at strangeling.com, which is my own website. And I have. I will buy some from Australia, mail it to me in Florida. I will autograph them. Then I will mail from Florida to Kansas. And then the people in Kansas will mail to you, which takes Jasmine, an even Jasmine. longer bit. Yeah. No. No. That's what happens. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Well, how else can I autograph it? I think people don't understand that. It's like, I don't, like, self-publish these. They're from a place on the other side of the world, and if I have to autograph it, it has to 
come within, I don't know, two feet of my arm for me to sign it. And then I have to mail it to somebody who can actually package it and mail it to somebody else if they have a website. Yeah. yeah. This girl, 1462? Yeah. Says, do you do appearances in the New York City area? I, my first one I ever did was, um, gosh, about a, right a year ago, I was at the um, Jonathan Levine Gallery in Chelsea in uh, New York City, and that was my first New York show I ever that did. That was a gallery show. Huh? But you also did a signing there. I did a signing, and it was a gallery show. Yeah, that's the only was, time yeah, I've done That's the first time I did. Rain. It was during a blizzard, too, which was... Yeah. But that was a lot of fun. We had a great visit to New York, so... They have since moved their gallery over to the New Jersey side, so I don't know if they are still doing, like, artist meet and greets there or not, but hopefully I'll get back and do something else in New York again because New I York love is a lot of fun. to go out a there. A lot of great restaurants. Oh, my gosh. Times. So many, we're vegetarians, and we found so many good veggie restaurants, so it was crazy. And we went to the museums and walked through Central Park, and we stayed at the plaza. It was like our crazy vacation of the year, so we like stayed at the plaza for a couple nights, and it was lovely. Jasmine. Yeah. When you do prints like the High Priestess for 78 Tarot, yeah. you get to choose automatic if you are in chat. Oh, oh wait, oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, I like started reading. Card? I started oh, reading. Oh, that's fine, question. love. That is like, what? You choose... <laughs> You get to choose what card, or do they give it to you? Oh, I'm sorry, somebody else's message popped up. Oh, I see. A little bit of both. The ones I do for the 78 Tarot Project, basically, I tell them what cards I'd like to do if I have an idea for a specific card. For people who don't know, 78 Tarot is a tarot deck project where 78 different artists come in, and each person does one card. So it's like you pick your favorite card. I give them a list of my favorite cards, and then they tell me which one hasn't been already done yet. So... That's basically how I do it. So that I've been, I've had good luck so far because some of my first choices, not always, but a lot of my favorite choices have been, and they'll be doing one next next year. I don't know if I can tell people yet, but I've got the devil card, so that'll be the next one. I'm excited about that. Devil. The devil card. That'll be cool. But yeah, I had the empress. I had death. I had the moon was the last one I did. I did the one that the was like was the Alphonse Mucha one, the moon, and oh golly. We've done like five of them. So. A 78 tarot is yeah, a lot of fun. That's fun. There's a lot of really neat artists in there. Yeah, these are the people that run it are have we've been friends with them. Forever. Oh my gosh, yes. Talk about live journal. Yeah. <laughs> Katie and Dolphin, who are do a lot of the work for it, are people I've known for ages. So it's kind of neat to finally get to work on a project with people that I've known forever. Buddy's here. Oh, hey, buddy. Good to see you. How close are you to reaching the next Patreon goal? Very. Extremely close. I'm looking forward close. to seeing the creations from the big printer. Yes, the big printer. Uh, well, it'll take some setting up. I was going to say, yes. um, technically, I... If we I... go to the yeah. Corey Helford show... Yes. You, um, will we have any of the big ones there? I don't know if we... I don't know if they're going to let me a prints there or not. I'll have to find we'll out. We'll figure it out. But um, at any rate, um, it's going to take me... I think I say it in the description of that tier. Once I get months at that that's when i can afford the big printer and all the inks and all that so two months once we hit it then we will be doing the big full-size canvas because i want to do full-size ones like the dress of sinners dress of saints i want to do like a print of that one that's the same size as the original which we can't do right now because our printer isn't that big but right so when large, we can i'm excited about their masterpiece editions. editions yeah then you know, I've kind of got the basic parts of the flesh tones down, still doing it monochromatically. And then go into the whites of the eyes, which as you always hear me talk about, are, are not white at all. They tend to be blue, a bit of brown, a bit of yellow, a bit of purple. I'm going in with kind of a dark Say hi to Danessa. Gray. She's popping Oh, in. Danessa! Oh! Before she's cut off from using uh, data, I know she, that oh. she's on vacation right now. Oh, well, I hope and she's I know that the here. internet isn't the best I was for her. Gonna right say, now. I have my necklace over here. Thank you so much, Vanessa. It was so cool to see you in person. And I love my Shalandra. I almost feel like showing it off. I know. I was gonna say, I didn't. I, I've got my necklace. I texted literally some uh, right writing friends, yeah. uh, my Shalandra. Oh, really? And, <laughs> and they loved it. But yeah, I collect ammonites, and she gave me the most beautiful they were so ammonite happy. inside of a pine cone, and it, it was just so cool 
able to finally meet some. And her niece was really nice too. But thank you so much for coming to see us. That, that That's how the internet is good. You meet people on the internet, meet them in real life, and they're even better. Thank you, Danessa. Yeah, that was very We've sweet. We've known her for a long time. We, we realize yeah. that if you can't hang out. Um, oh, no, no. no that's, that's Because, fine. again, you're on vacation. We'll see you yeah. on other Twitches. It's getting windy. Patreon. I don't know if it's rainy or windy where you're at now. It's getting very windy where we are. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too bad. Wouldn't begin to switch. House. To pitch. Exactly. Suddenly the hinges started to. Then the witch. witch. Sorry. <laughs> we're not supposed to sing on Twitch well, creative unless we're in the music category. category. <laughs> oh, what happened then was witch. Uh, I can't speak for Matt, but he'll keep going. I love watching you paint. Oh, thank I, you. I take my stocking to a new level. Not cool. bad stocking. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. I guess that's cool. <laughs> Peace out, says Danessa. Oh, bye, Danessa. Thank you again. The new I'm kind of taking a grayish brown color and going in between where her eyelashes and the under part of her eye is going to be before it hits the bright white of her cheek. Because I've got kind of like a heightened buff, like a very bright light color around there. And I don't want it to be very harsh. And that's a difference, like we were talking about earlier, something 20 years ago if I were to paint, I would have wanted a sharper outline because I want it to look yeah, more like me. anime or something. I want it to look more like a real person, you know. What's that, love? Uh, home decor says hi. Hi! Good to see well, you. Punk Rose Scarlet. Oh, yes, it's yes. It's raining up here in Atlanta, so the rain might be uh, moving down south now. Maybe it's just flowing down the street. It might be coming down south Steve to here. makes earrings yeah. with ammonites. Oh, Pretty really? Bad. Oh, no, I love ammonites. Gosh, I, I don't think I can... Here. Oh, you're not late, home. I can have... Just getting started. Every time I'm... I have an ammonite within reach everywhere I go. Here's a nice ammonite I got. I got this one in Whitby. It's hard to tell probably on that, but it's got, got an iridescent thing. And then the one that Danessa gave me. Oh, it's beautiful. It's set inside a, like a slice of a, a pine cone. Believes yeah. in dragons. She was just in yeah. the room. She had to head Yeah, out. she just in here. Yeah. And yeah, she, she came to our a, Disney event yesterday. But, yeah, and she, she brought a little she, gift for me and I gave I her have a character. Yeah. I, I have a character in a store, in the, one of my stories. He's the main protagonist. Yeah. And he has kind of like an imaginary friend D slash D and D character named Shalandra, and she painted a D and D miniature. Yeah. That was based off of my story. Of his fictional story. And I was kind of yeah, blown away. I was very you know, yeah, flattered. That was so, so sweet. So she painted that for me, and she presented it to me. I, I waited till I was home when I. Yeah, we didn't open until I, I got it, back. But that but was very yeah, sweet and of she her. got me the necklace. I'll have to see if I. I I'll, Next time we go to the bathroom, I'll grab that and bring it back. It was What's so that, cute. Then? My little necklace she gave me. Aww. Yeah, that was so lovely. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch my shalandra. I won't touch your shalandra. Na, na, na. <laughs> my shalandra. I don't know how it's not like a song. My shalandra. Or white dance. <laughs> yeah. There's a beautiful ammonite in the Natural History Museum in New York. I bet. We've been to the one in New York, have we? We've been to the one in London a lot, obviously, but we have We've not... We've been to the London one. Yeah. But we have never been to the Natural History Museum in New York, have we? No. Unless uh, you did when you were little. Azamaka asked, yeah. have you ever done any concept art? Oh, yes. <laughs> I have done a lot of concept art. Some of the first concept art I did was for... um. Like figurines and statues and things for merchandising lines of dolls and toys for Disney. Like little Tinkerbells and Mickey Mouses and stuff like that. The really cute big eyed ones. And as far as like films and stuff goes, I have. I've done a whole concept art bible for a um, project that so far has not gone into fruition. But they paid you for it. But they paid me for it. But yeah, but it's kind of... Not sad. It just kind of in limbo because That's... I have um I have probably thirty and I'm not joking paintings and Original drawings paintings and that we really I can't show that, anyone that I can't show anybody because they had me sign a non disclosure agreement and those are ones that may or may not be the important part of thing was getting paid for it though because yeah, I didn't... if otherwise come to fruition yeah because yeah no paid. it's true and I get That'd a lot of companies sometimes even pretty big companies and they'll be like oh can you do the concept art for this and I'm like yeah and I. I can't work for six months for free. I've got lots of employees and studios I have to pay the bills right. on. I, I just can't do that. Yeah. But I do, though, when I can. Yeah. Nikki asks, 
I'm not sure if you've already answered this, but when you work on these smaller paintings, yeah. referring to the ones you're working on. Oh, like on the there, minis, yeah. Is it common for you to work on two at once? Um, it depends. I usually work on one at once, but on these two specifically are kind of intended to be like a study piece or a practice piece for other paintings I'm planning to do for the same show. So I want them to kind of have the same color palette, so I only have one palette I have to make, and um, the same sort of color scheme and level of detail and level of realism, so they kind of match together. So it's something when I'm doing, um, actively working on one big project, I'll sometimes do a couple at once. But I don't really do assembly lines like, I know some artists do, and that, that works great for them, but some people have like 10 in the skin tone hair, eyes, and just do step, 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 and I, I can see how that'd be helpful for some people. I think my paintings are too different in proportion and facial expression and color scheme to really work that way, but for these I'm doing it though too. Also, since I'm broadcasting online, I can show a couple at once, and we've got people interested Asma. in buying them already, yeah. Azamaka says, I was credited in a piece of text written by John Howe, concept artist for oh, Lord of the Rings. really? Oh, I know Very John proud Howe. Moment. Yo, he's John, a magnificent, cool. he does um, beautiful watercolors, isn't Gary it? Cat yes. just followed. Oh, thank you, Hi, thank Cat. you for following. Oh, John Howe does magnificent work. A lot of the people who did a lot of the Lord of the Rings um, concept art and original illustrations and things that were used for the film Slater, there's a lot of beautiful work in there. The yeah, Ammonite's bigger awesome. than my head. I don't know. My head's pretty big. That is... Actually, I, I don't. My head's not very big. I have a trilobite bigger in your head. I was talking about steal, stealing the giant Ammonite uh... from the Natural History Museum. No, of course, this is all documented. I have. Yeah, I was they gonna say they're gonna steal. figure it out, I, Manny. You yep, can't get away with it, ma'am. I screwed up. Yep. Yeah. He's amazing and a lovely gentleman. Aww. Thank you. Oh, wait, they're talking about John. I would assume so, yes, oh, honey. No, John Howe. That's magnificent. We salute you, John Howe. Yes, you do beautiful work. I have a book of his upstairs. How is it? It's good. No, it's, um, it that actually has book. Lord of the Just Rings in it, and it has some other, um, illustrations he did. Um, oh, gosh. He's also in a book I have that talks about watercolor art. I don't remember the name of it. It's him and Arthur Rackham, who did a lot of the original Alice in Wonderland illustrations, like from the 1800s. And they're both in there. That's that's a very good one. Oh, I am amazing too. Are you? Oh, okay. That's good. Well, not, I'm not <laughs> as amazing as Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man? Uh, it depends on the Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. You could name anybody that. Your first name. No, oh, you're right. The amazing. Like amazing giving your kid Randy. the first name Doctor. And. Ha ha ha. No, what did you just say? I didn't Were you hear... not making a Doctor Who joke? No, no I, I made a how, how joke it. earlier. And you, and you I said it's it. like naming somebody the first name Doctor, and you said who? You weren't really making a Doctor Who no. joke? Okay. I, I didn't hear you say that. All right. No, Robin was telling us that sometimes people name their children Doctor. Jasmine yeah, is amazing. Yeah. Is more so amazing than, than me. Than Maddie? Yes. Uh, it depends it, what you're amazed by. Yes. yes Matt is, can I, pick up really heavy boxes. I can pick up heavy boxes yeah. and I can pick up Jasmine. And you I can, can pick up me Jasmine picking up arm heavy boxes. Wrestling contest, but not thumb wrestling. Yes, you, reason, you cannot, cannot beat be me thumb wrestling. Nobody can. And with that, I announce my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually really good at thumb wrestling. Not arm wrestling. I can beat a lot of people years and years of I'm, I'm skinny, but I'm actually pretty strong with my arms. Is that a Alanis Morris song? That song? Yes. I'm, I'm skinny, sick, but I'm, I'm pretty. Strong. Yes. Yeah. I'm poor, but I'm old. No, it's like Lexi. She she lifts, but she doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she might be watching. My, my niece Alexis. Um, <laughs> I don't know why she said it this way, but I 
Oh, one, two, three, four. I declare thumb where no. Jasmine, uh -huh. she hurts my thumb. She pinches it. I, I, you just don't try hard enough. So I, I'm talking to my niece Alexis, who was at the time seemed to be into fitness. I don't know if yes. it's it stuck or not. It yeah. Doesn't matter. Oh, she's a sweetheart. I was like, I was like, you look pretty tough. Do, do you box? And she says, she now this is a kid from the Midwest. She's like 11. Yeah, and she goes, <laughs> very petite. I look, but I don't girl. box. Like, I'm like, I lift, where, where did I you get that from? And I'm like, like really? She okay. Felt like she was from the Northeast Philly or something. I know it's like a Rocky movie. So but, for the rest yeah. of the for the rest of her. Visit here we in got Orlando. it on recorded we kept on saying, our phone. I live, but I don't box. Yeah. <laughs> and then she recorded it and she thought it was funny. Yeah, she put it on Snapchat. Um, I live, but I don't box. Do. Yeah, it was the first time I, and the last time I was ever on Snapchat. <laughs> no, I don't really have any use for Snapchat, I don't think. Well, oh, now she says anybody. Snapchat's stupid. I don't know. I don't have much use for it. People are like, no, it disappears after you're done with it. And it's like, first of all, no, it actually doesn't. Anybody can retrieve that. But second of all, don't you want that to be like on record somewhere? Of course, I'm usually like trying to show people how to paint or something. I'm not just showing goofy faces with she you paints, know, but she doesn't funny box. kitty cat noses. Don't. Taibo doesn't count. He 25. 25 is not. Taibo is. Ibo kind of is. Yeah. But it's probably been a while since you've Ibo. I don't use to... Ibo. Oh, no. is Jasmine had the same I VHS Ibo tape in like the oh. when we had a VCR. No, before yeah, our same... house got struck by lightning. Yeah. Yeah, and it got stuck in the it got stuck, <laughs> it got stuck, stuck in, in the VHS player. Yeah. So we just threw it away, and I didn't want to. I, I would have to dimble, disassemble the. VCR to get the tape back. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. I like my elliptical, and I, I like doing free whites anyways. You like? I don't box though. Yeah. I like body beast. Yeah. You like to exercise. Yeah, that's because the rest of the day we just sit around and paint, so do this sort of thing. Gotta do something. Well, I got scared because hearing about Twitch that one of the video game guys he's like. Played oh, video games for good. three years and he yes, I've read gained a couple that. hundred pounds. But yeah, he, he made a few hundred thousand a year just from He made Twitch a lot of money, yeah. He was a video game playing person. Right, it. so it's important to get up. But I've read it in the New York Times, legs. or the New Yorker magazine had an article about it. Well, yeah. I don't think I'm in danger of doing that, but, you know, make sure you do active stuff as well, sitting around stuff. In 10 minutes, we, we will start the raffle. Ooh so Jasmine, in those 10 Jasmine minutes. will, will Vanna white up the... Oh. Practice mug. smiling really big. I'm pretending I don't have paint on my teeth. Paint on your teeth? Probably, I usually do. Before we start the raffle in 10 minutes, I'm going to grab some cashew. Something to... Uh, some beverage. I'm, I don't mean when I say something to drink, I'm not talking about... Very large container of vodka. No, we don't really roll that way. Somebody asked me on Facebook, you're like, when you say you need a cashew, does that like mean something? And I'm like, no, it doesn't mean it's like, hey, I need my cocaine. But no, it's actually a, a bottle of cashews. We are not that exciting. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It's like, no, I need to go get a cashew before I can do this, man. Oh, well, you can have some of the mango if you want. We got some of the chopped up mango cubes from Whole Foods, and those are like the best snack ever. They're actually ripe too, because I'll skewer them and I'll grill them sometimes. I'll grill mango, and that is so good. Are you eating some? Well, mango and cashews is lovely. Remember in Costa Rica, they put mango, cashews, and avocado on everything? Okay, but good. In Costa Rica, love. In two cans, yeah. Seeing my tiki room, so. That's what I'd really like to do for Disney. I want to paint something with a tiki room. But they like me to paint um, female figurative art, so. 
I, tiki room's not really part of it. Unless I like show, do you know how there's always a lady who comes in and says, wake up, Jose, and all that? Yeah. Like if I had that part of the tiki room, that'd be kind of cute. There's some, I would like it. Nobody else would, but I would like it. That's somewhat important. Then the guy this. says, hey, got any cashews? Cashews, yeah. I thought you were looking at cat shoes. Oh, well, cat shoes, yes, <laughs> yes. That's what he said. Aww. Yes, cat shoes. Oh, try to, we can't even, we don't have a single cat whose nails we can clip because they are too fierce. Do we, Manny? Huh? Can we trim any of our cat's nails? Christ on the cross, no. No, but people can. People have, we used to be able to. Azrael and Kuan Yin and Mama Wolf, we could trim their tried nails. I tried doing it with but, Sunshine. She effed but me Sunshine, up. yeah. She's Great like, she'll, no, like no. she's not getting her nails trimmed unless she like, we takes try, an we eye. We tried a weird little suit that you buy. Yeah, we got a little... It looked oh. like, it was sad when I got it. They made it sound really nice, but I got it. It was like a straight jacket for cats. A little straight cats. jacket and, like, put the cat and then it's like, put the cat's arms through oh. the little holes. And I was like... My cat will not put their arm through those holes. If they would, I could probably trim their claws. I don't know who that's aimed at. So basically oh. what happened is Sunshine kicked our ass and ran away. Yeah. And she to be fair, she weighs about three and a half we, pounds. We too. gave She's up a on small that cat. One. But yeah. And then Gamera, no so way. Seven, seven minutes. Okay. Well, it didn't take long to eat cashews. Okay. Cashew breaks can be well, hell, Seven minutes, we'll have too. our giveaway. Yeah. Okay. I love the relationship you two have together. <laughs> Just listening to you both, I find myself smiling since 2 p.m. Aw. Aw, thank and you. And the hashtag relationship goal. Aw. Well, we had our um, 21st anniversary was in March. It's been a long time coming. My son and I were having Disney Marathon the other night, and I wondered how oh. how is Disney uh, it hasn't requested a commissioner Pocahontas for, for Pocahontas or Esmeralda. Not yet. The next one nope. that's coming out is Jack and Sally. That's the next one I can tell people about is um, for the 25th anniversary of Nightmare Before Christmas is Jack and Sally. And that will be the next one. I don't know what, what's after that. It should be not too long. They should tell me. Jasmine. Yeah. Uh, some comments here. Yeah. Um, I have to trim my cat's claws. They grow oh. into his paw. Aw. Oh. We have to shave them. Well, it's like Quan. Hers would turn Aww. into a whole circle. That's why we had to. Yeah. Yeah. Did we say, uh, Helen's yeah. asked, did we say Mama Wolf? Yeah, Mama Wolf. We, Mama, had a, we were able to trim Mama, though. We, right? Yeah, that's why I said Mama Wolf. We trimmed yeah, Mama we Wolf, trim and we trimmed Azrael's, and, and we trimmed um, Quan, Quan Yin. Because Quan Yin, we said she had knitting needles, because hers would do the thing where it went in a circle, and she'd get stuck, like, on a couch cushion. you pick her up, and the whole couch cushion, like, lifted up, but... We'd have to trim her claws, and she was a good girl about it. But our current kitties are all feral capture, so they are they are not into getting their nails trimmed. And we tried to call like those vans that go around who do like grooming for cats, and they wouldn't have anything to do with it. So that's okay. Taking a pure titanium white and putting it on this little biohazard girl here. They want that to be the brightest part of the painting. Not perfect yes, circles. I probably should trace something. Yeah, yes, I Helen, that was it. our main oh. kitty. We loved her very much. Yeah. She was our mama wolf. She was my she mama. She used away. to sit right here by me all day when I painted, and it was so sweet. But yeah, she, she asked, passed away after yeah, a long Steve time. Asks, what about the dull pineapple whip stand in front of the tiki room? Oh, that's a lovely place. I wonder, they don't that's really have a lot hipsters. of... I was gonna say there's a lot of um, Dole Whip um, popularity right now as far as merchandising goes. I've seen like the little oh air fresheners like you hang in your car that are Dole Whip, but I haven't seen a lot of artwork. I think Shag might have done something with a Dole Whip. Shag may have. Shag, yeah. Shag gets, Shag the gets he, he gets does the tiki he gets an automatic stuff. shoe in with Tiki in 1950s. So he does a marvelous job. People who don't know his artwork, he does a lot of cool stuff. And Jasmine, especially for Disney. Yeah. Helen's asking, is that the one with the painting with the princess? Uh, Which one? Princess and the main coon cat. Yes, yes, that's Mama Wolf there. Actually, a lot of the cat paintings I have um, are based off of Mama Wolf. Even ones like the Tuxedo Cat, it's kind of based off Mama Wolf, but it has different fur color. Because she had that big eyes and like a big fluffy head and really big fluffy paws of long fur on it and a big fluffy tail. And 
She was a rescue also. I don't know if she's all the way mean well mean coon, but she looked like a little mean. Pretty damn mean coon. Yeah, she looked like a mean coon. But she was our baby for a very long time. She got breast cancer and did chemo for about a year and she hung in there and she was herself right to the end. So we had a really good time with Mama Wall. But I miss her a lot. I think I was just telling Steve originally I was asking. Oh, so for... Helen has her and the original Trixie Tuxedo Cat. What's that? Oh, Helen, Helen has, a... has her. Oh, yes. And the original yes. Trixie oh, Tuxedo Cat. Oh, for sake, yes, yeah. Those are both loosely based off Mom. Mom Wolf is the one that's like all stripey, but the face huh. that is on that is also kind of the basis of my Cheshire cats that I have with the wide, pointy face and the wide snoot and the big long whiskers and the pointy ears and the fuzzy hands and a big fluffy tail. Jasmine. Yeah. Beltane 1960 says, I have a female orange tabby named Sunshine. Oh, really? Sunshine. What a good name. Oh. Well, I'll uh, grab Sunshine. I was going to say, Where is she? Her. I'm, I'm just glad we got you. I got to show you guys Type 3 because she's the I first time Rally. she's been online. Rally, a.k.a. Gamera. So, yeah, the, and that's um when they asked me on um Twitch. Okay. What I wanted to name my different subscription tiers, I named them Sunshine and Gamera and Tiger Rio. She She's probably upstairs. So I was like, I don't, I, I can't think of three things I really like a lot, but I could name those after my keys. I think about my cats. Have them for some reason. Yeah. I don't think I need my alarm on. Poor little baby. Okay. How close are we to the time? We're very close. We have two minutes. Oh, okay. Um, Okay, and at that point, Matt will tell you what to type in. You don't have to sign up for anything. You just have to type in that, and the computer will automatically include you in the giveaway. In How theory, many people I we got here? This. We haven't tried it yet. Uh, currently, we're at 65. Oh, okay. So, 65. Excellent. So, when, Jasmine. Yeah. Let's compliment says, I really appreciate you as a person and an entertainer. Oh, thank Thanks you. for making the world a better place. Thank you very much. And they give a purple heart. Um, Aww. Hashtag spread positivity. That's a very happy thing. Thank you. Let's compliment sounds like a, a better human than I am. I think so. And I applaud more you. Let's compliment. Like I compliment yeah. you. Thank you. I'm going on with my pure titanium white and adding the bits of her face. And All right, I'm going to start setting up the raffle. That are going to be bright here. So okay. I have to go. Yeah. And pure white here. I probably won't keep it white, but I want white to be the basis. So if I do a bit of blue or red or whatever I want to do on top of this, the white will be the brightest part. So that will show through. It's like having a piece of a white cotton ball in front of like a stained glass window. So when I put some color over it, that will be the brightest part that shows up. All right, out. Jasmine. Yes, sir. I think what everyone needs to do if they okay. want to enter the raffle. You want to enter it again? To... Here. It is for this wonderful great from Disney World. Still has the price tag. My Princess Aurora coffee mug. Official Disney Jasmine licensed merchandise. An exclamation well, mark right raffle right like so. Yeah. So if everyone does that, yeah, what I've just done in chat. So you type an exclamation point and the word raffle all in a row? Right. Okay. So if you do that, it will include you. That was all caps, buddy. I'm not sure if that worked. I don't know. Do you think it does? Oh, no. Everyone's typing it in. Excellent. Yes. Going nuts. I uh, hope yay. it's taking them. People like it. Yeah, huzzah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if, if for some reason, does it say, like, in the, you know how that dashboard thingy was that you look at? Uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure. I, I wonder if it shows how many people entered. We'll leave this up for a little no, bit to make not. sure everybody gets a chance. So. It doesn't say that? Okay. Yeah. So, well, I think chatbot, or not chatbot, Moobot's Moobot. adding them. Okay. And does it, is it, it um, case sensitive if you did do lowercase? I'm unsure. Case? Okay. But Buddy did it again, so we're sure. Okay. Oh, if you do it both ways, then you're covering both bases. Sounds good. All right, so I'll wait a little bit. We'll yeah, give we'll it, give it like we'll give it a few minutes. Maybe 10 minutes or so. So in case somebody joins us in a little bit, they'll All right. know. In the meantime, I'm going In the on meantime, I'm going to fill up that mug titanium with white. coffee. No, we are not putting anything amaretto. in this mug. But and I will uh, sign it. Whoever wants it, if they want it signed, I'll sign it. If you don't want it signed, Cocoa. I will not sign it. And then we will mail and it to you. And chocolate milk. Because if you buy it at Disney, it's like 20 mm. bucks or something. Hi, deal. Rachel. Oh, hi, Rachel. I'm drinking out of the mug right now. Oh, wow. Is it the same same design? 
It's the exact same mug. Wow. That's awesome. Well, I'm taking a bit of white with Titan Buff and doing the highlights on the face of the Blue Villa Fairy. So I, th I think Moobot just goes boom, boom, boom every now yeah, and then. Yeah, it's like an automated app thing. So again, we are figuring okay, this I out think, as we're, we're going. Safe. So I think, I think we're probably doing good. Right. But that's the way that everybody who's watching us will get nerd automatically when you type that in. So that's we're going to try to do that every time we uh -huh, do a Twitch. Uh -huh, so that makes like it, it more fun. And it helps, uh, it helps keep my art studio not full of free stuff that I've gotten from companies and things even as much as I like it. Yes. Or stuff I bought. Or stuff I made. But, yeah. Rachel says she sold her first art show piece. Excellent. Good Excellent. job, Rachel. Yay. Is that our friend Rachel from um, Fantastic tis. Workshop? Yay. Tis, tis. Awesome, Rachel. I'm happy to see a lot of my art friends up here. Let's see. I'm going to start making the whites of the eyes a little bit lighter. I haven't decided very much on the color scheme yet. Sometimes people say, oh, what color eyes are they going to have? And it depends on the painting, but sometimes I don't decide until almost the last minute. Because I've already kind of drawn everything in. I don't want her little mouth to turn into a mustache there, so... I'm gonna lower her top yes. lip a bit. Our, typically, Jasmine's fairies don't have mustaches. Typically. But the thing is, again, with acrylic paints, if you make a mistake, you just make a lighter color and you go right on top of it. Uh, Jasmine. There we go. Rachel yeah. says, I can answer this if you want me. Oh, okay. Yeah. One of your art prints was in the charity auction. Did you happen to send it there? It was Jordan Con. Yes, we did. Jordan Con. Oh, yeah. We were yeah. asked very nicely by the people at Jordan Con yeah. to send them a piece. Uh, we did a stretched canvas. I, gosh, was it Alice awesome. and Dolly Dream? Oh, Matt probably knows better I don't than I remember. Do, that, that was quite yeah, a Yeah, anytime ago, anybody's so. having like a fundraiser <clears> thing, they say, hey, can you send me a canvas? I'm like, yes, yes, I can. I can do that. Of course. You can't help I with can everything, ask. but I can help with that. <laughs> We would do anything for love. Um, and well, we won't and I that. would do that. Yes. No. No, no, we won't do that. Did me left eye or am I misremembering that? Or did he have a heart attack or something? I think Milo collapsed on Oh okay, that's probably I think on, um, I don't want to start rumors about people passing away who did not do, but this is a callback to when we were talking about musicians who had passed no, away last okay. year. So. Okay. I think he's just, he collapsed. Oh, okay. And yeah, that's probably easy to do if you're on stage. Well, that's sad. Bright lights and we don't want me not being be hydrated hurt. enough. And, and he was that. great in Fight Club. He was great in Fight Club. I was going to say, I, I think of him in a way as an actor even more than a musician, but I know he did a lot of music. Cousin Mike says, we have a local comic con soon. I need to grow a pair and book an exhibitor stall. Yeah, yeah get an exhibitor should. stall. There's a very big I, I difference. I would skip growing a pair, though. Yeah, that that well, sounds dangerous. Yeah. Um, I would say, and if you do grow a pair, see a doctor right away. At a lot of conventions like that, there's a big difference between getting a like artist alley booth thing and actually getting a like 10 by 10 or 5 by 5 or 8 by 8 booth. That a lot of it's expensive. A lot of it is the price, but for the most oh, part, Rachel I think. Just, uh, oh, dubbed us. Thank you. Or thank you for the subscribe. Oh yes, people who are new here, I Yay. now have the subscription thing. Like this morning, I got a thing from um, Fetch, and they're like, "You're an affiliate, so people can subscribe now." So if you do, there's all sorts of goodies in store for you, including new emoticons. Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. Melody says, "Is the white base?" What makes certain elements in certain paintings so glowy looking? Very Glowies much so. Glowies in quotes. Yes. For example, like I was talking about doing the white bits, like on the um, the biohazard light bits on here. That's the only part of the painting I will use white. So if everything else, I only go up to maybe Titan buff or Naples yellow as far as the lightest color goes, the white will show through and that will look brighter than anything else in the painting. So that's when people say, is that like glow-in-the-dark paint? No, it's not. It's just white paint and everything else is knocked down a shade. So a lot of times showing something that is glowing involves showing things around it looking darker. Jasmine. Yeah. Pandora's Parlor, Diane, as oh, you yes. know. <laughs> uh -huh. I love seeing the monochrome painting stage. Oh, thank you. 
Yeah, it's kind of neat seeing that, as some people call it a Brazil or a Verdaccio, whether you're French or Italian. Verdaccio. It's the grayscale sort of I love that level. Word. Yeah, Verdaccio you is... You need to say it with goose. I kind of do it Verdaccio because I put a bit of green, brown, and blue in there. Basically, it means a single color grayscale sort of shading before you decide on the colors. Again, that's why I usually decide on this sort of thing before I decide on what color their hair is going to be or even the skin tone. If I want to do darker skin, I'll put layers of oh, browns and greens and reds and yellows in different parts and then she'll have dark skin. And then if I want her eyes lighter, I could put blue over her eyes. And it, it's a kind of a middle level of gradation that you can go either up or down on. Jasmine. Yeah, I am. You still have issues with visual plagiarism, and are you seeing a doctor about it? Of, <laughs> of visual plagiarism? Uh, it's Buddy. Just the oh, first question. I see. Oh, okay. I was, I was trying to figure that out. I was like, I have macular degeneration. But um, no, I, I do have um, problems with copyright stuff a lot. I think the more the internet's out there and the more people see my stuff, share my stuff, it gets into the wrong hands sometimes. And luckily I have a legal dude who handles all that for me now. I used to do that myself and it was like taking half my days to like file reports and send cease and desist letters or sue people or, I mean, I haven't had a lot of court cases. I've had a few, but I have a legal dude who does all that now. Thank so goodness. So the key yeah. is to close the internet. Yeah, so if yeah, Jasmine please, and I please close, combined, the internet. Can no, close the internet. No, you don't have to worry for about every it person day. who's doing something bad and making knockoffs or whatever. There's like a million other people who are happy to see it, so I, I would never trade that. Yeah, Night Owl 51 uh, zoned out. Oh, when you were talking about which was better, Artist Alley or Vendor? Oh, Vendor, if you have it, depends if you have a lot of stuff and you're like, oh my god, I could totally fill up like a 10 by 20 foot booth, then then do it. If you're like, oh, I can fit what I can in a suitcase, do an artist alley. But the more you can bring, usually the bigger area you have. And that, I think, is more likely in my experience with companies that are looking to license artists or, or like how the Disney people or the Hamilton collection people are like, oh, wow, what's all this stuff? They're more likely to notice if you have a big, splashy thing. That's Again, what you're for. sometimes yeah. it can be a money issue. You don't yes. have the if money. If you can't afford it, then don't, don't waste do the it. money. Yes, in don't fact, do that. Think, don't yeah. think about even getting your money back necessarily. No, look at it as having a business card in somewhere and what you want it to look like, basically. And hand out business cards. That's one of the best things you can do. If people are looking at something and you don't necessarily want to talk to them because you're shy or whatever, like, here, here's my card. I've got more on my website. And there will be people there who are wanting to license things or who maybe collect stuff, but they're not buying stuff right then. And they will go, come back, look online, look at your Instagram, look at your website, that sort of thing. So, well, whatever you want to spend the money on and what, how much stuff you have out there. If you're just starting out, start small, test the water, see how it goes. Often, if you have like an artist alley thing, you can do like sometimes I'll make $75 and you can get a booth. Again, though, with Artist Alley or anything in a convention, I never recommend doing any sort of fan art unless you have a license yeah, for my... it because people want to see what you are doing, not the stuff you're copying. Yeah, that's all. I need to remind people in yeah. about a minute, I'm okay. going to close the raffle. Okay, so the raffle. So if you want to join the raffle for the, the, raffle for the, the official Disney cup Jasmine slash tea cup. Princess Aurora coffee mug I have an exclamation mark raffle to it's make sure that you're in. Enter. Just exclamation point raffle. All one word. And, and then we'll be, announce the winner And then chat. we'll announce the winner. And you can send me a whisper. And I'll mail it worldwide. We'll just check with your address and no strings attached. We'll mail it to you. And I can sign it if you want. We're not. If you want to drink out of it a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of neat how it does it automatically like that, Maddie. I hope it works okay. Yeah, hopefully it will work okay. Otherwise, we'll have to scroll through and just do like a random number generator like we do on Patreon. All right, I'm going to choose the person. Oh, okay. Part of Nick okay. Oh, everybody part of ready? just got in. Oh, okay, yeah. Anybody else? You got it. Exclamation point raffle and you'll be included. I've enjoyed you listening you two on my drive. I arrived at work. Oh. Have an awesome night. Oh, thank you. Have fun. Hi. As much as you can. From All right. To work. <laughs> I am going to do the thingy. Okay. I will draw. 
this works right. I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, I crossed your fingers. Everything. All, All right. right, and I will announce the winner in chat. I see who it is. Okay. Announcing in chat, and it should pop up. Okay. Ah. Nice tea. There we go. Night hey, Owl Fifty One has won the raffle. Who was it? Night Owl Fifty One. Oh, wonderful! Are they still here in the room? They are. They were just Yay. asking a question. Oh wow! Perfect. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Night Owl. Yay! So this is yours. Uh -huh. Do they want me to autograph it, like under the handle, or I should I don't leave know. it as is? Ask me. Night Owl, would you like me to sign your coffee mug, or should I just leave it as mm. is, brand new with the price tag? Either way is good, so. Hey. Over here in the meantime. <laughs> that worked pretty I'm, easy. I'm, well, I'm happy it did work. I didn't know yeah, what was Yeah, that worked on. easy. It seemed, That's awesome. It seemed pretty good. Yeah. I like it because it gets people involved with chat, too. Yeah, yeah. Also, people aren't used to how it works, so that's a good way to learn how to okay. type in on there and Just everything. send me a whisper. Oh, okay. If they can. Do they have to friend me first? I don't know. Can you send them a whis whisper? Or is that try. what a text is called up here? Oh. At the front door, they said. <laughs> them sending them a whisper now yay and ask them if they want me to sign it also there might be asked yeah also sometimes people like you know they go make a sandwich or go to the bathroom or something so hmm lighter tones up here gonna be like a blue willow design I, I think that's sent them a whisper. Oh, okay. And does it only include them if they were like in the chat room at the time then? Oh yes, please sign. And how do I send a whisper? Excellent! Um, Night Owl 51, I just sent you a whisper. It looks like this little conversation box oh, it's, and you might yeah, see a little like a comic book bubble. red thing pop up yeah that here. says you've got a message maybe my cup that has my pens over there like i have yeah. it at uh disney Springs. you want to sign you, so you're gonna sign oh, it yeah I'll, I'll sign it now so sure. you forget yeah okay right here And that way Matt can like send you a whisper. You don't all have to hear your home address. Well yeah, <laughs> I I did send a whisper. They're trying they oh, don't okay. know how to send a whisper back. Oh okay. Alternately too, um my email address is jasmintoad at aol.com. J-A-S-M-I-N-E-T-O-A-D at AOL.com. Matt can copy paste it there too in the um pen do I usually use on this? Oh, gold. I'll sign it under the handle. So that way, if you do use it, it's less likely to get wiped off. Put your email in there. Let that dry for a bit. And as long as you don't like scrub on it, like if you just wash it normally, I, I signed it like under here. I don't know if you can tell. Eh, yeah, there you go. The gold under the handle. Then it will stay in there for a while because I do that sometimes at my Disney events. So it and stay in there for a good long while. Or you can just like, you know, put pens and pencils and put it on your desk in the office or something. By the way, so it won't get broken. And it's Okie doke. Oh, it looks like they figured out. Oh, 
Well, thank you guys so much for participating with that. We'll try that again. I think every time I can probably come up with something fun or a little sketch or a toy or something that is mine that I can give away. I have to get samples from like licensing companies for stuff I may or may not ever use and like Zippo lighters or like coffee cups or shirts that don't fit me or something that I can give away as prizes. So this is kind of neat. And of course, whenever Night we Helen. do our original paintings. Oh, is Helen going to bed? Yep. Night, Helen. We'll see you next time. But yeah, we'll continue. Also, whenever we do the um, Patreon giveaways for the actual original paintings, we'll do that up here on Twitch, too. For my Patreon people. So I am blending some more skin tones. I'm using Titan Buff at this one here. And I don't want her nose. Her nose looks kind of close to her mouth. So I'm going to make a little bit that more of a sample. That Thanks was fun. Thanks everybody for entering. Thank you. Yeah, that worked really good. And I, I don't see why we couldn't do one of these each time. Do it every time. I'm at the post yeah. office enough anyway. Exactly. Again, yeah, it's very true. We go to the post office like every day, so might as well. Yeah, that's the only new mug I. The other yeah. ones are used mugs. Yeah. Used yeah, mugs are not give as away fun to give away. Mug, yeah. But we can make we could always get postcards too. We're at Disney a lot, so I could always get like some of my postcards or something fun. I'm liking this one here. I'm putting another layer. I've got two layers of white paint. I'm gonna do another layer of white paint on the part of her little mask that's gonna light up there. Oh. And the music kind of sounded exciting <laughs> in the giveaway. Yeah, like somebody was asking earlier about if you do a layer of white underneath another color, that makes that color kind of glow. I think that's always the best decision that you're making when you're starting off a painting, where the darkest color in the painting is and where the lightest color is, and making sure to keep everything in between that. Because if you all of a sudden paint somebody with a dress that is like brighter than the brightest candle or the sunset in the painting, it looks like it's a magic glowing dress. If it, if it is a magic glowing dress, that's fine. But if it's supposed to look like it exists, exists in the same reality as everything else, you want the brightest light to be your light source. That's the time that I reserve for pure white. And even if I go over this with like a red, a yellow, a blue, a green, a purple, I'm not sure what I'll do because I want it to be part of that hazardous beauty pain that I keep talking about that I'm going to do for my Corey Helford show. I will see what color I want to do in there. I'm thinking about doing maybe like kind of a neon blue green sort of color because I want it to be in kind of a hell scene like a Dore or Bosch or Bruegel sort of painting where it's like scary underground stuff happening and then there'll be a couple girls that have like these gas masks on like that sounds cool yeah like, like that that's kind of be like the thing that's keeping them so they can live down in this horrible place sort of thing, but I don't know. <laughs> Are so, they visitors or yeah. do they live there? I don't know. Or is that the only way they live they there? They exist there. That's different than living there. It's kind of like that. how the um, Fremen live on Dune. Yeah. Maybe I'll give them blue eyes. <laughs> well, no, we don't want to oh. get into that. Uh, I might give them blue eyes. 1960 says, says bedtime. See y'all next time. Okay, night night. Have fun. Night. I'll see you next time. Next time, Wednesday, we're talking, yeah. Possibly. Uh, I guess so. Probably Wednesday, yeah. And now, I'm gonna give her... So we will be, we'll be on here for about another two hours. Yeah. Before people start watching Westworld.
Yeah, that's yeah, Westworld. Exciting. Mm -hmm. It always seems like Sunday nights, depending on what time of year it is, there's something exciting on TV. Jasmine. Yeah. Art of Nixie says, Jasmine, I found that print I bought from you at Glastonbury. I oh. thought I lost it when I moved. I'm so oh, happy. Oh, good. I'm glad Yay. you found it. Lost and found. Excellent. Yay. Moments of the day. Good. There we go. Now I think her nose and mouth are far enough apart that it doesn't look like they've grown into one big elephant trunk sort of thing. Jasmine, are there any yeah. for the elephants? There's no elephants in this one. The elephants are in Africa. And in India. Eyeshadow. Not really thinking about colored eyeshadow at this point, but I am doing some highlights like on the lower the lower part of her brow bone and also the higher bits of her cheekbones. I'm doing some brighter tones on there. I want to make her completely pouty. Make sure she has a chin. A little bit of a lower lip. Jasmine. Yeah. It was inside their fairy book. Oh, really? They just had the, the print books. stuck in there? Okay. Hey, actually, that's a good place to put like eight and a half by 11 inch prints. You just stick them like in a, a book, like an art book or a hardcover it's book. It's also or good to put eight and a half and eleven I love prints inside frames. Well, yes, yes, but I, like if it's that, like no. my house, I I stick things. See those um, postcards right in front of you, Maddie? Those were in my calendar. Those two ones I got from the um. Oh. Yeah. yeah I love these on our trip. They weren't from the frick. They were from one. the um. What's that? These are like the ones I sent to some of my Patreons. Yes, yes. They're pretty. I uh -huh. like those. Yeah. But I found them because I stuck them in my calendar to keep them flat when I was traveling. So. Elephants hey. stole your water. They did. The they elephants did. stole Jasmine my water. Jasmine doesn't need water. Ew. Important for Jasmine not to have water. It's important to have water. That's why I have Rachel said, food. I had such a good weekend hanging out with Stephanie Law was so much fun. She is so nice. She is a very nice person. Stephanie is fantastic. Very good painter also. And she has fun techniques. She's always like building her own little paint palettes and making her own little mixes of gold leaf and cool stuff like that. Remember she made little paint palettes out of old Altoid containers and she also decorated them and it's like, oh wow. She, she like made it Martha out of Stewart old Altoid containers cool because artists are insane. What's that? I just heard the last part of that. She made it out of old Altoid yeah. containers because artists are mm -hmm. insane. No, it was clever. And it's a good way that if you work in watercolors that you can take your paints with you. Somebody was asking about um, taking acrylics with you when you travel. And that can be difficult because they don't want you to bring it inside the airplane that much. But if you put them in your checked luggage, you can bring them. But you have to mention that they're pigments and not paint, even though they are paint, but they are pigments. And that they are non-flammable and they are non-toxic. I, I know a lot that. of stupid stuff about traveling. Yeah, we do. Traveling with paintings and traveling, traveling with, with paintings. And... You know, all sorts of dumb things. Uh, so if you have any questions. They wouldn't let me bring a painting on the airplane. So I wore a big cape-like blouse thing and I shoved it under there. And I just kind of distracted them when I walked through. And I got to carry it on. Remember, it was a Disney one, love. That Disney one, I think it was oh, Bell's was Enchantment. I don't, I yeah. don't like talking about that and one. And I just like shoved it up under, up under my big shirt I had and just walked <laughs> through. It looked like a oh, bad sitcom, but yeah, that was awful. Sometimes it's important when traveling to uh, shove shove your paintings up your shirt. Yes, yes. Rachel says, yeah, we chatted about her technique stuff. She, referring to oh Stephanie, Stephanie yeah oh, well, she excellent. gave me some thoughts about integrating things with my wood burnings yes oh I could definitely see that that would be very helpful okay for Jasmine do mixed your media stuff Jennifer 453 asks what kind of acrylics do you use give, go ahead and give your golden fluid oh yes commercial. yes uh, <laughs> commercial now I'm uh, mostly at least when I'm painting at home I use golden fluid acrylics um here's an example of one here golden fluid acrylics i love them they're my favorite i've tried every acrylic out there i like these because they are very fluid i like to paint lots of layers upon layers as opposed to even attempting to blend like on the panel i mix it on my palette Ooh. 
and then I put a layer of color and then I get a hair dryer. And I dry, do another layer, then I dry. So I want them to dry quickly. A lot of people are like, how do you make them extend so they blend longer? But I don't bother with that. I get the thin paints, I let them dry. I do a layer on top, layer next to it. I really like them. If you want to try golden fluid acrylics on, if you click the little, it's like a Amazon shop link thingy on my um, Twitch. If you scroll down, click on that. There's like a set of 10. That is a good basic set. If you get that, you can. that's basically what I have here. And then you can make any color in the world out of those. And they are very good for mixing. They're good for traveling. And you mix them with water and get a paper towel and a brush and that's all you need. They have very high pigment load, so they'll last a very long time. So if you do things like finger painting and smudging around like with your hand, then it will actually stay where it's supposed to. It doesn't start to crackle or break like a lot of acrylic paints do. So. Golden Fluid Acrylics. But yeah, I don't think they sponsor artists, but if they do and they want to give me a sponsorship, I will say exactly the same things because I like them. You'll say what they want you to say. Well, maybe Thank I would, but... Uh, I if the brush. they're okay. providing the dime, you got to provide the time. Um, <laughs> no. No. So I, I let everyone know that you mixed uh, Bad Orange with... Oh, on your little face. Hmm? You're that orange with your fiber one syrup. Oh, no. No, no. I don't. Well, not on purpose. Unless you mean like we a gave away a, a mug. We did. And we Night gave Owl away. One. It's away now. Yes, Night Owl won it. It was a one of my Disney mugs. We got bought it at Disney World. It has one of my paintings on it. I did for the Walt Disney Company. Featuring Princess Aurora. Yes, NHL, we had a big raffle yes, giveaway. Yes, we had a raffle just a few minutes ago. But we're going to start doing that every time we do a Twitch. So okay. It won't always be a mug. Maybe sometimes it'll be something even cooler. Last time we did an original painting, so we'll always do something fun. Jasmine. Yeah. Home decor, was it Michael's looking at the, the golden fluid paints? Yeah. And the prices. Yeah. They checked out their bank account and they cried. Oh, well. I their birthday is coming soon. That's good thing. What I would say, um, again, if you look, Amazon's cheaper, and they do free shipping. So if you get the ones that are one ounces, I will use like, oh gosh, how about this one here? Permanent Violet Dark. I have had this for six years, and I'm still using the same tube to put that in perspective. So I don't buy a whole lot of paint. We recommend that with paints, like, but not with toothpaste. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. But you only need like that much. So it's like buying... Like, if you get Liquitex, you'll go through a tube of that, like, in a week, if you're me. Or, like, um, Ceram Coat or Delta um, Apple Barrel, whatever, that sort of stuff. I'll go through those right away. But these have so much pigment, I can use a little bit, mix it with a little bit of water, and I will have some of these paints for years. No. What the hell is it? It's that? one of the cats. Are they in the Whole Foods bag? I'm yeah, sorry. Probably. We have our, our cats, like, um, big... Those brown paper bags, like you get at Whole Foods, and they dig around in them. Was it sunshine? Those of you just joining us. Okay, okay just ghosts, I guess. Okay. So, that is kind of scary as hell. I could hear that really well. Um. Okay. Where'd she go? Yeah, she she on a different plane of existence. Is she on top of the refrigerator? Yeah, of the oh, Jesus Christ. Sunshine. Sunshine. Oh, it's not like she's on top of the refrigerator. She's on top of the cabinet on top of the refrigerator. Yeah, and we up, can't re She goes up we, there and she dig, 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 dig. And uh, no. She's out 12 feet in the air. She sees we're talking to people on the internet Jesus with the Christ. cameras and she is jealous. And that sounds like anthropomorphizing a cat, but that is what Sunshine is like. People who know her will know that we speak the truth. <sighs> she's just there to scare us. But no, uh, uh, golden fluid acrylics are worth investing in. Get one of those little 10 packs, click on Amazon, get the Amazon Prime one, try them out. You will see they last forever. Mix them with water. You could make one pack of those last for, depending how many things you do, you might have that for 10 years. So if you spend like $29 on it, it is well worth it. I can't speak highly enough for them. And you can mix them with water and they don't break and they are good. All right. Cat. I still see her. She's looking at me. Is, is Sunshine looking at you? And the baby looked at you. 
My kitties are watching the pigeons on the balcony. Oh, God. Uh, ours, ours love uh, watch them. Uh, oh, my morning. gosh. Yeah, we have morning doves. They they can't get through the window at them. Do they, go, do they do the little chitter thing? They go, ch -ch -ch -ch. I love that. Yes, I love that, too. That oh, baby. Yeah, we don't have pigeons in our yard, at least. We do not too far from here, but we have morning doves, which are related to pigeons, and our cats like those. We always call them their chickens. Anthropomorphism. You must have gone to college. I didn't go to college. I knew that. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I just think about the humanization of many animals. So. College or none. I worked from home as far as college goes. People have heard my story before, probably. It's not an interesting story. Jasmine barely went to college. That's what I mean. Well, I, yeah. I did a, a self home thing for painting. What was that noise? That was my chair. It made a horrible squeak noise. But oh. um, you know, I was supposed to get a physics and mathematics scholarship thing for college and I went for a bit and I liked painting more so I switched over to painting and I got a degree about um, studio art painting but I had to work at home because they didn't have a facility for us to paint in person at school. So I just worked on whatever. I already had a website and I was like doing this for a living then. So I just showed them what I was doing four times a year and they sent me a degree. So yeah, because <laughs> that's what people care about. <laughs> nice relaxing day of paint. Yeah, it is, isn't it? No, I'm not painting. Um, well, you're watching paint. Paint. I think watching people paint is relaxing, even if you're not an artist. I think it's kind of fun to watch. That's a whole Bob Ross thing, too. I've got some Van Dyke brown, so I'm starting to delineate where her eyelashes are as opposed to where her eyelid is and where the shadows on the top of her iris and her eyebrows are. Yes. Kazumaka says they left school at 13, started ah. working in a tattoo studio. Oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah, I wish I would have done that. I, I kind of left you're school at 13. You're ahead of the game, Kazumaka. But yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good thing to get into, I think. Um, I, I, I have a lot of friends who do tattooing for a living. Some do very well for themselves. That's definitely a good job to do if you're interested in the arts. And it's also something that you can do like as a day job while you are doing your own artwork. And then you can kind of introduce your own ideas to people and suggest them while you're doing tattoo art at the same time. It's one that it, it very much um, is simpatico with um, being a professional artist. I think a lot of us start off doing that. Jasmine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jaylee D says your story is definitely interesting. <laughs> I think it's wonderfully inspiring. Oh, well, thank you. Hypers81 says, watching you paint is now my favorite thing to fight my depression. Oh, that's nice. Oh, for heaven's sake. Depression no, is, is a beast. That, that is a beast. It must a be horrible overcome. beast. Yes, that's very true. Well, that that's what I mean about yeah, watching rough. people paint, even if you yourself are not an artist, doesn't matter. I think watching people make something and be happy about it is something that is much more beneficial than watching a lot of stuff on TV or the internet, so... I, I was very sickly as a kid, and I'd always watch the Bob Ross Joy of Painting, and I think a lot of us here did, so we probably know how that is. I'd give her more of a neck. Her I neck was sick. Kind of turned I into watched, shoulders. I watched that. Aww. All my children. Ah, uh, my mother used to and watch all my children. Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows, yes, I remember and Doctor Dark Who. Shadows, Doctor but Who. But I didn't understand what the hell was going on with Doctor Who. Because they showed them uh, out of sick. Oh, we, we watched them like on PBS, which is like our public um, TV channel in Kansas City, KCPT. Heart of Nixie says, I'm trying to make my degree useful. Feels like I wasted four years. Yeah. If you get cold, you know, you can always uh, no, put it in the fireplace. I don't think they ever sent me my actual degree, did they? I don't know. I never really like, got it in the mail, but I totally got one. Art, art degrees are a funny thing. Well, they, they can be useful depending on the job you, you get. They're yeah. not like a medical degree or a science degree. No, I've never like journalism. I've never told it to anybody who cared. It's not like if a company's like, hey, we want to make T-shirts of your artwork. Do you have a bachelor's degree? <laughs> Nobody's ever asked me that, so it's I, I don't know how helpful it is as far as that goes. But if you're somebody who wanted to 
or if you're self-taught it's kind of dumb too so but if it's somebody you wanted to learn how to paint and you actually went to classes and they had a place to you know make paint and painting and all that that'd be very helpful but i just didn't have that sort of school really but it made me stay at home and paint and that was fun it helped a lot so jasmine yeah uh, rachel asks well she's kind of asking the room too yeah, yeah did anyone watch mark kessler on pbs as a kid imagination mark kessler it sounds I don't know familiar that also a nhl fan jasmine you might like sand experiment that's Ooh, i think it's a use or a Oh, is that, a, is that somebody broadcasting? She does oh. what you do, but with colored sand on a table with a light beneath. Oh, really? Like sand art? That's cool. Yes. And then Art of Nixie says, it's a master's engineering degree in game design. Engineering and game design. Oh, that's interesting. That sounds like something Theo would like. Yeah, probably. I started off with physics, mathematics, and I changed to um, studio art painting and I got a minor in German and in art history but I did it from the painting from home so Jasmine got a counts. German minor yeah <laughs> he digs in the backyard uh -huh. kind of German or something aren't you no oh. <laughs> I told you oh you're British I'm sorry whatever matters not Max Nix do we have anybody from Germany in the room? I going to say, last time we were here, oh, I, I heard a magic noise. Did somebody follow me? Yeah. Got a lot of West Coast people. Oh, well, that's good. I, I wonder if it's because Seattle it's a, Steve. a weekend, too. We've got too. Buddy. Yeah. We've got, we had Chris Goat. Yeah. Well, well, For I those guess we who, who don't know, usually we start around 5 in the evening and go till like 10. Today we start around 2 and we'll probably go to like 8 or so. Home Decor says, I absolutely hated art college. The professors were way too in the box. Uh, there was no individualized thinking. Anything out of the box was looked down on. That's a problem with, I, I don't even see how you teach art in school. It's such a very, it's like teaching music or something, but not like how to play in, instruments, but what to like and what to make. That's a hard thing to try to quantify. Rachel says, Reichenberg is totally German. I meant oh, that currently sounds German. in Germany. Oh, okay. Deutschland. Of Germany. I see. anyone doesn't know Rococo Rachel she does wood burning which she is does. which is that's a, a whole nother type of art that's pretty unexplored cool unexplored art thing probably here on on twitch yeah I don't know twitch if I've seen anything like that um, yeah that's a neat I, I thing saw, to watch I saw a couple other wood burners oh, that's that cool on, that's a neat thing to twitch. see yeah but it's I think it's neat because it's it's not as not as big a thing yeah, you, know, think, you don't see a million people doing it. Yeah. I think it could, I think there's a lot of room for innovation there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but very, it's very cool. It is. It also kind of I would walks a line to crafting also, which is cool. You did what? I, I got a wood-burning kit. Uh -huh. Probably El Cheapo Crapo one from yeah. Michael's when I was little. And I got some uh, transfer paper. Oh, okay. And I like transferred a picture of a raccoon... Oh, okay. All I heard was that log. you burned a raccoon when you were little. That's no, all I heard. I, don't, I see. I, yeah, I gotcha. I don't burn raccoons. No, you and love then raccoons. I, then I did the wood burning raccoon. And it oh, looked alright, okay. I guess. Yeah. There you go. Black Widow said, did, did everyone get a notification from Twitch about the stream starting? I didn't get one. I tried to check in from my oh. phone. Oh. Took a break. Oh, Dang it. Oh, we are. Three Central. I don't know. Huh. I'll check my email later. Yeah, because I always get Matt to follow oh, me of course, and Rachel. subscribe and all that. So that's a thing too. If you haven't yet, um, if you just came to join us, um, they made me affiliate, so you can actually subscribe to me now. So that's kind of a neat thing. I'm assuming they warn people when I come online, especially if you subscribe. But I really don't know yet. Get a double warning. Yeah, I don't know. So anybody who already has an Amazon Prime subscription, you get a free subscription here. So you can add me as a subscribe thingy here, which is kind of cool. Oh, Art of Nixie just subscribed. Oh, hey, speaking of, yes, and it makes a pretty noise and a Lenian, little dragon fairy pops Lenian up. 77 was notified. Oh, okay. I, I'm not, I guess I could check mine. 
I was gonna say, be careful so you don't click off and stop broadcasting. No, I'm, not, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'll check my phone. Or, yeah. Now I'm doing some lighter tones on the flesh tones. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to almost get to the point where it looks like a marble statue. So I can see the dark bits and the light bits. And I'll start worrying about the color a bit later. Yes, I, I did get one. You did get one? Okay. Jasmine yes. Beckett Griffith. Okay, huh. Want to watch that crazy painting lady? Click this. That's a pretty noise. Does somebody else subscribe oh, too? Dead Joe, come on. Oh, excellent. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yay. I could hear that all day. I like the little dragon that pops up. With or without too. affiliate, they will notify you if they lose notifications on okay. the follow slash sub. Ah, I see. So either way, it should let you know. And like I said, we're going to do our best to tell everybody the next time we plan to, which as of now will be Wednesday. Are we going to do a 5 o'clock on Wednesday, do you think? Yes, if you fix your chair. If I, I I don't know how to fix my chair. I will WD-40 chair. your chair. You probably should because it's... Let's Gosh. see if it does again. Uh, yeah. Jasmine! I'm sorry. Am I throwing off the microphones and know. making it do feedback or something? Back. It's all we live to get. The, Rachel and her boyfriend type the same. Ah. Uh, Yay, sub hype. Hype is hype is such a twitch word. Huzzah. That's my run for a word. Huzzah. I'll go mm. no, I'll hype there. Yay. Hype. Hype. That's type hype. Oh, I don't, I don't know hype. You have a Discord channel slash server. No. Um, we've, got, no. we've got so much stuff. I'm not sure what I Discord is. I might things. I might figure it out. Because somebody else asked me that too, and I think Nun said she had a Discord, but I didn't know what it was. I don't know. I'm figuring it out though, so. Yeah, we slowly figure things out. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm finally up here at Twitch because my God, people have been asking forever. So. Reminds me of Facebook. It took me like two years before I finally got, got up there. <laughs> got, book. Instagram. Instagram. Jasmine really doesn't do Twitter. No. Patreon. Patreon is my favorite, but I'm liking Twitch, Twitch now, a lot. And then so. if we add a Discord yeah. thing, it's kind of crazy. But yeah. you like use Discord with um, Patreon. I know. I think I'm in Discord all day. Some... So many channels. Yeah. Oh. Sounds crazy. Yeah. The thing. We're, all my assistants yeah, we're do busy. things like um, put things oh. in boxes and go to the post office. None yeah. of my assistants like do like social media text stuff. Voice chat thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm like in seven Discord channels. Oh wow. Well, it sounds good. Yeah, maybe we'd need to like. Well, it's something that you can give people like access to because like um the Rift Tracks people were like, we have a Discord and you can talk to us there, and it sounded kind of neat, but I don't know. I wasn't sure if it was video also or if it's just like talking. I don't know. Because if it's video, I could show. But I don't know. I'm, I'm so new here at Twitch. I think I'm just probably going to focus on this for a while. Right. So yeah, people we can get used to me time. here because otherwise I just get a... Wacky. Wacky for yeah. us. Yeah. Outline her lips a little bit. Need some more hair. Her forehead is getting too big. Okay. Because in the after a while, it's just like you're on the computer the whole time. And yeah, that's my done. problem. We is I get stuff done. Part of the reason I can do Twitch is because I genuinely am sitting here painting all day, every day. So it's something that doesn't change my day's routine that much, which is good. Minion <laughs> seventy seven says, if you're streaming on Wednesday, that means I'll have to leave for a bit to try and win some of your eBay auctions. Oh, there's a hey. We could always remind people. We'd be like, oh, auctions are ending. We could always talk about that. Sure. Well, we can always show people like my things that are ending on eBay too. I don't want to turn it into like a big QVC infomercial or anything. But... I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Rachel says it's nice too because your community can interact with each other even when you aren't. Oh, I see. So Charlotte friends, just Charlotte oh. just uh, subscribed. Thank Yay. you, thank you so so much. So happy that people are subscribing. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. That's awesome. Okay, so that so like Discord, it's like if friends were up here, they could talk to other friends, even if me and Matt were like at, you know, at the post office. Or right. Something. I, the gotcha. thing is, I I really really would would um. It would be probably starving for attention. It wouldn't. Be I would worry that I would ignore it. Yeah. Or we'd have to give up something else for it. 
Yeah, I give up Facebook for it. It pissed me off. <laughs> and Lenian 77, I got two of the last oh. ones. Yep. Yay! Excellent. So I haven't even looked at the auctions like this. Oh yeah, I, I just popped up a bunch of penny auctions for my. It's like the number twenty five is a bunch of our sold out canvases. I always auction off like the number 25 or the number 5 depending on how big the edition is. Like the last one and the first one. So like the number 1 and then the number 5 or 25. And I always start them off at a penny and sometimes they go for like a lot more than usual and sometimes depending on like how busy it is they'll go for less so it's kind of a good bargain sometimes. But it's always like hey it's your last chance to get this canvas. And so some people specifically like to collect the last ones because it's a neat way to have a collection where you have all the same limited edition number. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Here, here. Oh, oh my goodness. Got a sunshine. Yes, I don't know. If people see her? She's back behind me. There she is. Yes, hey, Diane. Yes. Can people, people see sunshine? Yes, yeah, she's the sunshine, sunshine hates that squeaky chair too. Yes, yeah, she probably likes the squeaky chair. She likes to come try to bite all the PVC vinyl off the side of it. And... Are, you, are you feeding her the brush there? No, no, not at all. She's, I don't know. She's kind of rubbing her cheek on it. She's a kitty cat. Jasmine, what yeah. character will you be painting next for Disney? The next one officially I have for Disney will be Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And that will be part of their 25th anniversary project that they're having. They're not going to have prints of that one, but they're going to have like postcards and I think handbags and like drinkware. It's a really big merchandising one. It's not necessarily through the gallery. It's through all the Disney um, merchandise channels. I'd so. like for them to have a. They're doing shirts. I think. T-shirt. Yeah, they're doing clothing. I don't. Like, clothing was on the license for it. Yeah, I like wearing your art on me. Yeah. Because it's good. good but, yeah, a lot of the Disney shows. ones tend to be uh, mostly the feminine cuts or the Mrs. Juniors, whatever sort of things. But. Haley. Yes, Sunshine F's up our home because uh, she scratches around and we like we were saying before, we don't trim our nails. But Sunshine's, what, oh hey baby. What we pay for, kitties. Yes, yes. Bad, bad kitty. Hey Sunshine, Love what's our bad kitties. Baby, Holy crap, Jasmine. I know. This Let happens, me take her. This happens a lot, I've got her. Here. Hey, don't, don't, don't you bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch me. Ah, Scratch yeah. me in the face. Ow, actually I'm going to wash my face you bunny kick me on the chin. Okay. But somebody oh, Christy subscribed! Backerel. Thank you, Yay, Christy Backerel! Love Christy oh Backerel. gosh, yes, we've known her for ages. And we've, we've met her up in Seattle, I think. So. Let me... Wow, now I feel old. I remember going to see that movie when it was real. I don't feel old. Oh gosh, yeah, I couldn't believe it was 25 years since that came out. I just can't wrap my head around that. I'm gonna run upstairs real quick, man, and wash my face for sunshine scratch me and go to the bathroom. Oh, she Same scratched thing. you on your face? Yeah, she bunny kicked me in the face. It happens. Is... I just wanna rinse it off so it doesn't get And I laughed, me. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it was pretty funny. I mean she... So Jasmine just got wounded. Kitty scratched her in the face. She's not a, she's a bad kitty. Sunshine? She's running off like a little rat now. Sunshine. Come here. Also, if you are new to Twitch, it is unlike Patreon. Sub, you have to physically resub every. It doesn't auto do like Patreon. Uh. Yeah, I just joined Jasmine thing so I can get the funny little, these little guys. Little emoticons. I thought they were cool. Also, I wanted to see what the process was like. I once got bit by a sugar glider. Sugar gliders are some of the cutest little things I've ever seen. One a person brought sugar gliders to Jasmine's. About 
I don't know, three shows ago at the Disney Springs. And so cute. I loved them. And they gave me little kisses. But I didn't get bit by a chick. I mean, their mouths are like a millimeter. Probably didn't hurt. I think I even posted photos. Uh, this is like my... The Sugar Glider was my favorite person that showed up or something. You subscribe by clicking the sub button above. And you can choose their different tiers. Jasmine is okay. Upstairs washing her face. Got bit by a mole. That's cool. I assume you mean the animal. Oh, I didn't realize the pins you gave out at Dragon Con were conics. Yes. So happy I got one. Well, did you get all three? Or did you just get one? No, it didn't hurt. And yes, very cute. Ah, But he got bit by a sugar glider. Yeah, Sunshine's kind of like a sugar glider. Okay. Oh, it's been in the litter box. Yeah. I there was a a wild cat the other day, and I and I bent down to pet it, and it scratched me, and I started bleeding on a walk we we did the other day, and then I go over to the other office that I have across town to do some work and Jasmine sends me a picture and it's in our backyard like wanted more blood yes he cheated me this week probably after now Jasmine uh, does Jasmine sorry, still do custom, custom orders oh yeah sorry I'm grabbing a cashew roll my daughter got bit by a penguin at the zoo this is great I know Getting bit by exotic animals is now hmm. going to be my hobby. Sorry, I've got cashews. Um, I've seen penguins in the wild before a few times. In South Africa. Art of Nixie says, I really hope you paint Merida. My favorite. Oh, Merida? Merida. Merida. That's... I would like to paint her also. She's on my list of people I periodically ask for. Uh, I think top of my list right now is Elsa and Anna and Tiana. If I got like, if I could do an Elsa and Anna together and then a Tiana, that would make my day. Because I like all swampy sort of southern stuff and I think I would love to paint Tiana and have her in, not as her frog format, but like her lady format. <laughs> and have like a New Orleans sort of background and a swampy sort of tree and Jasmine. Some voodoo in there. Yeah. Daniel J. Newman got bit by Picasso Triggerfish. Oh, wow. A, a lifeguard in Hawaii. That's kind of I think he got really tame. Yeah. Black Widow said, ha ha, vampire kitty, now you serve the kitty. I guess so. We, I think we did already. Yes, but... we, we're slaves of these beasts. We are slaves to the kitty. Super Gourmet says, hello, Jasmine, from oh. Tara. Oh, hi, Tara. From New York, saying hello. Happy so to happy see you happy to here. see you on, on Twitch. So this is wonderful to see you and hear Matt. Aw, thank that's you. That's actually me painting. And that's me talking. Oh, wait, yes. no, that doesn't make sense. Okay. It doesn't. I love that pic of you, too. Aw. Oh, is it the one that... I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> My brother-in-law, Paul, is a photographer, so he took a bunch of pictures of us, like, hanging out in our oh, backyard. Oh, it must have been in the slideshow. Yeah, probably It's some. probably us in our backyard when it's all leafy. But yeah, um, somebody was asking, I do custom painting still, but I have an almost three-year waiting list right now, so I'm not taking any deposits. But if you go up to mystrangeling.com website on the FAQ and click on Commissions, there's a tab you can click on and it tells you like the prices and policies and wait list and how to get on the wait list and that type of thing too. Because it is, um, I used to do a lot more. Now I do a couple a month and I don't take deposits until it's like within a year or so of when I'm actually going to do it because nobody can plan that far ahead, especially me. And I don't want to rope people into something that they've already paid for half of it and then they have to wait four years or something silly like that. So, Let's see. I'm going to start putting some more pink and brown flesh tones on these. 
this is meant to be studied for a larger piece later, so I'm not sure really what skin tone or what the lighting will be like on her. So what I'm going to mostly do here is... Oh, I heard another fancy noise. Yeah, okay. Pixie82. Thank you Aww, so much, thank Pixie. thank you. I'm liking all You're these fancy noises person. we're hearing. So I'm not sure what... um background will look like when I want to do this as a full painting. So I'm mostly going to focus on this as having a lighting based off of the mask. So, oh, is that another one? Yay! Hey, the blue pixie. Huzzah! Blue pixie's awesome. Oh, yeah, they were here. One. They've been here before with us, haven't they? My paints are starting to dry out, so I'm putting a retardant in it because I've mixed a flesh tone that I mixed earlier. I don't usually use a retardant unless I am working on a painting that I know I'm going to work on for a while and I put it in a wet palette that I keep in a Ziploc bag. That doesn't help you blend when you're trying to do layers or anything like that, but it keeps the paint from drying out. And I don't have very much of that um, paint's gray left, so I'm putting in that hoping it will keep it from drying out for like the next couple weeks until Amazon has some more in stock. So. I'm not going to blend it yet, but I'm going to keep it on there on the side, so... That will hopefully be good. Again, that's me playing around with something I don't do very much normally. So there might be a better way. So if I'm going to do something like this character here with the biohazard mask, I have to decide what color that light's going to be. And if I'm planning on putting it in kind of a medieval sort of Oh, hell scene, like a Dante's Inferno, Hieronymus Bosch thing. Those tend to be warmer toned because at that time period they thought of like fiery pits of hell and things like that. So I'd like something that would contrast against that. So I might pick something that's like a super, oh, like a bright blue aqua green that looks kind of like a, a warning sign and uh, like a medical facility. So I'm going to go with a blue. And I'm going to just kind of smear that all over where the white is now. This is just mixed with water here. And looks like some cat hair from Sunshine before <laughs> she attacked me. That's physical evidence, Sunshine. Okay. Kind of smudge that on there. I might not even choose that color in the end, but I'm looking at that to give me an idea of what color I want that to be. Oh, let's say it's Christmas or something and you have like a bright colored blue light in front of you. You have to think about where that light goes. She's wearing it on her face and it's kind of in front of her face. So any light that comes from that will be reflected light back on her face because the bright lights are in front of her face. So probably on the bottom bit of her eyes. Let's say line that. There we go. That looks kind of close. That's, that's glowing. Yeah, I love it. There you go. Yeah, just Jasmine, take a second. Yeah. Rachel showed her cuties that she has from her channel. Aww. I need to watch. I yeah, just, we I should don't do. Everybody own, should do. Go watch I'm Rachel. Watching. Yeah. Now, what I do, I don't watch that many streamers, but sometimes I'll have a stack of canvas in front of me <sighs> that is just massive. So what I do... Matt does things like stretch canvases on boards and put hangers right, on them. Right, I things, stretch so. a lot of canvas. So what I do is I put the stack in front of me, set it on a stream, and then just go nuts on the canvas. And I, I'll stretch, you know, like about 20-some canvas an hour. Yeah. And I'll... I'll be able to hear, you know, the chat. I don't, I, I kind of lurk, I guess. Yeah. Um, I've well, done like that with Heather's, friend in your Heather pocket. Hitchman, yeah. Nen Changs, and yeah. a few others on here. I've, I've made a few friends. Yeah. They're almost always female artists, which is <laughs> funny. It's like, that's those. That's my friend base. So many female well, artists. guys on Twitch seem to be doing more video games. They do. Well, they do. They're... It's not a stereotype. Right. It just seems to be my experience, but. Jasmine, what's your... Favorite Walt Disney World Park? Ooh, I bet it's good. Damn, uh, that's I'm hard. Stay out there. Okay, well, I like Disneyland California, the original one. That's hard to beat because it has some of my favorites. It has Mr. Toad there. That's lovely. But as far as like the whole world goes, I really like Disney Sea, which is in Tokyo. It's the ancillary park to the um, Magic Kingdom, Tokyo. 
It's called Tokyo Disney Sea, and it's it's around Tokyo Bay, which is pretty cool already. So it has all these things that are kind of built around the very very deep bay, and you've got to take like a train from the mainland over to it. And it is it's a very neat, unusual park. It is hard to find food there if you're a vegetarian. <laughs> There's like. What, one place we can have lunch at, basically? They have a spaghetti marinara there. Yes. Yeah. And then sometimes, a, it's they have, for sometimes they have a pizza that you can get. And yeah. So it's not very good for vegetarians, but it, it's fun to go to. And it, it has an aspect of it that is based off of, like, oh, um, like a Medici area, era, like Florence slash Venice area. So you've got like this Italian waterfront, which is just extremely accurate, very beautifully built. And then you go over and there's like a Jules Verne section. And then there's, um, oh, all sorts of underwater stuff. And it's it, amazing. It's, yeah, it's very different than any now, other there part. was one ride. Yeah, I like that a lot. There was one ride I didn't see the whole thing because... I get I get scared on rides yes, he when it does. not because of the thrill aspect like because a, a steep thing theming. but if there are yeah. monsters in the ride I get really mm -hmm. scared so I cover my face the whole time and it was Journey to the Center of the Earth and great I, ride yeah. I covered my face the whole time so I didn't see I didn't see anything no it was it scared the hell out of me yeah and then we went on the twenty thousand leagues under the sea. On that one, it's like walkthrough. Oh, but yeah. No, no, the one with Theo. Remember, we were afraid that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes, yes, evil, yes, yes, yeah. Little mermaid people were gonna grow teeth and yeah, try to bite us. So Theo was like me, and we were terrified. Yeah. But you know, little kids didn't mind it. I'm not afraid of the thrill things. Like I'll. Yeah, oh no! Million foot drop from whatever. I will say though that if you go there and go on their Space Mountain, yeah. or is that in Friends? Which one is it? The Crazy Space Mountain. France. It's that's in France. Paris. Okay, the one that's in Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris has okay, the one that launches Space you. Okay, even Space Mountain, it's neat. You turn on your side, it's pretty scary. It's not super scary. But the one in France, it like shoots you off on one of those maglev super crazy, goes 200 miles in the first eight the seconds. The best Space and Mountain. Puts you is... upside down a million times. It's good. It, it, it's the insane. best Space Mountain is at oh. Disneyland, California. Well, I think it's so, the smoothest that's less ride. scary. It does but... the, it, they have Ghost Galaxy yeah. during Halloween. Yes, if you go on Halloween, they it's have amazing. Ghost Galaxy. That's really it's amazing. Neat. Yeah. And then go over to the Haunted Mansion, and you can go to the Jack and Sa Sally Haunted Mansion yes. during Halloween and Christmas that time. That is cool. It's wonderful. Why we don't have it here in Florida, I don't know. People keep telling me about the projections, like the projection things that the um, film strips are on. They don't have that here or something, which doesn't really make sense to me, but... But I do like the Jack and Sally um, Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween thingy that goes on for a long time there. I'm putting some more white on top of the white that I had with a light blue that I smudged over with my fingers. And now it's going to have a bit of the blue showing through, a bit of the white with a bit of the blue with a bit of the white. Yeah, so far so good. And put a bit more blue in her eyes. That was some water. I actually go over her whole eyeball there. Not that she's going to have blue eyes necessarily. But she has this blue thing in front of her, which will make her eyes look kind of blue no matter what. If anybody is um, a fan of Donato Giancola, who's another very fantastic fantasy artist, he's um, an art professor too in New York. Um, he has a DVD, probably a download I assume, I don't know if people have DVDs anymore, but um, a download you can do and it shows something called, is it called The Mechanic? What's it called? The Mechanic, maybe? yes. Mechanic, I think yes. half the people in this room know The Mechanic. Yeah, they probably do. Daniel J. But, Newman's never yeah. been on a roller coaster. Oh. Golly. Well, you're I, in for a treat or a skip. I spent most of my adult life on a pro. Oh. No. But anyways, if you look at the Nadia and Cola um, download, it talks about showing things that are shiny and when you have bright lights around them, how they look. 
And I think about that a lot when I'm doing a layout for something that has a very direct light source. This would be a very good example of it. Again, it might look kind of messy. I'm just kind of smudge, smudge, smudge. Oh, the blue's going everywhere. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. I'm going to put white over the top of it and that'll make it look really sharp. But now, um, she's looking fair skinned to me. Probably in the painting she will be. So I'm going to put some sort of pinks and oranges and kind of caucasoid looking skin tones on her. Some bat orange. The yellow medium. Which is not a medium, it's just a color that is yellow. And then a quinacridone magenta. Yeah, that's a good one. Jasmine, what those? artist did you just mention? Black Widow's oh, asking. Donato Gianco. Oh, Donato Gianco. Yeah. Okay. D O N A T O G I A N C O L A. Super nice guy, and he is a painting professor, and he is also a very good painter. Fantasy art. He does stuff like for magazines and illustrations for books and bullshit like that. Let's see. A bit more peach in her cheeks here. It's funny, since her face is kind of covered up by her mask, it doesn't matter that much what um, the lower part of her face is going to look like because it's completely covered up. Jasmine. Sunshine, what are you doing, honey? Oh, you here, no. you here to say hi? What, love? I think out on our main settings on yeah. Twitch, we can, if we toggle the URL thing, yeah. Moobot will take care of it just in case somebody, I want someone to add a link. Oh, I like can other give them people permission, so we need to fix me? that for oh, next okay. time. Oh, okay, yeah, let's so do let's try that. To let's try to figure that one okay, out. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if people want to share things or if it, it makes, you know, it's not like, hey, free iPad scam here. Right. Yeah, other than that, I don't care. That's fine, yeah. Put some peachy orange. Everybody has a tear duct, like right in the middle of their eye. Between your eyes, rather. Nictating membrane coming through here. Really? I mean, both these at the same time, I'm going to put some of the same flesh tones on her. Since I was working on two at the same time, I, again, I don't usually like assembly line it, but when I do, I can kind of do the flesh tones and like some pretty colors at the same time. horrible horrible fingers you can probably see my fingers so matt will say hey jasmine this sounds kind of nice do you want to go wash your hands down <laughs> yeah say hi to lori oh hi lori which lori is it lori streams art oh hi lori and she streams, and she streams <laughs> art excellent need more artists up here well, that's what i was Yay. trying to i was trying to share rachel's Yes. Stream. Yes. Yeah. I, no. I don't mind sharing streamer stuff. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Exactly. We're trying to, we're trying yeah. to grow the creative community. No, this community is different than Facebook, right. where I just got like a whole lot of right. fake Ray Ban sunglass ads and crap like right. that. But yeah. We're not getting as spammed up here. No. As we every, would. Everybody here seems very classy so, and very respectful. So I think that we turned it nice. off. We turned off the URL thing initially so people wouldn't spam it, but yeah, spam us, but it doesn't seem as big an issue. It isn't yet. I will right say now. with Facebook, it was an issue till I hit like the one million mark, right. and that's when I got a million Viagra ads all of a sudden, and just well, it was horrible. You know what? Viagra yeah. is an is an important pill. Hmm. Yeah. Fancier. Well, it's important to you know certain people. It's important to Facebook scammers. <laughs> they're, they're like. 15 but you i don't know why you get so many viagra ads i don't know now. either oh, i've never got, gotten one got my hair dryer let's be quiet for a minute. <laughs> there we go now let's all dry i think it's funny people say what's it? how can you make your paint like stay wet on the panel it's like i don't want it to i want it to dry 
Do a layer, dry, do a layer. It's not like oils. Definitely with oils, you yeah, want it to be um, wet so you can blend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both paintings are both paintings are sold. Oh, are they? Or they're spoken for. Oh, okay. They're at least spoken for. Okay. If anybody does see one and they still want it, just let us know in case we have to do a backup or somebody changes their mind and like, oh, let's say I give her like bright orange eyes and somebody's like, no, never mind, I don't want her, you know. Yeah, we like some backup. Streams yeah. art asks, what are you painting? They're the one just just popped in. Oh, okay. I'm working a couple mini paintings that I'm actually doing as kind of um, work studies for a couple of new paintings I'll be doing for my solo show in um, California. So this one is like a biohazard one, like a um, part of hazardous beauties, which, which will be a painting of two characters that are like in a post-apocalyptic sort of thing. And then this girl here will have a pretty blue willow patterned wing design. And can you go over my blue willow my, uh, painting I was working on? So anybody who's missed it and they're just joining, I can show them what I was working on earlier. Yeah, I'm After just finishing typing. up this email. Yeah, don't worry about it. But yeah, when you can do. But in the meantime, working on this one. Trying to make this look all glowy. So I'm putting a line of perfectly white right, right through here. How big all right, is? I will fetch that. Okay. I just want to show people what I did. I, I'm not... Your legs are yeah, so funny. Oh, you're not, huh? Okay. Well, I, I keep my leg folded. I like did this all damn day. Okay. All right. I I'm sitting on a leg right. Here's the piece I was working on earlier, and this is the one we were talking about earlier, the blue willow fairy. So she has wings that look like they're made of porcelain, with a blue willow sort of design. And she's got a little birdie based off the birdies that are on that. And she's got a little teacup. Ah, it always looks crooked when I hang it up on you. Um, she's got a little teacup and she's near. I've got a little bit more work on here and I've got some pretty trees behind her. Put some blue. Other ones are going to be two studies for paintings I'll be working on in the future that are both for the um, show I'm doing at the Corey Halford Gallery in Los Angeles opening July 28th. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of paintings that will be um, coming out then. I'll also have some more mini paintings that are done then too that are at the Corey Hopper Gallery. And those ones will actually hang as like part of the event. I like to do some studies or cut up some of the sketches I did earlier and frame them or ones I want to do for last minute sort of things. And I always have them whenever I do an art show. So I make sure I have That's something fun. for all budgets. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's here. Kevin P. West. Oh, hey, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Ellie's going to bed. Aww. Night. Night, Ellie. night. Well, night poor night. Selena be in your next art book. Art book, my new favorite. Poor Selena, I don't think it's in the next art book, but I'm not sure. Because I just sent all my last um, image files I uploaded to Blue Angel, and she was among them, but they were going to pick five, and I think I sent them 12, so I don't know if she was one of them. Jasmine. She might Say be night to Lenian. A lot oh, of our, no, a lot no, of our UK, yes. oh, UK yes. folks have to get Well, hey, it was bed. kind of fun doing this earlier, so we got a lot of our UK people. So, good to see you. Thank you for seeing us here on the side of the ocean. Mimi's trying to watch, but she's having problems, so Aww. say hi. Oh, hi. She's with us in spirit. Oh, is that Mimi? Mimi. Oh, Mimi. Good to see you. Hopefully you'll see some of this. If anybody misses this, you can always watch us later, too. It saves it for, like... A couple weeks, I think, on Twitch, and it saves it under videos. If you go to yeah, twitch.tv backslash Jasmine Beckett Griffith, the videos, yeah. Daniel asks, Do you collect porcelains? Uh, shows up a few times in your work. I have a lot of porcelains. Hey, Maddie, can you get me my the cow cream? The cow, sure. Yes, I'll, I'll show you what I mean as far as blue willow pattern goes. And this is not officially blue willow. I well, think it's I think it's late cartoon. Dutch, but yeah. <laughs> um the Woodhouse people will get that joke. I'll I'll negative one of you. Okay. But oh. yes. Oh, he's my baby. But yes, things 
it's like a fur on it. things like this little friends who are made out of blue willow so that that in combination with other things i have done and like i have this um oh what a series of statues i did with um the hamilton collection that have like this is a picture of one of the statues that i did that's got like the little wings that have the blue willow cavern and then I have a mermaid I just did that had like a blue willow tail. There she is. Yeah, you can see the blue willow tail. But um, yeah, so it's a it's a recurring theme, and I like it because it's a kind of a oh, it's a combination of a Western sort of idealized Orientalist sort of whatever um, version of what Chinese porcelain is supposed to look like. And then when it got popular, people in China were like, oh, Europeans like this, let's do this. And they would do that. And we're working now on like a big full size, by full size, I mean like eight feet big statue of a mermaid that I've created that has a blue porcelain, blue willow porcelain tail. That will be part of the same event where I'm showing all this off. So that will be there in Los Angeles at the Cory Helford Gallery for a month or so starting July 28th. So I like seeing those things made into real life stuff that you can look at. So that's part of the fun, my own nerdy fun that I can see. Oh, Bailey D says, Some, I sometimes play these Twitch shows in the morning before I get started painting myself. <laughs> I'm happy idea. that this is I, honestly I know I joke a lot and stuff but I'm yeah. very happy that this is inspiring to people me too I like that a lot of the people we're talking to are people who are also artists or musicians or people who are doing creative things that's very neat Jasmine you want to feel old nope no. Marie Pet 99 says hi I'm so excited to see these live stream things oh hello you inspired me to start painting all of 14 years ago when I was Aww. 12 oh wow <laughs> thanks for doing this <laughs> oh gosh Hey, I was right around your same age when I started taking art seriously. That was about um, many more years ago than no, that. No, actually, that's the funny thing yeah. about Jasmine. She started so young that she's not old yet. It's that, really cool. Yeah, well, no, that's kind of true because I, I started doing this for a living when I was still in high school. So I, I, I do get a bit of a bonus as far as when I actually start doing this. But that's neat. We love our Brit fans, don't we? Yes, we do. They're so awesome. Well, that's a big part of why we have our early stream today. So, and I don't know. Do people... Diane says these Twitch feeds are so inspirational. You know, I, oh, I love you. it when people say that. Yeah, that's, that's hey, that's, that's why I'm doing thing. this, man. That's awesome. That, I think that's the best compliment. Yeah, I don't know. Well, besides your art's lovely really. or something yeah, like that. Well, it's just yeah. nice that and I never get sick doing... of that. Tell me that all the time. I love it. But, well, yes. yeah. Good. Yeah. But I don't know. What do people think as other... far as Sundays go? Do you prefer the earlier time? Or do you like the later time? I could do a poll. Yeah, what are you, do you know how to like do an official well, I could poll? Do you guys want, want to do a practice poll? It might not work it, right, but I don't you know can help us figure out our computer okay, I'll, thingy. Let me try to figure out <laughs> okay. this darn thing. I'm trying to be, oh, she's got her toy. Okay. So what, what, what's the poll? As far as Sundays go, I'm just are talking Sundays about a good Sundays, day? Sundays are good for us because we can't go to the post office, so it's always a day we can start thing. Um, do you prefer earlier in the day, like today, how we did 2 p.m. Eastern time, or do you prefer later in the day, okay, which so that's is 5 two questions. p.m.? Yeah. So, now, as far as Sunday goes, okay. do you prefer earlier in the day, like today, how we did 2 o'clock, or later in the day? Usually we did five o'clock so we're gonna two to eight or actually one would be longer right or one would be short i don't or did two p eight two to eight starting at two or starting at five see because we might have some california oh, folks that have a different yeah opinion. i know that's why i want to know what people prefer but sunday but is a so weird many day of our british people yeah left. yeah that's what i mean it might be too late for them but 
I could talk about what times in general, but... No. Go, I prefer... We'll open. We can say in general. I vote. Like, I prefer to start at 2. 2 p.m. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think I did this right. Okay, well... Can you say in general 2 p.m. or 5 p.m.? I messed that up. <laughs> okay. I'll try that again. <laughs> right, wait. Okay. Again. I might end up doing like 15 or 20 layers on here, so it looks really All glowing. Right, let's try that. And from Maybe an angle, works. it's even more glowy. I love that. Oh, they, have, they actually have... Oh. Again, um, yeah. <laughs> We're learning like you are. I should have kept it shorter because they actually have to type... Mm. It doesn't say like A or B or one or two or anything. No. Uh, okay. I could make it though, but the thing is. Well, sorry, started or what? Doing some of the same white on the under bit of. Yeah, yeah that's good. So this is better for like that. one word things. Okay. Well, why don't you say, so do I'm you saying, prefer I'm saying a lot of two. two or five? Is that what you did? Diane says five, but she she is in California. Time. I would say that too if I were her. Oh, okay. Um, Pacific time. Right, but a lot of people, most just looking at it, people are saying, okay, Sabrina Guy is saying 5 p.m. Or vote two or five. Yeah, that, well, every, I think everyone knows it's Sunday. Okay. Maybe I, I could, if I title the poll. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Close the poll. I don't know. I think people are just voting for two, generally. But we did now remember we do go oh, two to eight o'clock, two to eight eight p.m. Eastern time. So it, it does cover, and that that's that's six hours. Ah, people are saying really any time is good. We're just lucky. So people are just happy you're glitching. Oh. Yeah, Marie, you don't know yet, but you're on TV. I don't know what TV is, do you? Yeah, my good My good girl. Like the size of her, our other kitties added together. Oh. <laughs> Sabrina says she's sorry only because oh. she's in Australia and 2 p.m. is 4 a.m. here. Oh, lordy. Well, yeah, I can that's just catch hard the for start Australia. Later. I feel bad for, for the UK sake. people. Yep, I'll watch <laughs> you whenever I can. Love watching you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Aww. Australia is always going to be on the other side of the globe. I know. I 
I always feel bad. And then when I talk about going to Australia, I always worry that I'll go to the wrong city and one city's really far from the other city and there's nothing in between. And... But I really want to go there because I have a lot of friends from there and it'd be fun to go visit. So Sydney, yeah. Perth, Adelaide, those are the big ones. Yeah. It'll probably be one of those. But they're not by each other. It's no, like they're, they're if you want to go to one, they're not close to the other one. So, eh. Let's see, actually, I might give her blue eyes too, because she's going to be a blue little fairy here. Thank you. Camera, don't you well, flare at sunshine? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's nice to watch anytime, but sometimes it's fun to chat. I guess if you work, it's. That's the thing, too. At least they um, actually, like, keep them, so if people want to watch them later, they can. Oh, that makes Brisbane. makes me happy. The Blue Pixie. Oh, says. Brisbane. What's wrong with me? Why didn't I say Brisbane? Ah. Sunday is good, though, By since Sandy I don't Wall stream of East. Sundays. Ah, okay. says Rachel. Uh -huh. Rachel says she does that because it's the Lord's Day. Oh, okay. I respect that, Rachel. <laughs> she didn't really say that. Oh, is that you? She's just thinking it. Projecting your beliefs on people? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Depends which lord you're talking about. Oh, someone said Melbourne. Know? Melbourne? Okay. Now I'm thinking Australia's huge. It is. Remember that Grim Base book that um, my grandma lived in Gully Gulch? Did you ever read that? Who? He wrote the eleventh hour in an Animalia. My grandma lived in oh. Gully Gulch by Bandy Ball of e East. Uh, so, such and such of whatever, and such and such and such, and that's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> that's but it has really good illustrations. I like it. Is, is that? Wait, is which is the one where it's a mystery? That's the eleventh hour. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. I remember. And that's um, Graham Base, and that's the same guy. Right, yeah, you told me yeah. to that. Um, you told uh, me to figure that out, and I figured out who it was because it's like a logic problem. A complicated logic problem. Yeah, but, I, I don't yeah. remember. I remember I had to go back from page to page to page to mm -hmm. figure out who was the. Well, villain. it's like an Agatha like Christie novel. You have to see who had the motive, who had the means, who had the um, time to do it. We we have not we have not been to Wales, right, Jasmine? No, but we've been damn close, very close. Sorry, but we, yeah, we were very close. We warned about the yes. Welsh. We were told that they were too awesome. Yeah. And then <laughs> we weren't allowed to see them unless we wore sunglasses because they shine. No. Hey, I am part Welsh. That's where my name comes from. Catherine Zeta Jones as well. Yeah, she is. She's very pretty. And she's fantastic. So, yeah. I, it's funny because I thought yeah. Catherine Zeta Jones for the longest time before I realized that. I thought she was like Latino. <laughs> because because <laughs> of her she had dark eyes. Very but, tan, but she has, has she very has pretty played, dark hair. She has played Latino yeah. characters. Yeah. Which is yeah. funny. Well, she's an actress, isn't she? You can do yeah, whatever you want when you're an actress. Yeah. Griffith is Welsh. Yeah, exactly. Beckett is Griffith. not. We used to be a G R Y F F Y D D for the, Griffith. Now the Welsh yeah. have the dragon. Mm hmm. They do. Are Welsh are fairy people, right? Oh, Diana? some of them. Just like anybody. I I think of all those two yeah. islands that all the people are on it are magical. Magical hmm. beast. Where to find them? <laughs> it's the UK. Some stereotypy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in them. Hmm. Oh, I'm pretty blue on her. Uh oh, people are typing in the weird Cthulhu Welsh language. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I want to do. I do my Innsmouth Mermaid. Yes, fun. wouldn't that be cool? That's one I've wanted to do for a long time. In Smith Mermaid. Yeah, Welsh looks like Cthulhu language. Um, reminds me a bit if if you fly through like Dublin and they have the um the actual Irish language on there, very different than other languages. 
Mm -hmm. have the, the a lot more letters. Yeah, yeah. Gaelic. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. It is cool. And I, I see it on the airplane if you're amazing. going over there. Yeah, I, I didn't understand one word. Mm -hmm. Okay. And pink and white. Um, Strangeling UK is based in, in Wales now. Currently. Out of Paul's yeah. uh, studio or house Paul's, or whatever. Yeah. But he's thinking of Whitby. Mm hmm. For moving or. No, I, I want to, of course, I want to go to Wales. Mm hmm. I want to go to Wales. I've been to uh, I want to go to Mount Snowden. Once. I want to go to Mount Snowden. Yep. Yeah. Because I like the name. Mm hmm. Snowden a mountain. Oh, I want to go there anyways. Snowdonia. Snowdonia. Yeah, they all sound like fairy tale places. They don't sound. Well, that's a lot of places in Europe and England, everywhere. I certainly don't know how to pronounce any of these. No. I think two L's together are a Y. But I know that from a Piers Anthony book. I know that from Spanish. Well, tortilla. No, sorry. True. Half Ma Matt's family speaks Spanish, so we know that for them. I know. Yeah. The others half speak ogre. <laughs> I'm for a pan. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I. I Azamaka says, "Come for a." I, I see Snowden from Snowden from my window. Come for a pan. Wow, oh, really? Oh, how neat! Is a pan had some sort of amazing cake? Art of Nixie says the Shire from the Lord of the Rings was based on my hometown. Really? Really? So you oh live gosh. in a hole in the the side of a hill? You guys live and in I call you Miss places. Underhill. Oh. Coffee. Oh. Canada is coffee. Huh. That's an interesting way to pronounce it. Hmm. Matt would like it. Or tea. Okay, so it's a drink. Hmm. They'll say oh Shire God. when it's just a word by itself, but it's sure when it's attached to any. Yeah. That's funny. Mm hmm. Okay, cobalt blue and Payne's gray. To outline where her wings will be. Jasmine, if you're any Lord of the Ring, by choice, or it could be like who do you think you would. Well, who I'd probably to have be? to be um, Gladriel or Eowyn, but I would want to be. Um... Sauron? Huh. You want to be Sauron? Yeah, but they'd tell me I had to be Eowyn, probably, or Gladriel. Don't you think? You want to be the big yeah. eye, but have it like a jazz eye? Because I'm not about big eyes at all. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I want to be Gollum. We both want you the want ring. You want to be really Gollum, because he's had such a rich, fulfilling life, hasn't he, Manny? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think he's cool. No, 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 it's fine. You can think what you want to think. Really? As much as you are in the UK, have you read Robert Lacey's The Year 1008? I have not. I have not either. Robert I Lacey? Remember that, Jasmine. L-A-C-E-Y has it spelled. Yes, like our friend Lacey. Okay. L-A-C-E-Y. Jasmine's writing it down. Mm hmm Staffordshire, and pretty much, yeah, lots of small houses in... That's the fire there. Hmm. You know, it's impossible to have a Lord of the Rings dis discussion without some nerd bringing it up. You, you know Sam was the real hero in that book. Sam. That's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, but it's such a, I don't know, it's such an obvious thing. I think Gandalf was. And that was awesome, but yeah. maybe Gollum was. Hmm. Maybe Frodo was. 
Down you. I disagree with their definition of burglar. That's all I can say. Well, he was. Sam was the hero. See? That's because yeah. Kevin P. West is the There you guy. go. Yep. Sam was a hero. He wasn't the hero. Okay. I just think that he was a backbone. He was a good friend. Lady says, Jasmine, I just noticed I put my hair behind my ear with my paintbrush, just like you did then. Oh! Like, simultaneously. Hey. Synchronicity. That's what I call I didn't even call it a paintbrush. I call it a hair decoration stick. So, there you go. But what about second breakfast? Oh. Okay, second breakfast was the hero. Okay. Eleven Z's so... is the sub hero. Hmm. Yeah. Second breakfast. Very different than Taco Bell's fourth meal. He's the one who pushed Frodo forward to keep going. Yeah, that's true. You can almost see him as being like his backup, like, id that was keeping him going along. And he might have been his imaginary friend, otherwise it wouldn't have it's happened. It's true. Let, so. Let's think of it this way. Sam yeah, and that, Frodo are weird, one though. person. Yeah. Yes, and, and oh, it's like my since friend. Frodo doesn't have enough personality, like his uncle, because he's not as cool as Bilbo. He just isn't. I would argue that anyway. What do you mean by cool? Adventurous neat. Burglar. That they are they are one thing and they have to act together as a unit because they they don't have enough personality to stand alone. Oh, I'm a portrait of success. Yes, you know he he actually was. He's he's, he's like eons he's old. His DNA. He's, he's become his fish. own singularity. He's kind of wonderful. How about they were all heroes? Mm -hmm. Jasmine mentioned Sauron. I don't know. I could see myself being Frodo, all sick and almost eaten by a spider, and wanting to put the ring on. <laughs> I think having the endurance endurance to Keep the ring alone well, is kind of an amazing feat. I don't know if that's endurance or just having the opportunity to have that, you know? Frodo went on the journey because he had to. Bilbo went because he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Right. Bilbo is a That's the difference Gryffindor, right there. That's a good... Yeah, I, oh, and there Frodo you go. Frodo is some sort yeah. of other thing. Mm -hmm. Gollum. I am so Gollum, Kazumaka says. Yeah. Well, that's Aww. Kindred spirit. Oh. My dogs definitely think second breakfast. Oh. <laughs> so everyone's all about second breakfast. Uh, Sometimes I don't get first breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. I, I'm a brunch person, so I guess that's only second breakfast. If you skip first yeah. breakfast and go straight to second breakfast, that would be brunch. Mm. I love brunch. Reflective dots under the eyes of this one. So that you know that something in front of her is more shiny than her eyes, so. You are good with the lighting, Jeff. Impressive. Breakfast dinner is my favorite. I like yeah. doing that every now and then. That's kind of a, a family thing. It'd yeah. be kind of a fun, fun night. I remember doing that thing when Amber and Chris came here and they had a um, pancake night or whatever. Remember that, love? Yeah. Mm. I'm a breakfast for dinner person, Kevin. Mm. I just love food. I'll take any meal. Oh. <laughs> I just imagine poor Sabrina walking down the street there and people <laughs> passing out meals the window. Hmm. It's Australia, so they... They say, here you go, mate. Did they really say that there? They say mate all the time. How right? do you After know? After every that? sentence. Okay. How do you know that? TV. Oh, okay. What do Americans say then? We call dinner tea. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, see, tea time. Yeah, tea time can be a is, late a late it is wonderful. snack. It's my, yeah, it's, I like I like that. brunches and yeah. tea times. Yeah, that's true. You can have a late sort of food thingy, and that's tea, but it's what we would call supper in America. But, no. I'm not Breakfast, a big fan of supper. Sometimes people will say lunch, sometimes dinner. Sometimes older people I say, say dinner for lunch. 
and then supper would be the last one. Well, supper's supposed to be like soup. Like you were from Germany, you say supper, and that's your you have a old leftover soup and some crusty bread, and that's your late time food. So it's a little different. Kevin asks, what is the sci-fi movie that you love so much that is on TV that you have to watch it? For me, it's a fifth element in Starship. Mm. Sci-fi movie? Um, you, you know, know what? what? Honestly, it's because I think it's bad. I like Battlefield Earth. It's it's fun to, to watch. Fair, I think it's it an awful movie. Yeah. But I love Battlefield yeah. Earth. I like to watch it. So Why? if you're talking about that, um, I also... I like Birdemic. Yeah, I, I can like sit some, down and watch Birdemic. Anyone, has anyone here seen over Ice over Pirates? Again. That's a great sci-fi movie. I only saw part of that after my aunt told me to watch it, and I don't know about Ice his Pirates is amazing. decision to see that or not. My husband says mate I, all the time. I think it's a guy thing. I like saying dude, I guess. Oh, okay. So you just say uh, mate. Might. Okay. Yeah, mate. Might. Okay. Yeah, mate. Is it like also saying just say dude, might. or is it might. like saying bro? Because right. I have sat by people on airplanes, flying by myself, hey, the bro. female there, up, he bro? says, hey bro, hey bro, I hey like bro, I'm like, thing. I'm a lady, I'm like probably 10 years older than you, uh, and you're that, calling me mate. bro over I'm and over mate. again? Am I supposed to they respond to that? Or? Okay. They say mate in, That's fine. in England, but not. I think it's been more so I think it just way. means like my friend. Again, English is one of the only languages that you don't say, hey, my friend, hey, my friend. And that's when you, you become from a different language and you say my friend after everything. It sounds like you're foreign somehow. Oh, no, you're foreign. But because you say my friend after everything. And I think a lot of languages do that. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I address people that much. But we say mate a lot, too. You, you do. Kazamaka. Yeah. English. Yeah. Or the uh, Welsh or the Brits. We'll just say British because that covers everyone. Well, it covers the island of Britain. I just don't want to offend. Yeah. If you if you say English and oh, yes. you're referring to For the, the record, if we ever yeah. say anything bad, we're not meaning to. We're just being, <laughs> yes. we're just being ignorant. Yeah. We we're just dummies, so. Well, every yes, a Scarlet. We could all watch Harry Potter all the time. Those are great movies. Okay, is anybody playing that Harry Potter game I keep hearing about that I keep seeing pop-ups for that starts like in the next few days? Oh, Azamaka says, I'm a mixture, not triggered. That's yeah. good. You've got the best of both worlds. <laughs> Another one I don't like is when someone says, you know, all the time. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that sort of to be you know fair, that's because English doesn't have a word for that. If you speak Spanish, you say verdad after everything, or uh, French, you say or, or Canadian. Or hey. if you are, um, yeah, hey. or, say, or no, or, or you're from. Now, um, I, yeah. I sometimes do say a. Hey. You don't have a thing I'm not even to Canadian. say, yes, you are agreeing with me. Yes, you don't want to say that each time. And that's Charlotte what, says you it know comes what I'm out saying, April 25th, so. Jasmine. Yeah. What's that? Charlotte says it comes out April 25th, so she'll oh, totally Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fun. Is that something that costs more, like, to play every month, or is it just, like, a free costs thing that more? people can get? Costs more to play every month? Like, costs money to oh, play costs every money. month. Oh, costs money. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. I hope I'm playing The Witcher 3 occasionally. Okay. Neat. I don't even know, I don't know enough interview. about it. I love video games, but I never have time to play them because I always paint all dirty. When Jasmine I talks about that. how she loves video games, she's talking about In an Dino Wars, way. the destruction of Spondylus. Yes. It is one Dino of the worst Wars, the destruction of NES games I've the ever best. seen. Oh, you said worst? Okay, worst video games ever made. Him. Dino Wars, dis destruction of Spondylus. Mm. Jasmine, I think Jasmine mentioned that on the phone before we met. Yeah, I did. What the hell are you talking about? Dino Wars? You knew what you're getting into when you It's one of the me. worst, worst, okay. worst games ever. Okay. Nope, I'm playing Witcher 3 occasionally. You, should, you guys should get a PS4 hint. hint. Um, yes, I. we can't get a PS4 yeah. because we need to work. That's funny. Is This sort of thing I do here is I'd my most to, but... fun day of the yeah. week, probably. Because <laughs> the rest of the time I'm just trying to paint as fast as I can. And man, the is reason putting people things might in marvel at and... the amount of stuff we get done is because we don't have a PS4. 
Well, Yasmin or has any a, other Yasmin has thing. a mighty whip, though, and it stings. Stings when doesn't, someone doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Mm. Skyrim is the best game ever. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. My nephew has that one. Yeah, we should probably get yeah. off video games because I'm going to start getting depressed. Yeah, I know. But we used to play EverQuest. If anybody ever played EverQuest, and Final, EverQuest Final Fantasy. Was awesome. And we played Final Fantasy. Which one was it? I'm going to say E.T. for the okay. old tire. I remember wasting my birthday ah. money on the game. It was so awful. Ah. Did you see? Did you happen to see the documentary <sighs> that was about the E.T. cartridge? You would probably I like it, Kevin. Promises. Witcher 3 is incredible, but super right. immersive. So hard to balance with work. I worked on EverQuest. You, you mean mm. you... You worked on it as a programmer or a coder or something? Oh my god, I love EverQuest. I met my husband on EQ. What classes did you guys play? I was a monk, and Jasmine was a... A high elf... I was a high elf magician. Magician. Yeah. That's so funny. I was a human monk. And that's funny. That's back when I uh, first met Larry Elmore, and producer. he did the artwork for Black Widow said producer. That, that was cool. Wow, Black Widow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. I've not seen it, but I've heard all about it. They dumped all those games in a landfill. Yes. 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 Evan, did. definitely watch. Definitely, I think it's on Netflix. Definitely watch it. You'll love it. Amazing. Yeah. George R. R. Martin good. has a small part in it too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dragon Age games are my favorite games. I don't know what that is, sadly. Wow, that's awesome, at Black Widow. Oh, the. Yeah, the producing EverQuest, that is amazing. Just I have a 2010 it's IMAX, so I can't tiny. games. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. I have old stuff too. Yeah. I have a, an, I have a broken Wii. Pardon? <laughs> a right. broken Nintendo Wii. Okay. I just heard that part, love. I didn't know. And I actually I have a broken Wii next to a broken PlayStation. Yes, you do. I think, I, I think I've had the PlayStation plugged in for three years. It's I think you have light done, actually. Look. Yeah. Uh, oh. I need to clean out that area. I don't and know what to, to do fair, all that. That's part of what we're trying to talk to our friends about Twitch. We're like, no, we don't really play video games. They're like, some video games and some painting. I'm like, no, all I do is paint. I can't also do video Mickey games. Mickey Burnett so was a high elf uh, cleric. Played oh. for years and still pick it up occasionally. Really? It's awesome. On it's EverQuest? All around. Yep. Oh, that's what I was. High Elf Cleric. Oh, I wait. I was a cleric. I was a all, I hope. But yeah. Kevin says, no time for games. Too much art to do. Yeah. I have ink splatters all over my clothes. Good job, G Monk. Yeah. Black Widow says, and because your computer is listening, that's what Jasmine gets all the Viagra ads. It heard you. That probably is why. My Wii yeah. doesn't work. Oh dear. Let's send this oh gentleman by Yeah, no, his it could Wii be. doesn't work. He needs to satisfy his household. Yes. Um, since verb agree. Well, I will satisfy my household without the. We'll see. Not bills, but bills. Mm -hmm. Anyways, on these minis, um, you said somebody wanted to get one of these, so, or yes, somebody wanted both, both of them. They're both for. good. Oh, okay. Yes. My hubby, my hubby them. works in IT yeah. and is a total gadget and gaming freak. We have so much tech in our house; it's scary. Like oh. horror movie scary, like Black Mirror scary. Ooh, Black Mirror scary. That's pretty scary. Sound like I have, lo I have low tech love. whistle devices in my house. Like having a morning dove cardinal in your house. Wow. Let's yeah, see. every family has a few techies in it. Well, my Ours luckily loves old arcade games. My sister and her husband own a store in Kansas City or in Overland Park that um, they actually sell old arcade games and they will redo entertainment centers with different video game setups and things. So, like, a big thing that everybody I know is into. Oh, this is gonna be a pretty one. I hope whoever gets this one is likes it. Hmm. Well, yeah, they're gonna like it, sweet. I don't know which one they're wanting, but I'm kind of working on two at well, once. Both so. of them are spoken for. Oh. 
I've, I've told you that a couple I times. I know, but I hope they like it. I always show it to them. So they, if, if they don't like it, they don't have to They'll, get they it. They will like so it. I'm not sure they like it. Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh, I might do this separate time then. I could always do like a little mini painting while I'm working on a different one. Do you ones. guys like uh, Jasmine doing the minis as well as the larger paintings? This, this I like joyful. doing the larger you, paintings watch? better, but... I I know I gotta do these in the meantime, but my sister like practicing for the bigger ones, so I don't know if I could ever pick one or the other. I don't know. Hmm. Putting some more bright blue around the edges. Minis are fun. Yeah. I, think. I always do that too. I could like. Oh, I don't know. Like, Nun was talking about She does, like, small ones. I could always do, like, I don't know, like a bunch of minis and tell people, hey, if you want them, email me or something like that. So. That's what we did tonight, sweetie. Yeah, I know, but I don't know if that's what people like. Or I also finished my big painting that I can't even sell because the gallery got set, like, in July. So, I don't know. Okay, Rachel says she likes both. Whatever that's, people like. That's what I was asking, them. Rachel, is, is both good. Well, that way, too, you can see the beginning of some, the middle of some, the end of some, whatever. So, that's neat. Win some, lose some. Yeah, sure, whatever. Own some. Tooth some. Hmm. some. That's the difference between handsome and tooth some. The difference between uh -huh. i don't know but when people refer to woman as handsome it always seems like a joke uh you could refer but to but not toothsome toothsome is not toothsome would be it sounds like a joke to me well they both sound silly okay. when you think about All it right I, I don't know i wasn't trying to think about Buddy it Boyle but... said dim sum yeah yes. uh -huh. very good yes yes So, a shadow under the so we've got two two one. wives in here that are talking about their husbands playing with drones. Uh, the joy of drones. Oh, really? They're yeah. droning on about it. Oh, okay. Are they drone. Okay. Nikki Burnett says, "Did you ever participate in Norath's Studios forums? So many no, artists I that played didn't. EQ used to hang out there. They were so fun." You know, I never did, but I had friends who were there who did that. And I had some friends who got married in Norath when we were on um, EverQuest. And then, um, oh, I knew Larry Elmore first when he did some of the original big artwork for that. And that was really neat. And I was like, oh my God, the EverQuest thing. Yeah. He did that pretty blonde girl that was yeah, on the cover, the High the Elf The blonde girl. High Elf, who basically looked like my character. He was the one who painted the original one for that. Yeah, yeah. and she's a real person. Yeah, she, she would go is. to the cons, yes. I guess. I, yeah, that. she would come to some of the conventions and, like, dress up in the outfit and, like, sign autographs because it was a real person. That's neat. People seem to like both sizes yeah. a lot. Okay. Cool. Well, I like doing that so much. I don't think I'd ever, like, try to assembly line and, like, do a whole bunch of these, like, at once. But two is pretty good, so. But you can probably tell by looking at these what the paintings are going to look like, I think, at the end. A little bit, so. But I will do that when I have pieces I'm doing studies for. So if people want to um, snag the original paintings before the public sees them, I'd rather you guys see them than anybody else, so. You can always email us and say, hey, I like that one, and I like that one, and that way we can find homes for them, and then that's how I do a sketch for a later painting on my big gallery. They won't be so. homeless. We're yeah. saving tiny paintings. Exactly. I, I, I've never had a mini painting that has lived in our house for longer than like a can of soda or something. They, are, they, they do not stay here long, do they, Maddie? No, oh, mini paintings? Yeah. People... <laughs> yeah, I think I think people actually eat them. I, I don't know what people do with them, but they go away very quickly. And I'm glad people see them and they like them. So, good thing. 
I'm gonna hang out for about 20 more minutes, folks. Yeah. Well, so in the meantime, free. there might be some more people too. And we finally figured out how the um follow or not follow the um subscribe things work. So if you click subscribe, that's a good thing. And if you are an Amazon person who is Amazon Prime, you get a free subscribe. And if you click it on me. That helps Amazon know that, hey, I'm a real person, I'm not a robot, and I'm actually doing this. So if you do that on mine, that's very helpful. Also, it makes you not watch advertisements, too, I think, yeah? We think. We think. We're not sure. <laughs> we are not very used to Twitch yet, but so far, I think that's how it works. And then you get little icons and things that you can put up there. Oh, I like this one here. I like Diane says she can't too. wait to see her mini painting in person, and she got a a tiny a tiny treasure. Yes, oh yeah, which is cradle. It's working on like it's like a tiny or, tiny cradle. Yeah, and it has like the little sawtooth thing on the back, so you hang it up on the wall, and it's ready to go. So. And these ones here, I think they're already spoken for, but oh, thanks, Rachel. Yeah. I sent you guys up on my auto host now. Okay, that's another thing we have to figure out how it works, huh? Yeah. This is only our fifth broadcast, right? Oh, I know, but I, like I think we're doing all right. For I think so. Broadcast. So far, so good. Not sunshine you know, around biting me on the chin, but eh, whatever. Working on the. Blue and white are is type purple. That gamer eating? Uh, I don't know. We have a cat that eats. Uh, Kevin it's says, I want to thank you guys for, for streaming. Such a friendly stream. Great to hang out oh, with you. Oh, thank while you. I work. You know, I, I understand that working <laughs> working alone is kind of boring and sad. No, it's fun I to have friends thing. with you who are hanging thing. out in the same room as you and all that. And, and Nikki says, I have to head out for the night. I really enjoyed okay, hanging out as you, always. Nikki. Have a wonderful rest okay. of the day, everyone. Can't wait to see these ones finished, Jasmine. Yeah. Not too long. And then, Rachel, this is referring to auto hosting. I have it set up in a list and it hosts people on that list as they come online. Well, thank okay, you. Okay, that's Please. good to know. No, yeah, we'll learn how to do that. And Diane we'll says thanks for another you. stream. Yeah. Every, is everyone heading out? Maybe so. We'll still be on for another 15 minutes. Yeah, hey, like. that's fine. It's so cool to see you work and get to know you much better. It's also fun <laughs> to chat you. with others who love your work, too. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, a very, it's a very friendly room. Um, it is. I mean, the only troll is me. Very no drama. Yeah, Matt's the worst person here. That's not If bad. anyone's causing <laughs> problems, it's me. Yeah. But yeah, we'll do another um, giveaway next time, too, Maddie. We'll, we'll find something We'll figure out some fun. sort of giveaway. We yeah. want, we want, especially Something all our regulars fun. to eventually Yo, that... get in there and, and get a thing. Now, yeah. we, we will not ever exclude, let's say someone won something twice in a row. No. It's just chance. You can that win happens twice in sometimes. a row. Yeah, so don't worry if you do. But, yep. Sorry, I missed the bit about subscribing. How do you subscribe? There's this little oh, sub button. The subscribe or sub Sabrina, at the top? Uh, three. Yeah. Now, I don't know how it works in Australia. Um, it should be one or the other but um yeah right and then you get um basically just throwing us a couple bucks a month yeah actually if you're already amazon prime it's free so it's like taking two dollars from amazon okay i try to do night. all i can but say night to casa <laughs> oh night um, night we'll see geez, you next UK, time so yay oh wow sleep. it's late there get some sleepy time we'll see you next time possibly wednesday <laughs> Thank you so much for providing entertainment and help. Information and always being a painting. 
Oh, thank my you. Owl. Oh, I like it when people are painting Laura. at the same time. And congratulations again. Yeah. Huh? Hey. Email G Newman says, I'm I'm unmotivated, but seeing other people work makes me want to work too. That's a good way to look at it. I Get think that works so with very a lot awesome. of things like music or painting or been anything. been a fantastic stream. Yeah. Thank you all so much for your company and for cheering me up. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. We get lonely here. Nobody around here knows us, so <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Seattle Steve says, I'm starting to see faces in the paint dabs on your tabletop. Oh, uh, that's, ooh. Good. I, that's, I, that's I, when I know it's time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, it's like, Steve. It's like that I one have, just um, winked at me. In no. my um, yeah. in the shower I have upstairs. Uh, oh, that I have in off, your shower, uh, yeah. Right, I have a horror-themed bathroom. He does. And I have blood yeah. splatters that are actually just stickers. They're like decals. Right, yeah. they're decals. And I see faces in them while I'm taking a shower. Yeah. And it doesn't scare me in the least. It kind of makes me feel cozy for some reason. Um, one <laughs> looks like a gorilla. I like seeing that bloody gorilla face in the shower. And I have... Does anyone else have caffeine in their shampoo? Nope. My shampoo has caffeine in it. I was looking oh, at the label and it's You said, know me, I stay the heck away is, from caffeine because I'm insane, weird. so I'm afraid of stimulants. I just don't yeah. think I'm absorbing any caffeine from it from my skin on my head. Well they have that soap that they have at um oh gosh, at Basin at Disney, yeah? What's that? That caffeine soap at Disney at Basin? Yeah, oh I remember that. Yeah. I yeah. I don't like caffeine, so I just uh, I love Basin though. I love actually, Basin. I actually no, went Basin there yesterday when you were doing yes. the Disney show. Yeah, it's right by where I do my shows there at Disney. But man, mm. yeah, I like the things in your slideshow that you make. You like. Pick random things up there. I'll probably have some more have good things later. But yeah. Always neat. Oh, there's a bird in her. Yeah, love. You hear him? <laughs> you can... Iki Haman says, Hi guys, such a joy to see you interact. My oh, favorite of Jasmine's you. technique is finger brushing. Gorgeous paintings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear a birdie. I'm surprised yeah, they're out so there's a bird in our yard. Here's my fingers for people I haven't been watching. They're, they're horrible. Christy Batgirl yeah. says, I know these are spoken for, but will you be posting pictures of these or showing them um, on Twitch when they're finished? You know, I'll probably put them on Patreon in case anybody missed them. I think Christy, Christy's up there on... Or maybe not. I Do think have... she is, yeah. I don't have the psycho shower I, I, curtain. I was gonna say I don't but know. It, but it kind of looks like the. Yeah. I mean, it's just a see-through shower curtain, so it's very similar. It's it's just a plain sheet of plastic, huh. see-through. Yeah. In the future, though, whenever I do minis, I'm gonna try to do them here at um, Twitch. So people who are who see me here, and usually it's our Patreon people who find me here first. They do. They can kind of claim these before anybody else. So. That's always a good way to look at it. But now Christy's got a few that she's gotten from Eight and Sand, right? I think. And from years past. I think we've known Christy for years, haven't we, love? Christy Batgirl? Uh, yes, 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 definitely. Yes, I mean, mm -hmm. if, if not decades, at least years. <laughs> and know? she used to, if I remember right, she used yeah. to buy the little $50 ones you used to buy. Yes, I think were just she canvases. did too, yes. Now I've got the... Not that these are the, overpriced, but yeah. Oh. Psycho noise stuck Aww. in my head. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I like Hitchcock. Yeah. That's good. I think I may have heard darker hair, even though she is kind of like the bigger one I did. That was the um, Blue Willow Fairy. I think I'm going to give her darker hair, but not quite blonde. We'll see. And I hope whoever likes her Jasmine, will like her. Yeah. What is on the angel's shirt? Oh, which one? This one here? Yeah. Um, I'm I've actually done a um kind of design. I I, I it's not very penciled in nicely. It's kind of a scribbled in version of the edge. If you see like a blue willow plate, it's a design that's around the sides. Hey, Maddie, actually, yeah. I'd like to show people. Can you get the big um, painting I was working on earlier, just to recap? 
so I can show people what I was working on. D. Time's going by pretty quick. Yeah, it did, rather. It's like it's a late night, too. Uh -huh. So, here's the painting I was working on earlier. So, originally when I did the sketch, which was on this piece of wood here, I wanted her to have like a fancy, not quite like a bodice. It's it's not see-through, but it's like white with dark blue on it and kind of a, oh, like the edge of a blue willow kind of plate on it. So that's going to look like that kind of, or act more specifically, that looks like that was going to. So that is how she's going to look, but it was a sketch of her, so she'll be less specific. But I might change her hair color, eye color, maybe make her darker skinned, or we'll see. Did you want to... I mean, yeah, if you want to put that back on my sure. painting cabinet there. I don't, we don't have a camera that shows, but we have a bigger area here. I have a big um, table that's like a drafting table. That's what I'm working on right now. And then I have a big easel. That was one of the first things I got, like with my Patreon money, I got this giant Santa Fe number two easel. And that's what I work on with like my ginormous paintings. I do that over there. So now I am back on my little friends here. And these are, they start off with sketches, and I'm like, I'll do them there. I'm like, no, I want the big one to look the other way and have a green dress or whatever. And I'll do that the other way. And this one is one I'm working on that will be my next painting. Probably the next time I'm here, actually. It'll be part of my hazardous beauties. Because I want to have her in kind of like a hell scene from like the 1400s. And I'll have her just wants her to say hell. I like to say hell. It makes her happy. I know, I'm like a 1989 Bart Simpson, and I can say hell damn fired all I want, but anyways, she's going to be in a hell scene, and there'll be her and her sister, and there'll be a bigger painting, and that'll probably be the next one I'm working on. Jasmine? Yeah. yeah. How, if, she, if the hell scene was behind a door, yeah. what would they use to open the door? Oh. A hell sinky? A hell... Oh, a hell sinky? Is that what you're saying? Yes, oh, that's like awful. The city. Yeah, exactly like that. Helsinki. Anyways. Now that's done with. What time is it left? It is 8.08. Oh, okay. Steve asks, have you put your porcelain and mermaid in her frame yet? I haven't. She's still here downstairs, and we have her frame upstairs. Hey, Matt, can you get her frame? Or is that too hard to get off the I, wall? I, I would not. I don't want you to. You don't want to get off the I wall. I don't want to okay. hurt it. Well, when, when she is framed, um, Steve will show you that one because it's very cool. That's I when I did all the plastering on. But probably not this time, but next time I'll yeah. do that. So. But yeah, that turned out really neat. And then I did um, three of the... Um, the rectangular frames that have the um, blue willow pattern on them. Some people saw me doing the ink transfer on those as part of my Patreon thing. And I think we showed them off last time too. So that will be some of the new ones that we're showing off. And we'll probably do that next time. I'm so getting if very we're... close to this one here. Alright, so we have two days of gap. Pardon? 1am here. Okay. It's not no, it's not too late. Yeah. No. And the outside of this here. Are, did you want to try to watch Westworld tonight, Jasmine? Oh, I don't know. Well, our DVR will get it. Huh? Our DVR will get it. Asks, yeah. uh. Yeah. Steve. Does a four piece set? Oh, he said of which mark? one? Oh, oh, of the, oh, I see. Yeah. Or uh, porcelain things. Yes, um, it might be. Like well, blue, basically, I have stuff. here. I've got I the. That's what he's... I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've got the 
mermaid one. This is a printout. This is actually an ad like for the art gallery that I'm doing. And that's Porcelina. And she's in a really cool frame that I have refinished to have like porcelain like cherubs and like fancy goddess ladies and things like that. And then I have three um sort of um rectangular frames that will have the blue willow pattern on them. And I will be using those for that. It says Delft. Yes, it, yeah, it's very much like Delft, which again, that is Delft is kind of a later interpretation of the British um, blue willow pattern. So you've got the chinoiserie chen or whatever they call it for the um, British idea of the blue and white porcelain. And then people in Amsterdam, that's a Delft one, they can't start doing that. And that's the same sort of blue and white pattern. Thing with blue willow, it's a specific story, specific willow trees, the guys in the boat, the guys in the little pagoda, etc. But um, the same sort of idea combined with that. So I have a handful of pieces in the same series that I've made special frames that I've actually like hand finished and they should look pretty cool when they're done. But those will be three of those and then the big round one that the porcelina who, again, Keep showing her off because I love Jasmine. her and she'll go in that one. So there'll be at least four going in that one. Yeah. Is the Chinese older? The Chinese is not a specific design from China. It is an approximation of people who lived in Europe thinking, oh, it kind of looks like this Chinese thing I got sometimes. So it's like a um a euro centric idea of what a uh, orientalist sort of blue and white pattern looked like and they did it in um, england first and then people in um oh amsterdam holland um netherlands etc would see that and they would think oh we should do that for europe too so it's like a blue and white pattern so it's something that has been so not watered down, or it's not like a kitsch, but it's like a tchotchke sort of version of the blue and white china pattern that has traveled through different ideas. They've <laughs> gone from China to England to Europe to Amsterdam, etc. And so you see it, you see blue and white, and you're like, oh, that's cool. That looks like those plates that you get sometimes. And that's basically what I'm going for. Part of the magical thinking idea of my show that I'm doing as far as seeing something and kind of co-opting it, even though it doesn't belong to your culture, but something that makes you feel special or makes you think about something magical when you see it. Do you have another question? Nope. Oh, okay. uh, Rachel yeah. says it's the final countdown. I think oh. she's referring to the to beautiful song. song. Oh. Final countdown. Let me sing that song. Okay. Okay. These two beauties, if, two I think videos. they're spoken for. If, if Just in case, if you want either one of these, they'll be framed and lovely. I think we have people already lined up, but if it doesn't work out, just email me, text me, tell me on Facebook, whatever. Hey, Jasmine, I like the one that's a blue willow mini or the one that's a biohazard mini. And otherwise, it'll be Wednesday at 5 p.m. will be the next time that we are broadcasting live. I'll be working on new pictures then, so probably Hazardous Beauties, which is the big one that is like this, and that is going to be so cool. It's probably my favorite of the ones we're doing so far, so keep an eye out. And we'll do another giveaway, too, because that was really easy, and I like doing giveaways. All right, everyone. We had a great time. Oh, thank you we'll so catch you much later. for staying with um, us. Oh, do I dump them off in one of our I, friends? I don't layers. have a friend online oh, right now. Oh, really? Oh, no. okay. So we're just gonna say goodbye, but okay. yeah, feel free to stay yeah. around on Twitch and discover maybe uh, somebody yeah, new. Twitch creative. In creative. There's a lot of really cool yeah, people. Yeah, try there. staying in creative and um, yeah. hang out with some artists, or go oh, watch yeah. some video games or people doing weird stuff or, on IRL. Yeah. Go you to want to people and do get some up weird for stuff? Go on IRL. Then, it's pretty yeah. weird. Yeah. They'll break mm -hmm. things and weird. And and... <laughs> so. All right, you guys have a great in Westworld. If anybody wants Westworld, to watch Westworld, it'll be soon, on tonight. Not yet, I may or may not watch it. I, I, we might I, watch we'll something else. We'll probably watch it later. But we're very excited about that one. Yes. And Actually, we'll all yeah. have a lovely evening. Thank you. We'll, we'll and we'll see you catch you later. later. Come over, and I will stop streaming. Button. Okay. Bye.
that was a lot of fun. Let's see. So I've got um, these two beauties here, and you said people already want yeah, them. That's already, cool. Already. Excellent. Well, I will be sure to 